How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. It's the Reapers, and we're not ready for them. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the Defense Committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the Committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one, then blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us, what they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. When you blew up the Batarian Relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. I know that, Shepard. And so does the Committee. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the brig. That, in your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the Committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Shepard! Ashley? Lieutenant Commander? How'd it go in there? I can never tell with them. I'm just waiting for orders now. Lieutenant Commander? You hadn't heard? No. I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, sir. Didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. It's not like you learned the Reapers were coming and didn't tell me. True enough. Admiral. Come on. You know the commander? I used to. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Sol Relay. Whatever this is, 
It's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But... There must be some way. If we're gonna have any chance at surviving this, we have to stand together. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? They couldn't be that close already. How'd they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. we heard from Admiral Hackett. What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight, or we die. We should get to the Normandy. Find a way out of here. Watch it. Through this way. Come here. I 
need to get you someplace safe. Take my hand. You can't help me. Shepard! In here. This is a goddamn mess. Every minute these machines are here, thousands of innocent people die. I won't be responsible. It's hard enough fighting a war, but it's worse knowing no matter how hard you try, you can't save them all. Exactly. They get so fast. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. We need to go to the Citadel. Talk to the Council. The Citadel? The fight's here. It'll be everywhere soon enough. You said it yourself. <clears throat> the Reapers will destroy everything if we don't stop them. The Council has to help us. <clears throat> you sure about that? No, but you were a Council Spectre. That has to count for something. Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. Grab some ammo. Reload. Let's keep moving. Oh. Lieutenant Commander Williams, we're in sight of the spaceport. ETA, three minutes. Lieutenant Commander! Ashley! Damn it, they're in trouble. our ship no there's one in the gunship but it's gonna be crawling with those things stay here son we'll get you out of here <laughs> come on let's get to that gunship Normandy, this is Anderson. Do you read? Admiral, what's your location? By a downed gunship at the harbor. I'm activating his distress beacon. Send support. We've got wounded down here. <laughs> Lieutenant! <laughs> Damn it! I've lost the signal. Let's hope that beacon does its job. And fast, we've got company.
About time. Let's go. Shepard! Come on! I'm not going! You saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. We're in this fight together, Anderson. It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. We need every species, and all their ships, to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? Then make them listen. Now go! That's an order! I don't take orders from you anymore, remember? Consider yourself reinstated, Commander. You know what you have to do. I'll be back for you, and I'll bring every fleet I can. Good luck. You too, Shepard. What the hell's going on? Where's Anderson? Where are we going? Hey! We're leaving. Leaving? What's going on? Anderson wants us to go to the Citadel, get help for the fight. Bullshit, he wouldn't order us to leave. We don't have a choice. Without help, this war's already over. Forget it. Drop me off someplace. Enough! Don't you think I'd rather stay and fight? We're going to the Citadel. You want out, you can catch a ride back from there. Commander! Joker, that you? Alive and kicking. Got an emergency transmission from Admiral Hackett for you. Patch it through. Shepard. Sustained heavy losses. The force was overwhelming. There's no way we can defeat them conventionally. Anderson's already ordered me to the Citadel to talk to the Council. First, I need you to find the outpost on Mars. Before we lose control of the system. Yes, sir. I've been researching the Prothean archives with Dr. Tassoni. We can 
found a way to stop the Reapers. <laughs> Only way to stop them. <laughs> Contact soon. Hack it out. Joker, set a course for the Mars archives. Mars? Roger that. This is local. Why Mars? What does he think we'll find there? I don't know yet. But if it helps us win this war... Grab your gear. Contact from the base, but we've got a massive storm headed our way. How long till it hits? Half hour tops. After that, we're gonna have difficulty keeping up comms with the Normandy. Understood. Those guys were Cerberus, weren't they? Sure looked like it. What's Cerberus doing here on Mars? Good question. You don't know? I'm not with them anymore, Ash, if that's what you're asking. It wasn't, but you have to admit, it's a bit convenient. It doesn't look like they came here in force. Yeah, just a few vehicles. Kinda suggests they had help, from the inside. Seems likely. You'd need a lot more men and firepower to take this place otherwise. Shepard. About what? Do you know anything about this? What is Cerberus doing here? What makes you think I know what they're up to? You worked for them. How am I supposed to believe you've cut all ties? We joined forces to take down the Collectors. That's it. They rebuilt you from scratch. They gave your ship, resources... Let me be clear. I've had no contact with Cerberus since I disabled the Collector base. And I have no idea why they're here now, or what they want. Commander Shepard's been under constant surveillance since coming back to Earth. No way they've communicated since. Sorry, Shepard. I just... I shouldn't have to explain myself to you, Ash. I do. It's just that.
Easy there, Lieutenant. She's with us. Shepard, thank the goddess you're alive. You too, Liara. I was so worried when the reports came in. I'm sorry about Earth. Yeah, it was difficult to leave. Ashley, I'm sorry. But why'd you come here? Hackett ordered us to come. Said you'd know what was going on. I do. Hallelujah. Some answers, finally. Maybe. I've discovered plans for a Prothean device. One that could wipe out the Reapers. Here on Mars? In the Prothean Archives, yes. We've known about the Archives for decades. Why now? Process of elimination, mixed with a little desperation. When you destroyed the Alpha Relay, you bought us some time. But then you were under investigation. I knew I had to do something. Hackett knew it too. He contacted me, asking if I would use my resources as a Shadow Broker to find a way to stop the Reapers. My search led me here. Hackett got me access to the Archives and kept me updated on your status. I meant to come see you, but... I would have liked that. But under the circumstances, I think I can forgive you. You're too kind. In any case, my work paid off. The archives are full of data, an overwhelming amount. I think I found what we need. Sounds like this weapon might be our best chance to blow the Reapers to hell. It's not a weapon, not yet. It's plans for a device, a blueprint. It's more than we had a minute ago. How do we get it? The archives are just across that tramway. Assuming Cerberus hasn't locked it down. What are they after? Yeah, they seem hell-bent on catching you. They want what I'm here for. What we're all here for. But why? The Protheans came close to defeating the Reapers. They had plans to destroy them, but ran out of time. And anything powerful enough to destroy the Reapers... Just might be something Cerberus would be interested in. So it's a race to the Archives. We've got company. Bring it on. Not this time, James. What? Get back to the shuttle. Cerberus beats us to the Archives. I need you covering the exits. But... Now, Lieutenant. They're getting closer. We should take cover. Looks like they found us. Not a problem for someone with biotics. You can't hide forever. That's all of them. Good. Let's find a way up. This is a secure station. How did Cerberus get in? Not sure. One minute we were getting reports of the Reaper invasion. The next, there was chaos. Didn't even realize it was Cerberus at first. Could they be working with the Reapers? Doubtful. But I suppose anything's possible. Shepard, see if you can gain access to the Pedway. I can't seem to unlock the live feeds, but... Hey, did you see that? Who's that woman in the vid? That's Dr. Eva Kare. She got here about a week ago. Any luck? Pedway's been locked out. All right. Looks like there's construction nearby. We can get out on the roof. We can find a way around from there. Great. Let's move. Barely. 
Storm's causing interference. I told you about it. I've lost contact with the Normandy. What's your position? I didn't read that. James, repeat. This airlock shouldn't be open. Doesn't look like it was forced. No, you have to override security protocols. Someone vented the air from this room while they were still here. Looks like they died trying to claw their way out. This is brutal, even by Cerberus standards. We need to pressurize the room first. There we go. We have access to the labs. They'll take us right to the tram station. Hey, looks like there's a recording of what happened here. Security station, come in. We're seeing some odd activity down here. Our security protocols just kicked in. Everything's locked down. Doctor, I'll get you a report as soon as... Uh. I guess we know how Cerberus got in. I should have realized it when I met her. I was just so focused on finding a way to stop the Reapers. Stopping the Reapers is the only thing we should be focused on. It's not your fault. But what if we're wrong? What if there's no way to stop them? What if these are our last days and we spend them scurrying around trying to solve a problem we can't fix? Liara. I know. I shouldn't think that way. I don't know how you do it. You've always stayed focused even in the worst situations. When there's so much at stake, I think about my friends, loved ones, what I'd lose if I failed. Me too. We'll stop them, Liara. Together. I believe you. Or I believe that you believe. Maybe that's enough. Okay, doors open. We can get to the labs and tram station through there. Good. Let's move. Activated the decontamination protocols with the staff still inside This is where they studied the various relics on earth here. What did they find more than I could describe in a short conversation and they'd only scratched the surface there are vaults filled with Prothean data truth. That's the tram line. Takes us right to the archives. No doubt Cerberus has it locked down. Hopefully we can override it at the security station. It's just through here. Kidding. Is that the only way in? It's the only way I know of. We'll skirt around. Stay out of its sights. I'll move up first. Don't let it target you! Across. We still have teams on the other side. No one. 
and shut down those cameras. Looks like they've made it to the archives. And it looks like they won't be sitting a tram anytime soon. Can you override? The archives are on a separate network. We're completely locked out. Not completely. What if we could find a short-range transmitter? Helmet to helmet. And? And then we convince them that we're with them. And the Alliance forces have been taken care of. Good idea. See what you can find. What? The Lieutenant Commander has become very capable. Agreed. Commander, I found something. What have you got? He's got a transmitter in his helmet. If I can... Oh! Oh, God. He looks like a husk. Yeah, not quite. But they've definitely done something to him. Engineered? By Cerberus? They claim to stand for humanity, and they do this to their own people. That could have been you, Shepard. For all I knew, that's what Cerberus had done to you. How can you compare me to that thing? I don't know what you are. Not since they got their hands on you. Is it really you? Would you even know if they were controlling you somehow? That's not fair, Ash. I'm just talking out loud. I don't need you to answer. I, I doubt there's anything you could say to convince me. I guess I just need some time to get to know you again. I'm the same person I always was. Time won't change that. But if that's what you need, I understand. Thanks. For understanding. You bet. Let's see if we can get that tram sent over here. Hello, this is... Delta Team. Anybody there? Where the hell have you been? Never mind, what's your status? We're at the tram station, waiting for extraction. All hostiles terminated. Roger that. Echo team will ride over and secure the station. Think they bought it? If they didn't, they'll figure it out soon enough. We should get in position. Flank them when they get off the tram. Good thinking, LC. On it.
Shepard. Elusive man. Fascinating race, the Protheans. They left all this for us to discover, but we squandered it. The Alliance has known about the Archives for more than 30 years. And what have they done with it? What do you want? What I've always wanted. The data in these artifacts holds the key to solving the Reaper threat. I've seen your solution. Your people are turned into monsters. Hardly. They're being improved. Improved? That's what separates us, Shepard. Where you see a means to destroy, I see a way to control, to dominate and harness the Reaper's power. Imagine how strong humanity would be if we controlled them. Earth is under siege, and you're hatching a scheme to control the Reapers? Anyone can destroy, but great civilizations do more. You know that. It's why you kept the Collector base intact. I gave you that base to find a way to stop the Reapers. You failed. This isn't your fight any longer, Shepard. You can't defeat the Reapers, even with the Prothean data. Work with me. Give me control of your resources, and I'll stop them. You'd do better than most, but the odds aren't in your favor. More importantly, I don't want the Reapers destroyed. We can dominate them, use their power, harness their very essence to bring humanity to the apex of evolution. You've gone too far. The Reapers will kill us all if we don't stop fighting each other. I don't expect you to understand, Shepard, and I'm certainly not looking for your approval. You were a tool, an agent with a singular purpose. In that, you were successful. But like the rest of the rebels in this place, your time is over. Enough talk. We are. Don't interfere with my plan, Shepard. I won't warn you again. Duly noted. Shepard. What? The data, it's not here. It's being erased. Goodbye, Shepard. Damn it. How's he doing it? It's local. Someone's uploading the information. from the console. Now!
Normandy's en route. They'll be here soon. We need the data. needs medical attention. We have to leave the soul system. I know. The Citadel is our best chance. We can find help there. Get us to the Citadel, Joker. Roger that. Hold on, Ash. See what you and Edie can learn from that thing. Commander, I'm receiving a signal over the secondary QEC. I believe it's Admiral Hackett. Patch me through. I'll forward it to the call room. Command. Edie, can you clear this up? I'll do my best. Did you get to the archives? I was there. So was the elusive man. I was worried Cerberus might try something. Did you get the data? Most of it. He downloaded some before I could stop him. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? A weapon, massive in size and scope, that's capable of unquantifiable levels of destruction. Send me the data. We'll do our own analysis. If Liara's instincts are right, this might be the key to stopping the Reapers. I hope so. Lieutenant Commander Williams was critically wounded. We're taking her to the Citadel. Sorry to hear that, Shepard. But we both know this is just the beginning. Talk to the Council, show them what you found. With luck, they'll give you all the support we need. And if they don't? Do whatever it takes to get them on board. I'll be in touch soon. Hack it out. Shepard? Edie is extracting data from the Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach the Citadel. And Lieutenant Commander Williams? I've done what I can for her. She needs proper medical attention soon. The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Unless we stop the Reapers. Yeah. I've looked at the data. This weapon could be the answer, if we can build it. I get the sense you don't quite believe it, though. I'm a soldier. I should be back on Earth fighting, not wasting my time with this. If it's going to work, we need you. Shepard. 
Isn't it worth trying at least? I'm going to check on Ashley and James. Make sure we're ready to present our findings to the Council. I'm sure the Council will see the need to help. It'll be a hell of a short war if they don't. Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking her? Where to Memorial. Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with? We need to see the Council. Right. Looks like they might be coming to see you. Commander Shepard. Got word you were arriving. Captain Bailey. Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Though it's Commander now. Congratulations. Uh, thanks. Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. None taken. So, you're here to bring us to the Council? I'm here to tell you the Council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. Thanks. I might do that. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's office. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. Commander, we've got a situation in the embassy quarters. We could use your help. Hmm. I'll be right there. The other half of my job. I'll see you around, Shepard. No doubt. You got pretty banged up there, Williams. Had me worried. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. Despite all this, it's good seeing you again, Ash. Get some rest, okay? I'll come by when you're feeling better. We'll talk. You need anything, Doc. Let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. I'll see you soon. Recent intel suggests that the entire Batyrian... Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the Council is already in session. Counselor, the Reapers are in our space as well. Earth is no more or less important than any Council homeworld. But Earth was the first Council world hit. By all reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. How do you know this is the brunt? New Reaper fronts are opening up everywhere. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. A full-scale invasion. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Earth may be suffering, but our worlds are falling too. The Turians have lost Tatris. We must fight this enemy together. 
Need I remind you that the last time we fought the Reapers, Shepard sacrificed the Council to protect human interests? True, but in the end we survived because we followed Shepard's lead. And what if that's not enough this time? The reports are dire. If we throw everything we have at the Reapers on Earth and lose, what then? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. Prothean? What is it exactly? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. And this is capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. It's immense, and intricate. This is a fool's errand. The Protheans were wiped out by the Reapers. Clearly, the weapon is flawed. It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you believe in this, Shepard? After what you've seen of the Reapers? Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together. Now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The Council cannot give Earth the military support it needs. Our own planets must come first. The Salarian Union is convening a summit amongst our species. If we can secure our own borders, we may be able to aid you. Our fleets are also engaged. Honesty is all I can offer, Commander. I will not make a promise of rescue that I cannot keep. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? Commander. I can't give you what you're asking for, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Balvin's Primark Fedorian is the one that called the War Summit. He's your kind of man, open to extreme solutions. Trouble is, he didn't get out of Palavin's system when the Reapers attacked. We don't know if he's alive. He's essential to the summit. If the Normandy could extract him without being detected... You want me to rescue his ass in the hopes he considers helping Earth? Put bluntly, yes. I shouldn't even be telling you about it. But we need Fedorian alive, and your ship can get him. Save the Primarch, gain an ally. One with the power to grant you what you're looking for. While the Reapers ravage Earth. Your counselor was right. We need to work together. This is the best way to get that. <laughs> Our intel says Primarch Fedorian is on Palavin's largest moon. Get in and out undetected, and he'll take care of the rest. Good luck, Commander. You're gonna need it. There is one other thing. The Council has agreed to reinstate your Spectre status. And there are certain resources that will be made available to you. Good luck. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.
Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Com Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. The Council has been a pain in my ass from day one. I'm done with them. Then what's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, 
I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph, instead of Info Drone, 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you've found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. I was hoping this new council would be a little more helpful than the last one. The meeting was less than ideal. Yeah, I'm shocked. At least the council can't deny the Reapers exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy to save. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. This will be difficult even for us. If something happens on a mission, if either one of us are hurt, I'll always remember that tour of the Normandy. But let's be honest, Shepard. It's been more than a half a year. Should we continue where we left off? I'd like that more than anything, Liara. Good. I was getting worried. There were a lot of reasons I was happy to see you on Mars. I'd like that list. But later? There's so much left to do. I'm working with Edie. Hopefully we can discover what the Protheans left for us. But I'm looking forward to talking about something other than business. Maybe later? Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the drive core retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? You're Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. 
Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up. It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers? The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her, and at time I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo! I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. How long have you been with the Alliance? About 10 years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident, practically dances in low atmo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So, you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah, and I got a knack for procurement too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> I was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plating. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> The first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from Deck 2. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander.
You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. Hey, Shepard. How'd it go with the council? Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? Yeah. We're gonna rescue a Turian Primarch from Palapa. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <sighs> you down here for a reason? <sighs> Just came down to talk. <clears throat> Great. <clears throat> Not sure what there is to talk about. <clears throat> you already know my service record. <clears throat> I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> Think you can dance and talk at the same time? I think I can handle it. Okay, loco. Let's dance. Don't push your luck, Vega. With age comes wisdom. And rank. Ha! You sound like my old CO. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> and who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. <sighs> nice. <clears throat> what do you mean, was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. <clears throat> and the colony? It was either them, <clears throat> or the intel we had on the collectors. <clears throat> intel we could have used to destroy them. <clears throat> I chose the intel. Ah! Tough choice. But it was the right call. You think so? I would have done the same. That's what's funny. You were doing the same thing. You took out the collectors. We never needed that intel. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? I do. You shrink too? Nope. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So? Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <laughs> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war! <clears throat> Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Loco, huh? I can think of worse things to call you. As long as you remember who's in charge. You can call me whatever you want. Oh, I won't forget.
Oh no. No. Palavin. We have an old friend there. Holy hell. They're getting decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy, and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Yes. Shepard. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch. Tabestic, get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Bardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard, heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedori. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's gonna complicate things. How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy. Just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reaper seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. I see the comm tower, to the left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Let's go! James, you're up for tower repair. On it. Might take me a while, but I'll do my best. Here they come. Ready they are? You bet. Let's take these monsters. Please 
return ASAP. On our way. What have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone. I don't care who. As long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Garrus. Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palamon. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm... advising. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with Military Command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. What do you mean? On Tatris, during the uprisings. His squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the Rebels took. Then the Rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy, but wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot. And I trust him. Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield! General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, is all. Adrenaline's better than oxygen any day. Just me? What do those Reapers look like, Turian? Right. They do. Affirmative.
What's the word on the Primarch? Still can't get a stable comm link. Okay, I'm going on foot. Shepard out. Garrus, take me to the last place you saw Victus. rough. Still have family there? My dad. A sister. How bad is it? Three million lost the first day. Five the second. How's your military holding up? Look around. That should give you some idea. You're putting up a good fight. For now. But how long does it take before the fight's kicked out? If they'd only listen to your warnings about the Reapers, we might have been ready. Maybe. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. Summit is the only chance we've got. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. Soldier, you okay? Yes, sir. We'll make it. Have you seen General Victus? Half hour ago. And himself. Okay, good luck. Yes, sir. So, Loco. You really think this summit will work? I mean, Asari? Salarians? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not that easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. And the Krogan have never forgiven us for the Genophage. Right. Turians sterilized them. Salarians came up with it. And the Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. Will do! I'm on it! General Victus. Yes? I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. A commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. I'm Primarch of Palavan. Negotiating for the Turian hierarchy? Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. What makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by-the-book kind of guy, and I piss people off. 
My family's been military since the Unification War. War is my life. It's in my bones. But that kind of passion is deceptive. It can make you seem reckless when you're anything but. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. See this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this move. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah, I don't know, Garrus. But I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan. Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. I apologize for being so frank, Commander, but your plan feels doomed to failure. We know. We've been there before. But, Madam Counselor, let me... I'm not the only one that feels this way. The Salarian Dalatras is livid. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Perhaps. So we can't help but feel that this summit is a waste of your time, and we can't afford to have it waste ours. We must focus our attention on the arrival of the Reapers. So no, the Asari will not be at your summit. Our alliance would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. Good luck, Commander. And goodbye. Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship, and for going along with this plan. Gareth said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. Sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari Counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right, but there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood, if we don't try. When you put it that way. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader, yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. How are things on Palavan? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavan. And mine with Earth. The 
problem isn't here. Systems all look green on my board. You sure? Maybe something was miscalibrated. You do know who you're talking to, right? Yeah, yeah, just had to check. Well, if you see Shepard, tell him to get over to the AI core and figure this out. Garrus. Didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. Whatever's wrong with the Normandy isn't down here. Besides, after what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Sovereign didn't go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Still not convinced I should have left Palavin behind. There was a boy back on Earth. Couldn't have been more than six or seven. I watched him die as the Normandy escaped the attack. Somehow I'm still alive. And he's not. Being right about the Reapers has never felt much like a victory, has it? We both knew this fight would be tough. Damned if the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Or pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell yeah, loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. We've lost enough friends trying to make sure this day never came. I'd say we've all earned some respect. Then the first Reaper we take out with this gun, it's in their honor. Just give the word. Something else you want to talk about? You mentioned you still had family on Palavin. My father is there. Sister, too. How long has it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get just as old. Pretty soon, blind hope is all we'll have left. And I hate being blind. I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. In this war, that's not going to happen. So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After what happened to you out there in Batarian space, I knew time was running out. For all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. He used to work for CSEC, didn't he? I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. To put it mildly. But he still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one was a friend of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector base. I'm not sure even I'd believe it. I had to admit that parts of it sounded crazy, meeting Vigil, talking to Sovereign on Vermeer. But my father just listened. It's what he did in his days at CSEC, putting together all the pieces. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. What did you do with it? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. So you can vouch for this new Primarch? 
Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. Then if he did try, well, we'll just find another Primarch. I noticed General saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of succession are you these days? Let's not go there. Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavin when this is over. Yeah, somebody who knows how to hold a hammer. That's all for now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Commander, Edie just went offline. What do you mean, offline? I don't know. She's not responding, and I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. Commander, comm systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. See if you can get to Edie. I'll check the AI core. Automated systems have the fires contained. It should be safe to enter. We'll follow your lead. Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. It could be an electrical fire or something. I'm going in. Edie, talk to me. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. I'll tell you when I need it. Excellent. I will run tests to ensure that it matches or exceeds the capabilities of organic squad mates. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just. Don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that, we can agree. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. Well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. Was there something else you needed to discuss? Have you pieced together how the Reapers hit Earth? 
It wasn't all that complicated, really. They surged through the relays and hit our tourist station before we knew what was happening. From there, it was a short jump to the Sol system. Earth didn't stand a chance. Sending us to the Mars Archives was a good call. Still doesn't make up for the fact that the Reapers nailed us to the wall. I sacrificed the entire second fleet to provide cover for the third and the fifth to retreat. Hell, I presided over the most devastating military defeat in human history. Has your analysis of the Prothean device turned up anything? The R appears to be right. It's a weapon of some sort. A big one. Beyond that, we really can't say, other than it's gonna be a hell of a thing to try and build. Do you think it's risky, building something like this when we don't even know what it does? To be honest, the thing scares the hell out of me, but the Reapers have forced our hand. Two centuries ago, scientists faced the same problem in the Second World War. They weren't sure what the atomic bomb might do. Some thought it could even ignite Earth's atmosphere, but they did it anyway. Any updates on Cerberus? There's still the wild card here. Hitting the Archives on Mars suggests they're after the same thing we are. A way to defeat the Reapers. It didn't seem as if the elusive man was suggesting we appease them. Not like Saren did. You'd think we'd be on the same side, now more than ever. Cerberus has never played by the rules as we know them. I don't know what their agenda is, but it has nothing to do with humanity's best interests. The elusive man talked about controlling the Reapers. He seemed to think that's how we win this. He's wrong. Dead Reapers are how we win this. Doesn't mean he won't try. I saw your report on that Cerberus soldier you found on Mars. If the elusive man is good at one thing, it's finding new ways to subvert science. It's never worked for him before, and it won't now. How do you see us winning this war, Admiral? By making you the tip of the spear. I'm flattered, but the Normandy's just one ship. And a fast one. You can move quickly, hit a target, and leave before the enemy has time to react. It's an advantage, but can it win a war? It's the larger principle that matters. We'll never defeat the Reapers in a full frontal assault, Shepard. The battle against Sovereign three years ago took everything we had, and that was just one Reaper. I haven't forgotten. So I'll find their soft spots, avoid them where they're strong, and hit them where they're not. And when I find gaps in the armor, I'll hammer them with every soldier's ship and bullet we've got. How long can we keep that up? As long as it takes. The reality is, Shepard, everything I'm doing is a delaying action for you. I'm buying us time, keeping us in the game while you gather what we need for this Prothean device. So keep at it. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Commander, the Salarian Dalatras and Krogan Clan Chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. And hope this doesn't start another war. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard Varen you unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Why are you so opposed to the idea, Dalatress? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? It wasn't the Salarians or the Asari or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. And after that, you ceased to be useful. The Genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise the Krogan revolted? 
That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the genophage. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years, if you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough! Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. My information says otherwise. A Solarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It, it could be a fabrication. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? Well, will curing the genophage benefit my people? How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkash. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be fun. Will be nothing compared to what happens if the Reapers win. Let's get the females. You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them home, Rex. You've waited long enough for this day. A lifetime. I appreciate the assist, Garrus. Figured you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. Retrieving the females should be a simple matter. Who's the synthetic? I'm Edie, the Normandy's artificial intelligence. Sounds like Joker didn't teach you anything about Solarians. Commander, I have the Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dalatris authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex! No! We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? moments ago. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. But you have something valuable to Rex. Something worth dying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist he remain under guard. <clears throat> I can handle this, Rex. If anything goes wrong and all bets are off.
I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Careful! Watch the containment shield! Brings back memories. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials. Morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tachanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. This old planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Attention biolabs. Please prepare for yon specimen arrival. A cyber analyst over in Intel told me the Turians can't hold out much longer. He's hearing the Reapers happen against the wall. Another incursion? The Turians have the Air defense? Yeah. You have clearance now to see the females, Commander. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. What do you think about handing over the Krogan? I differ from most of my colleagues. Curing the Genophage will bring closure to this issue. In the future, the Krogan may yet play some role we can't even imagine. We should let the evolutionary process decide who lives and dies, not galactic politics. Thanks for your time. Of course. Proceed into the elevator when you're ready. Now take this elevator down, and someone will... Alert. Threat condition 2 has been declared. Scramble readiness teams. What's happening? Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. Hurry, Commander. Someone will meet you below. All specimens are accounted for, sir. Shepard, excellent timing. Good to have you here. Morton. Eyesight still sharp. Surprise, understandable. Hadn't expected to return to work. You're back with STG. Special consultant. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Helped female Krogan. Fed information to Clan Erdnot. Encouraged political pressure to free female. You must be Rex's inside source. Yes. Can explain later. Security warning's not normal. Need to get off world for sake of Krogan. Females had weakened immune systems. Side effect of Malin's cure. These... didn't survive. But what about Malin's research? I thought we saved them. Indeed. Data saved, but not complete. Lacks crucial details to reconstruct cure, but still useful for synthesizing from living tissue. I'm sure you did everything you could, Morton. Arrived too late. Cannot delay now. One survivor, immune to genophage, can synthesize cure from her tissue. She's still here? Yes, last hope for Krogan. If she dies, genophage cure... ...problematic. Please be careful. Krogan's slow to trust. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Are you here to kill me? I can't imagine what she's been through. Erdnot, Rex, and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? Have the Solarians been mistreating you? Those are my sisters you saw back there. They died in a lot of pain. Did the best we could. And now I know I'm the only one left. That makes me dangerous to a lot of people. What about you, Commander Shepard? You're the future of the Krogan race. I'm fighting for that. Give me an update. Outbound communications have been severed. We're cut off. Secure all data to off-site location. What's happening? We have multiple ships inbound.
Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down here. What? So the Solarians can kill her like the others? No deal. If you still want this alliance, get her out of there. Release the female. We're leaving. I can't. Protocol states during lockdown, no specimens. <laughs> Objection noted. Now, please release Krogan. Need to monitor pod as it clears quarantine procedures. Meet us at next checkpoint, Shepard. Likely Cerberus opposes Genophage cure. You'll see Tachanka again. I promise. Get to elevator, Shepard. Something's wrong with the elevator. It's not responding. There. Try it now, Commander. Oh, crap. Get back! Commander Shepard, are you all right? Is there another way out of here? Are you okay? Containment shield is holding. We'll try to repair if necessary. Can't speak for Krogan's health, however. I'm fine, Commander. Females kept secret. Possibly a mole in STG. Could be indoctrinated. If no Krogan aligns with Turians, Reapers left unchallenged. We'll do more than challenge them. Shepard, meet us at next checkpoint. Server is likely to target. Cerberus isn't fooling around. They're capable of anything. Commander, stay back. Hostiles just down the hall. Captain Kirahi. It's Major now. Always hoped we would work together again. Is there an easier way around? You could say that. sort of power conduit around here. Landing area. Hope Erd not Rex still waiting. He has to. I'll see you up top. We found the Krogan.
Looks clear now. Let's get the hell out of here. Shepard, get your ass up here. I can't fly around forever. The female's on the way up to the landing area. You pull this off, and I'm making you an honorary Krogan. Shepard, you must authorize release. Pod then transfers to loading area. Let's get you out of there. Let's make this quick. Let's get you out of there. I can handle myself, Rex. Women. Why is Cerberus here? What do you want? Commander, I'm hearing chatter you're brokering a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. If I get Krogan boots on Palavan, the Turians promise me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. The elusive man is up to something. Then keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge, but our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. No, sir. Good. Hack it out.
You have the female, Rex. A cure for the rest of your people can come later. That wasn't the deal. But Palavin needs your reinforcements now. We can't delay. Unless every Krogan gets the cure, there's no alliance. Morton, how long will it take to finish a cure? Need to synthesize base antigen from female. Also requires healthy male Krogan tissue. We'll need a sample. You're looking at it. Acceptable. We'll need you to remain aboard Normandy for a procedure. Uh, let's hope the food's gotten better. Formulating a cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order, Morden. Can you do it? Of course. Similar to Genophage Modification Project. Working against own alterations this time. Not as simple as garbage DNA blocking attachment sites. We'll need to counteract shutdown of redundant nervous system, adjust our transmitter levels. Got it. We'll create cure, Shepard. Don't need to worry. Then get started, Morden. And make it quick. Always do. We'll be in medbay if you'd like to speak more. Eve requires tests. Eve? Female's real name unknown. Normandy, a human vessel. Human mythology seemed appropriate under circumstances. Suggest speaking with her. New perspective. Surprising in Krogan. Now, is there anything else? There's a small matter concerning a ship we've lost contact with. What happened? I'd rather discuss it... in private. Turian problems can't even come close to what I've got. What is it? Some of my men went missing. The rest of it we can discuss... somewhere else. I'll find you both in the war room. Just be ready to talk. Hell of a show down there on Sir Kesh. Just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. Uh-huh. You said one of your squads is missing? They were scouting out the Rachni Relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. It's big. Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. I've got Arlac Company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and they'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. What will you do after the genophage is cured? Once we deal with the Reapers, most Krogan will want to settle a score with the Turians and Salarians. I won't let them. That isn't our path forward. This time will be different. A lot of people will be relieved to hear that. No one wants to repeat history. They know we'd probably win this time. But war has never brought us anything except misery. It's time to focus on rebuilding. What's the situation back on Tachanka? I'm still getting scattered reports of Reaper forces arriving. Something big is brewing. I won't let those things take Tuchanka. Not when we're about to cure the genophage. My people have had enough bad luck in our time. Back on Sirkesh, it looked like the female Krogan could hold her own. Our females don't lack for spirit. For males, a good show of force sorts things out. But females like to talk about it. Then think about it. <sighs> then talk about it some more. Women have good ideas, Rex. You should listen. Yeah, but they have so many of them. So sometimes I pretend to listen and... Well, let's just say Krogan females have tempers, too. How could there be trouble with the Rachni? They were all but extinct. The last queen promised to disappear forever or be destroyed. I know, I was there. I've got a bad feeling about this. It may not be Rachni, but maybe it is. Could be another invasion. If they're crawling out from under some rock, you know how bad it could get. We need to stop them. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. And Shepard, I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. I still don't have a window like Liara does, but maybe that's because I don't kiss as well. <laughs> no comment. Yeah. <laughs> I miss this place. Wish I could knock some heads around with you, but duty calls. If the Salarian says my DNA is important, 
Who am I to argue? Commander. You said one of your ships had gone missing? Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Tuchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help. And understanding. The Salarian Dalatras was worried about what the Krogan will do once they're cured. How do you feel? It won't matter if we don't stop the Reapers. But I understand her doubts. The moon you found me on? That's where we made our last stand against the Krogan during the rebellions. They were that relentless. How did it turn out? The Krogan started using asteroids as weapons, directing them against our colonies. We had no choice. The Genophage was our last resort. So yes, Krogan intentions after this war will be a serious concern, but I'd rather have a grateful ally than a resentful enemy. That's all. Of course, Commander. You're positive you don't want to come over and talk. No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Garrus? I'll be fine, Leora. Just gathering some thoughts. All right. Hello again, Shepard. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high-tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. So is that drone your new secretary? Glyph is a VI shell that indexes my search functions on the data feeds. I couldn't work without it. Although, I'm lucky Edie let Glyph on board after it tried to rewrite her scheduled tasks. I was merely attempting to standardize the ship's automated systems to our own, Dr. Tassoni. Yes, that's precisely why you're confined to the cabin. What's been happening with you as the broker, Liara? It's been... exciting. The old broker's ship? Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Ferran and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus's ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Farron if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work, and I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to your doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars? I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. Shepard, they say female Krogan have a thing for guys with scars. So I've heard. I've got a few myself. Here's hoping nobody's planning an arranged marriage to cement this deal. Though I have to say, I admire Eve. The things she must have endured living with the genophage. And now, to top it all off, she's her people's last hope. Imagine the pressure. It takes real courage to face that. I hope we can measure up. Don't me. 
make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. No, don't. Commander. Sorry. Didn't see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I... lost my husband. I grieved. Said goodbye, made my peace. You were talking to him when the Collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the Collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. I'm sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits, there's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I never felt as alone as I do right now. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here, anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard, I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes ma'am. Requesting docking permission? Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? I need to get to the embassies. Yes, Commander. Shepard, over here. Shepard, it's so good to finally see you. You too, Miranda. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <sighs> Not surprising. Shepard, am I still part of your plan? It's been so long I wasn't sure where we stood. Miranda, things are never going to be easy for us, but I'll always want you in my life. No second thoughts? This is your chance to back out. No. It was hard to be away from you. Surprised myself how attached I got. I'm not good at attached. Just stay close from now on, all right? I wish I could. I really do. But there's something I need to deal with. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but... I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. What do you need from me? I knew you'd want to help, and I'm grateful. But you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. 
I have to figure this out. You will. Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me. But he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No. He doesn't. Why do you think your father was involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened. But I'll fill you in when I'm certain. Did you try to contact me when I was back on Earth? A visit by the former Cerberus second-in-command would have been disastrous. Any kind of secret communication would have looked even worse. I was tempted to break in and see you. That would have been... tough to explain. Right. Fun and games till they arrested me or just shot me on sight. I had to play it safe. For both of us. I understand. If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. Humanity has suffered a heavy colonies. Yes, I know your stock of modified medicine. <clears throat> Commander Shepard, when I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane, good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend who got hurt protecting me. Ashley. The dark-haired human woman in intensive care. She will be starting physical therapy with my class soon. That's her. If she means something to you, then I will help how I can. As long as she is here, consider her under my protection. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Keppel Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. And that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. I'm back in the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. If these interfaces make our commandos better on the field... I'll... I'd like an answer, Lieutenant Commander. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, now more than ever. I still need time. You'll have my answer soon, I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard? Odina, I got your email. Made your decision yet? On becoming a Spectre? Not yet. It's an honor and all, but I don't know. 
I need to think about it some more. It's a big decision. Smart to give it some thought. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it. Yeah, I wasn't sure you wanted to. You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. What do you mean? You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Case closed. Full stop. It's the truth. Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. It's just that if you're giving me orders, I need to be able to count on you. That works both ways. It's a damn mess out there. All we've got is the people around us. We have to trust each other or this doesn't work. Deal? Deal. Okay. Get some rest. You need anything at all, let me know. Shepard, wait. There's one more thing. I wasn't sure if I should mention it. What is it? I have family back on Earth. I... I haven't heard from them. It's making me crazy. But I know you're busy, Shepard. We can talk later. I've got time to talk. Who's back on Earth? Mom, plus my three sisters. The youngest, Sarah, was away on her honeymoon. Married a military man, Thomas. He got called back in and she was stuck alone. She called me. It's been pretty tough. I imagine. I was always there to protect them growing up. Even when I was off on tour, they knew they could talk to me. I told her to come to the Citadel. We could wait for news together. So, what's all this Lieutenant Commander business? Seems like the old Williams curse is losing its grip. Was sure I'd top out at Gunnery, Chief. You've worked hard. You deserve it. I thought so too. Until Eden Prime. Losing 212 was... Well, <laughs> you know. It was the Reapers, Ash. You did the best you could, and survived to help us. Just losing everyone under my command, it's... It's tough to face. I'll never forget any of them. Right now, we need you back on your feet. I'll be back. And first order of business is to shove their metal tentacles right up there. Uh, I mean... I'll fight with honor and courage, sir. Roger that, LC. I didn't hear from you while I was a guest of the Alliance. I couldn't face you. Even when Anderson requested my presence. It was difficult. It's okay. We're past that. Fresh start. It's gonna take time. Copy that. But not too long. The bad guys aren't taking coffee breaks. Okay, okay, what is this? Healing through guilt? Seems to be working. Have you heard anything about Earth? We have reports coming all the time on what's going on. Half are wild speculation, and half are probably too optimistic to be true. We have to believe that we can do something. When I thought you were dead, I lost hope. I'm telling you. But when you came back, I was ready to believe anything. I mean, maybe this problem can't be solved by some grunt shooting the boogeyman in the face. But if you think it might help, I'm game. That sounds more like the Ash I know. We can't afford to be at each other's throats. If we plan on getting through this, we need to trust each other. I was trying to keep the family stuff to myself, to be professional. I don't know how you managed to keep it all together. I have my moments, believe me. You know, I'm glad to hear it. I should get back to it. Take care of yourself. You too, Shepard. Listen to me, those prototypes are quite... Any updates, Shepard? Our backup is waiting for us at the drop point. Arlac Company. Grogan Commandos. That's correct. They are an accomplished unit. Made famous for their decisive action liberating a colony from Batarian pirates. Good to hear. Other than that, there's been no word from a team of Krogan scouts since they went through the Rachni relay. There are many reasons that communication with the scouts could be disrupted. We don't know much, but no Rachni activity has been reported. Still, it's troubling there are rumors at all. 
It's been years since you released the last Rachni Queen on the condition she disappear forever. Her race was all but extinct. She would not risk annihilation by starting a war. Just be ready for anything. Yeah, shuttle just arrived. You better get moving, Team 2. See anything, let me know. Grunt? Shepard? <laughs> Shepard! <laughs> what are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Didn't those idiots lock you up? They did. Put me in lockdown to keep the Patarians off me. Didn't want problems with the Council while they prepared for war. But the situation changed. Yeah, they got bigger problems, all right. That's why I'm out here running Arlac Company. They're tough, think they're invincible. Reckless, but effective. Sounds familiar, Grunt. How did you go from being new and unproven to your own command? <laughs> wasn't easy. When Rex put Arlac Company together, he needed a leader who represented the future of our species. Thanks to you, I completed my rite of passage on Tachanka and became part of Clan Erdnot. I was an equal. And being the strongest, I was chosen to lead this honored company. I bet some didn't like a tank-bred Krogan being in charge. I collected a few scars earning my place here. These Krogan respect me. You were a pain in the ass, Grunt. But if you're Krogan or half the soldier you are, we might make it out of here. Eh, <laughs> glad you're here to crack some heads, Shepard. Hard to believe this might be Rachni. Seems crazy. The Rachni. Chance to face the old enemy? <laughs> Impossible to resist. We don't know if the Rachni had anything to do with this. We're here to find the scouts. I didn't see any signs of activity during our approach. Agreed. But this place smells wrong. Like a bad wound. Our scans show the tunnels down there lead to a large central point. If we're lucky, it's a nest. Sounds like fun. Just like old times, Grunt. <laughs> Our luck company! Move out! Grab what you need, Shepard. Meet me at the scout camp ahead. Sounds good. Take what you need and move out. Not surprised Grunt found his way into the action. Little guy's all grown up. Glad he's here. Ready, Shepard. We're right behind you. You ready to go? What did you do after the Collectors were defeated? I spent most of my time back on Tachanka learning what it was to be Krogan. In the lab where I was created, the lessons were like fighting with practice weapons. They had no bite. No impact. I needed the blood and pain. I made mistakes, but I learned. Tell me more about this company. Arlac means Eye of Wrath. We are named after the fierce Tichanka son. Rex handpicked us from different clans to show a united Krogan. We were sent because we're the strongest. Did Warlord Okir imprint anything on you about the Rachni during your creation? Okir ensured I knew of the Rachni. They are respected as an enemy. Everyone thought they were dead, defeated by the Krogan. You proved that wrong. If they're here, my blood demands they die. What happened to the scouting party? Looks like something dropped half their camp down a hole. Their shuttle must have been lost as well. They weren't going anywhere. Doesn't matter. We're here to find the Rachni and burn them out. All right, let's get going. Finally, right behind you, Shepard. Looks like we're all okay. Keep in radio contact. On our way! Something up ahead. I see it. 
Grunt. Got a body of a scout here. Been dead a few days. Yeah. If he has his weapon, grab it. You won't need it anymore. Is that webbing? Looks like it. This darkness is going to make it a little harder, Shepard. Agreed. Everybody be ready. Anybody catch that? Confirmed. Modified and very dangerous. Finally, something to kill. Nothing here yet. Lost a Krogan to a sinkhole. Bad way to go. The nest has to be here. The significant amount of Reaper forces indicates we are on the right path. Looks like we're finding another way out of here. Come on. What was that noise, Shepard? Sounded bad. Cave in. We're all right. Good. Didn't want to dig you out. That hurts my feelings, Grunt. Yeah, yeah. Shepard, I know what happened to the scouts. What did you find? They got hit hard. The leader ordered them to carry weapons deep into the caves. He knew the next team would need help. They died making sure we could make it to the central chamber. Come on. webbing stopping us. That was Reaper tech. We ran into it too. The Rachni have backed off for now, but they can smell our wounds. Any worthy enemy would regroup and finish us. Soon. We're close, Grunt. Those barriers were protecting whatever's down that passage. We'll dig in here, kill anything that moves. Buy you some time. Good luck. I don't need luck. I have ammo. Krogan, get ready! Heads up. More eggs. Take it slow. We've located the central chamber. Good. We got your back, Shepard. Move it! Damn it! We need a switch.
slacking off. Whatever spooked them won't last. Finish the job. Copy that. did this to you? Yes. The sour note of the machines is everywhere. I let you go back in Novaria. You promised not to interfere anymore. The Rachni were supposed to disappear. We remember. We kept our promise. Retreated back through the relay. We started a new home. Beautiful children. Harmony. But the machines came. They heard our song. Their shriek of sour notes drowned us out. They can't hurt you anymore. Yes, we understand. Can you still feel the Reapers? Can they influence you? We hear the machines, but they cannot control us. Remove this last shackle, and we are free. The children return. They will destroy us all. Really fast. We're getting movement here. A lot of movement. Copy that, Grunt. Are you capable of fighting the Reavers? We hate the machines. We will fight for our unborn children. Really fast. She's badly wounded. She needs too much time to escape. Shepard, we're out of time. We stay here. Our left company dies. Is that clear? Listen up. Arlak Company holds the Rachni off while the Queen escapes. We'll buy you some time. Grunt, fall back to our position and lead us out. Damn you, Shepard! I'm leaving my team! On my way! Commander! That's an order. She's too valuable an asset to lose. down that path. I'll hold them off. Get out of here, Shepard!
Cortez. We're the last ones out. Copy that, Commander. Shuttle is waiting. Grunt! Anybody got something to eat? Uh. I'm reviewing a report on the Rachni situation, Commander. This could have gotten complicated fast. I hope you know what you're doing, cutting a deal with the Rachni Queen. We got burned last time. I'm trusting your instincts, Commander. We can count on her support, Admiral. I hope so. But we cut the Reaper supply of new Rachni troops and picked up some additional Krogan support. I call that a victory. I've got to get back to it, Commander. Watch yourself out there. Hack it out. Shepard, you made it out of there. Sounds like I missed a hell of a fight. It was bloody, Rex. We could have used you. Too busy talking rather than fighting. Feeling restless. A war going on and I'm stuck keeping the peace. I heard you made some kind of deal with the Rachni Queen. If they get out of hand again, it's your ass on the line. Understood. I heard Grunt managed to get out of there with a few scratches. You could say that. We'll get him patched up. Back in the fight. Good to hear. I should get back to it. Keep me posted, Shepard. Shepard, test verified. Results promising. Can synthesize for universal Krogan immunity. Good. Then you can put your knife away. The cure's ready? No. Still need transmission vector. Cure useless, unless given to entire species. You're usually full of ideas, Morden. You altered the genophage before. There must be a way. Of course. Always possibilities. But time limited. Can't create new infections strained from scratch. Groundwater? No. Too slow. Voluntary inoculation risky. Population too scattered for airborne. Unless... Wait, yes! The Shroud. Constant global dispersion of air particles. Built by Salarians to repair atmosphere of Tuchanka. Also used by Turian. We used it to secretly spread the genophage virus. It ended the Krogan rebellions. I'd be careful who you tell that to. Sometimes I understand why the Krogan want to shoot everyone in sight. Those were desperate times. Yes, yes, but useful now. Original genophage strain still in storage at Shroud Facility. Can use it as transmission vector, then use Shroud to blanket Tuchanka with cure. You clever little piejack. That's our best shot, right there. Then finish your preparations and be ready to go, Morden. Of course. Ready when you need me. We'll be in Med Bay with Eve until then. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on Bitcom. Shepard. Damned if you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Good to see you too, sir. Sir? I may have reinstated you, but that doesn't give you permission to go all formal on me. Well, then I'm glad you managed to keep your ass alive, Anderson. That's more like it. So I imagine by now you've wiped the galaxy clean of Reapers and we can all come up for air? Not quite. There have been a few complications. Aren't there always? Hackett filled me in on the Crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. It's what you hired me to do. Mostly you were hired to kill Reapers. I hope you haven't been sidetracked by all the politics. Nothing I can't handle. What about you? What's happening on Earth? I'll spare you the details. But let's just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in. That bad? You and I knew what we were in for, but everyone else? I don't think the shock's worn off yet. Are you safe? That changes by the hour. I caught a shuttle evac out of Vancouver, and now we're running from Foxhole to Foxhole just trying to stay alive. What about the Reapers? They're harvesting everything that moves. They're focusing on the big cities, which does give us some room to maneuver. You think you can hang on? Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. 
No lack of volunteers, at least. Everybody knows what's at stake. I don't know how we'll win this yet, but we will. Even if it kills me. Well, you've already died once, and that didn't slow you down. But let's not tempt fate. Keep yourself safe, Shepard. You too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson out. All hands, full stop! Hostiles detected at the landing coordinates. Joker, what have you got? Sensors show a Reaper parked at the Shroud facility. No way you're gonna be able to land a shuttle there. Get everyone assembled in the war room. I want eyes on the Shroud. Aye, aye, sir. New form of Reaper, Shepard. Using Shroud to poison Tuchanka's atmosphere. Problematic. They want to fight! They just got one. Primark, we're gonna need your help. That could be difficult. Our losses on Palavin have been catastrophic. We're doing this for Palavin. No one said it would be easy. What do you have in mind? A combined attack. Your people hit the Reaper with an airstrike. Rex, at the same time, your soldiers will be attacking from the ground. Together, you can draw it away from the tower. Yes, distraction. Small team can reach Shroud Facility, finish synthesizing Cure. We'll need Eve to come with us. We've never faced a Reaper up close like this. Everyone on board? There's even a doubt? Let's move, Pijak. It's time to cure the genophage. Commander, incoming message marked urgent. I'll put it in the comm room for you. Dalatrus? Commander Shepard, we know you've reached Tuchanka. And by now, I imagine Morden Solus has proposed using the Shroud. Are you spying on us? Hardly. The Shroud is the only viable course of action open to you. Commander, you can't allow your misguided sympathy for the Krogan to cloud your judgment. Do you honestly believe curing the Genophage will end in lasting peace? We have to give the Krogan that chance. You can't condemn an entire race to extinction based on what might happen. What will happen is the Krogan will reproduce out of control. We uplifted them specifically for their violent nature, not their diplomatic skills. Another war is inevitable. What do you want, Dalatras? Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you were planning couldn't be done. Morden will likely detect this malfunction and repair it. But if you ensure that he doesn't, then the cure's viability will be altered just enough so that it fails. No one will notice the change. You mean trick the Krogan? They need not be any the wiser. Let Erdnot Rex believe you fulfilled your promise. Morden would never stand for that. How you deal with him is up to you, Commander. We can provide you our very best scientists to build the Crucible, and the full support of our fleets. If I sabotage the cure. Think about it, Commander. The choice is yours. Rex, are you sure you're ready for this after your... procedure? One more word and somebody gets tossed out the shuttle. Now, I've ordered the clans to assemble at the Hollows. It's our sacred meeting ground. We'll land there and take an armored convoy against the Reaper. This will be the defining moment of Krogan history. Krogan history filled with defining moments, most bloody. Hope this one better. Commander, you seem troubled. I got a message from them. Rex, it's Reeve. The Reapers are already at the hollows. Come out with guns blazing. Hang on tight. We're heading in. Them away from the female. I'll sort out what's happening with the other clan. Everyone pick your targets and keep an eye on our six. Now move. Here they come. 
Push forward. Don't let him get up here. They'll sing battle songs about this someday. Reaper blood has finally soaked our soil. We have to get to the Shroud. The airstrike is on its way. Female safe, Shepard. Vitals are strong. What's a Solarian doing here? Nobody said anything about this. Multiple Krogan. Problematic. Who are you? Erdnot Reeve, brood brother to our illustrious leader. <laughs> Reeve and I share the same mother and nothing else. For which I'm thankful. I remember what it means to be a true Krogan. <laughs> we flay our enemies alive and drown them in a geyser of their own blood. We don't invite them into our home. The Solarian is not your enemy. He's here to help cure the Genophage. His kind gave us the genophage. Why should we trust him? Because I do. And so will you. Enough! You can stay here and let old wounds fester as Krogan have always done. Or you can fight the enemy you were born to destroy and win a new future for our children. I choose to fight. Who will join me? I will. And so will I. Now hold your heads high like true Krogan. There's a Reaper that needs killing! <laughs> the only Krogan who wants revenge for the genophage, Rex. You'll have to placate them somehow. I'll demand the Council return some of our old territory. We'll need room to expand. Recapture the glory of the Ancients. Glory of Ancients led to Krogan rebellions, countless deaths, creation of genophage, expansion plan, problematic. What were the ancient Krogan like? Tachanka wasn't always a wasteland. In the old times, the Krogan were a proud people. We had dreams, a future to look forward to. Until Solarian interference? No, we destroyed Tachunga ourselves. Technology changed us. It made life too easy. So we looked for new challenges and found them in each other. Nuclear war was inevitable. But now our planet is rubble. We'll need a better place to live. I'd say helping defeat the Reapers would be worth a new planet. Or ten. You haven't seen how fast we can pop them out. Rex. What? With the genophage cured, we'll have a lot of catching up to do. Commander, on the shuttle, was there something you were going to say? The Dalatras tried to cut a secret deal with me. What kind of deal? She said they sabotaged the Shroud years ago. The cure won't work unless we fix it. Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you're planning couldn't be done. And she thought we wouldn't know better? Correctly. Would likely have fooled tests. But familiar with STG work, can adjust. Did not come this far for nothing. You just spared our race another genocide, Commander. I told you we could count on him. Why are we stopping?
Rex, you and Morton stay with Eve. It's looking ugly out here. Will do. End of the world out there. Not good, not good. What's the holdup? Roads out. The convoy can't make it through. Turian Wing Artemek, this is Shepard. We've been delayed. Hold off your attack. Negative, Commander. Our approach is locked. The Reaper really knows we're here. Strike alone won't do it. We have to get in that fight. Damn it. I don't care if we have to build a new road. We're going. Shepard! I've lost control! I can't pull up! Are you receiving this? Is everyone okay? Yeah, just scratches. Nothing the Solarian can't patch up. Brave struck made it out too. The Turians had to call off the or airstrike. Something. We'll need a new plan for dealing with the Reaper. First we'll have to find you. Where did you end up? Underground. We see ruins of some kind. Commander, that's the city of the ancients. How do we get out? No maps exist. It's been abandoned for thousands of years. You're a trailblazer, Shepard. Get through there and we'll find Sorry, right. the ground is shaking down here. Are you guys feeling the tremors? Not up here. It could be something else, Commander. It is said that Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws, lives in this region. Which is another reason to get your ass out of there, Shepard. Step on it. Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws, does not sound encouraging. When the Krogan name a Thresher Maw, you know you're in trouble. They don't think anyone's ever going to kill it. More Rachni. There are bound to be more than just the ones we killed. Rex, we've got Rachni here. Keep an eye out. I know. A few of them just attacked us. All that matters is getting to that shroud. Find us fast. Daylight detected ahead. And now this is new. Part of Chachanka that isn't rubble. One wonders what the Krogan might have become if they'd avoided nuclear war. Rex, we made it back outside. Well, if you can see sunlight, that's progress. And the color green. Plant life was assumed dead in this ecosystem. You're looking at hope, all that's left of it on Tachanka. This is once a world full of beauty. Given a chance, it can be again. Shepard, that Reaper is still up to no good at the Shroud. Find a way out of there and we'll pick you up. We're on it. How we actually deal with the Reaper will be another matter. Eyes sharp on our perimeter! Agreed! It's an ideal point of ambush! Another quake! It seems Calrock is not a myth. Stay sharp! Rex, you're right about Calrock. She's on the move. Yeah, we've got some ideas on that. What? Not now, Rex. The commander has enough to worry about. What's happening? Some crazy idea we can talk about later. Just worry about getting out of there right now. Looks like another shooting gallery. Understood. Shepard, we're coming under the bridge. Get down here and we can get to the ship. Wow. Kalros! Rex! Break off! We're getting out of here! Territorial <laughs> instinct confirmed! She's not gonna get us! Go on ahead, Shepard. We'll try to shake this thing and find you! Now where do you 
suppose. And the thing is, I bet Rex is enjoying this. Threats like that explain why there's no... Hostiles ahead! I'm on it! Reed. No way he survived that. And he was a pain in the ass anyway. Now let's finish this. There's a Reaper waiting for us. We no longer possess the firepower to defeat a Reaper. I know we've beaten the odds before. But getting to that tower, I don't know. We're curing the genophage no matter what it takes. Everything my people will ever be depends on it. Then I hope this idea you were talking about is a good one. It was hers, actually. Cal Ross, we summon her to the Reaper. Would that even work? Already discussed strategy. Just need to distract Reaper, draw it from tower while cure synthesized, released. What makes you so sure she'll come? Legends say she is the mother from which all other Thresher Maws spawn. This is as much her home as ours. If Tuchanka has a temper, Kalros is it. Nobody's ever faced her and survived. I've taken some risks in my time, but this seems crazy. And going head to head with Sovereign didn't? This is the only way to get to that tower and release the cure. There's no other choice. But how would we summon her? The tower was built in an arena devoted to Kalros's glory. The Salarians thought she would scare away intruders. Appears to have worked. There are two Mawhammers there, the largest in existence. If you can activate them, Kalros will come. That should distract the Reaper. Meanwhile, laboratory nearby. We'll finish synthesizing cure. Let's make sure we all get out of here alive. We're gonna have one hell of a story to tell. Wait! I want you to know that no matter what happens, you've been a champion to the Krogan people, a friend of Clan Erdnot, and a brother to me. To every Krogan born after this day, the name Shepard will mean hero! Now, let's show them why! Go! I've got this! <laughs> I am Earth at Rex, and this is my planet! See you on the other side. Stay alive, Shepard. We'll have cure ready. Let's get in there! Kinda of busy, Rex. Lucky for you, I'm here. I'll handle it. Shepard, some luck. Original strain in storage. Preparing the cure now. Make it quick, Morton. They're all over us out here. Off to the left. <laughs> Fine here. <clears throat> Did we just get shot by a reaper? Okay, 
Okay, Shepard. I raise the hammers. You have to activate both of them. My advice is avoid the giant laser. Now this I've never done before. If I was organic, it would probably burn. Just keep moving. Stick to cover. I'm not sure cover's going to work. Hard to believe we're really doing this. Don't stop! Commander, this is Arthur McQueen. We'll try to give it a for something else to show. I knew they wouldn't give up. Their timing is impeccable. Go! Let's push ahead! Up on our left, one of the hammers! The other one is on the right! in two minutes. Procedure traumatic for Eve, but not lethal. Malin's research invaluable. She's okay? Headed to safety now. Her survival fortunate. We'll stabilize new government should Rex get any ideas. Good match. Promising future for Grogan. Damn! Control room at top of Shroud Tower. Must take elevator up. You're going up there? Yes. Manual access required. Have to counteract STG sabotage. Ensure cure dispersed properly. Morton, this whole thing is coming apart. There's gotta be another way. Remote bypass impossible. STG countermeasures in place. No time to adjust cure for temperature variants. No, no other option. Not coming back. Suggest you get clear. Explosions likely to be problematic. Mort, no! Shepard, please. Need to do this. My project, my work, my cure. My responsibility. Would have liked to see how it ends. I'm sure you'll do fine without me. I'm sorry. I'm not. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong.
Ah, classic bypass. Standard fail saves. Excellent work. Yes, yes. Temperature now within acceptable range. Dispersal commencing. Genophage cured. Krogan free. New beginning. For all of us. Long time ago, my father betrayed me in this place. His own son. He tried to kill me, so I had to kill him. Right over there. That's what the genophage reduced us to. Animals. But you changed that today, Shepard. Now we'll fight for our children, not against them. It's just a pity Morden had to die. wouldn't have had it any other way. And I'm sure wherever he is, he's putting in a good word for us. We'll name one of the kids after him. Maybe a girl. <laughs> but you, Commander, we can thank you in person. Tell the Turians I'll be deploying troops to Palavan immediately. And when you're ready to kick the Reapers off Earth, you let me know. The Krogan are back in business. Goodbye, Commander. What will you do now? Spread the hope you've given us. Even now, there are clans gathering in the Kelphic Valley. I'll go speak to them and make sure this gift isn't squandered. Thank you for all that you've done. Hell of a thing you just pulled off, Commander. Curing the Genophage? I never thought I'd see the day. Rex has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Well, I'll defer to your judgment on that, Commander. Let's hope we don't need them. Pack it out. Commander, Erdnot Rex has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. I'm glad we can help each other out. It's the only way we're gonna defeat the Reapers. That much is certain. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. May the spirits watch over us all. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. Morden dying... It can't be easy. I'll sleep when I'm dead. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut-eye. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. Anything happens, you let me know.
Someone else might have died. It's open. Shepard, there's something you need to hear. All right. Is this a bad time? Thinking of some friends who aren't around thanks to this war. That's thanks to the Reapers, not you. Are you thinking about anyone in particular? Caden, back on Vermeer. He died, buying us time to defeat Sovereign. Seeing what we're up against now, you might think his sacrifice was in vain. You know Caden would never think that. Yeah. That's one more reason I miss him. Didn't you have something for me? The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Let me guess. She called the comm room? The Council must be taking the Crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. Commander. Can I help you, Counselor? Shepard, I want you to understand that I owe my position to you, and it's not something that I take lightly. Were it not for you, that weak-minded Counselor Valorn would still be alive, leading the Solarians down the sewage pipe. But now I'm forced to champion a cure for the Genophage. It's like saying we need a hurricane to put out a wildfire. Counselor, Krogan are about to die in droves so your people don't have to. That's your message. Human statesmanship at its finest. Speaking of, I need to talk to you about humanity's representative, Counselor Udina. He's moving vast sums of money. We need to talk about where it's going. From what I can tell, you won't like the news. Come see me next time you're on the Citadel. Ishil out. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? What's our state of readiness, Admiral? I won't lie, Shepard. We're bogged down. Things aren't looking good in most sectors. We need to increase the tempo and chalk up some wins, otherwise... This won't end well for the human race. Or any race. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnog Rex running the show is a bonus for us. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. How about the Solarians? Interesting wrinkle. We've been getting back channel commitments from the strike teams within STG. They're promising to back us. Even after I cured the Genophage? Our intel suggests there are cracks developing between the military and the politicians. These STG guys know the score. They're not going to jeopardize the entire Solarian Union just because some Delatras didn't get her way. What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. You're kidding. Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. In hindsight, I guess they'd know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. No problems with them then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, no. Not a lot of small talk going on there. Do you know how the other races are doing against the Reapers? Believe it or not, the Turians and Krogan actually seem to be getting along. 
Bernard Rex has deployed troops, and they're giving the Reapers a moment of pause. The Salarians are still hanging on to Sirkesh, but the Reapers are starting to breathe down their necks, too. What about the Asari? They have to be feeling the heat. The Reapers are moving fast with the obvious intent of taking Thessia. Interestingly, the Reapers are leaving Parnak alone. It's the Yogg homeworld. Can't say that I blame them. Yogg have teeth. Well, if we lose this war, it might be them running the next cycle. It's easy to forget the Reapers don't destroy every species. Just the ones who can threaten them. What happened to the Batarians? Never stood a chance, hit by the Reapers straight out of the gate. And without any allies to call on, I think the Batarians are history. Have we heard anything from the Quarians or Geth? Something might be brewing near the Geth border, but our intel is sketchy. News is getting harder to come by as things get worse. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Shepard Service's landing forces away from the Tachunka battlefields. Their target seems to be an ancient ground-to-space cannon facility that hasn't been used since the Krogan Rebellions. The site has no obvious military advantage, and the Krogan are spread too thin to deal with it. Do we know what Cerberus is up to? No, but we do know that Cerberus doesn't act without a plan. Get in there, stop them. Find out what they're up to while you're at it. We'll get it done. See to it. Hack it out. Looks like Cerberus got that cannon operational, Commander. I'll go back up, get a read on what they're shooting at. Get on it. All right. Let's find the control room for those cannons. Kill anything in our way. Sounds simple enough. We'll do! Fall back to the control room. Right away! The control center is secure. Then I think it's time to test this cannon. Not the kind of Krogan relic I expected to find. They cut power to the console! You'll need to get the power back on! Let's move! Control restored. Targeting enabled. Coordinates, Lieutenant. Uploaded. Firing. Direct starboard hit, Commander. Target breaking up. Repeat. Direct hit. That's a beautiful sight. All right. Good work, everyone. Shepard, with those Krogan cannons operational, Cerberus has actually given us the advantage in that system. The enemy's falling back, but we think they'll try to seize the facility again. Seems likely. I'm sending an Alliance team to keep it secure. They've got a foothold in a strong defensive position, thanks to you. Glad to hear it. Good work, Commander. Hack it out. The crash site's a nightmare. Edie, any more details on what happened? Information is limited. We're here at the request of Primarch Victus to rescue the Turian platoon that has crashed here. The mission brief identifies the Turian commander as Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. Victus? Primarch's son. Huh. Try to raise him. For a Turian commander, what happened here is... Let's just say the Turian code is not forgiving. And that it's his son is bad for the Primarch. Promoting family without merit can bite you in the ass. 
What's strange is the Primarch knows that. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. That the best you can do? Yes, sir. But the Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. Let's save this platoon. Okay. Did you raise Lieutenant Victus? Yes, but the connection is bad. Patch me in. This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th platoon. We're pinned by Reaper harvesters and taking heavy casualties. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along the crash trajectory. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. Got it. This sounds bad. Let's move. Looks worse than I feared. A secret Turian mission on Tachanka is especially odd. Thoughts? Maps of the area list no important resources. Escape pod. Our first casualties. It appears that they survived the crash, and then a harvester exploded the pod. Died in the explosion? Or dragged out and eaten by husks. Picking up auditory evidence of conflict. Okay. I have a visual on the enemy, and there's an escape pod just beyond. Looks like the Turians are in tough. Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Surprise on our side for once. I like it. Exactly. Let's go. <clears throat> Harvester! Incoming Harvester! Species give disproportionate credit to parental influence. Peer groups are a more important factor in determining behavior. Sure, but you can't shame a village for raising a bad kid, Edie. Do you read, Commander? Repeat, do you read? Shepard here. What's your status? We're in deep. Commander, what's your ETA? Hang tight. We're on our way. <clears throat> Marnik, how's our velocity? Deceleration online. We'll survive. Victus is going to pay for this. Court martial are hanging. Victus going to live this down. When we find him, we'll relax. Right. Okay. Let's pick it up. It's important we don't lose this squad. I am trying to understand the emotions and politics that would motivate the Turians to refuse Krogan's support. Krogan Turian animosity is ancient and intense. It's inborn. And I need them to work together, so let's not complicate things. All right, let's move! Full arsenal at the ready. For Paladin! <laughs> Lieutenant Victus? Commander Shepard, my men and I are in your debt. Thank you for saving so many. What happened here? He screwed up. Stand down, soldier. These men are dead because of him. I said, stand down. Hey, I just saved all your asses, so everyone just calm down. Lieutenant, what's going on here? I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose caution and clever tactics over a head-on attack. And my men paid the price. You mean the crash? Yes. We could see on Hollow that Reaper forces were blocking our intended path. Staying on course guaranteed heavy casualties. 
So I chose a safer route, skirting the enemy. And that took us low and through these ruins. When we encountered resistance, there was no room to maneuver. Suddenly, we were in a fight for our lives. A lot of my men lost that fight. Owning your mistake takes guts. But you have to get over it and move on. Of course. It's just fresh right now. Our mission's still a failure. When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're abandoning your mission? We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defuse it. A bomb? How big? Enormous. Cerberus has it. Lieutenant, if Cerberus has that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? I understand. This kind of sacrifice is the hardest to ask for, but your men signed on for it. And so did you. My men have lost hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. It's your job to make them want to. How? Their sacrifice means that others will never face what they faced here today. Remind them that those sacrifices have no honor if the mission fails. Men, I own what happened here today. But we have to carry on. No, we don't. Who cares about a few dead Krogan? It's over. We are Turi, and we will not let Cerberus succeed. Our sacrifice is the difference between life and death for this entire galaxy. Let the heroes of the Ninth Platoon be remembered for performing their duties with bravery. All right, men. Shuttle's arriving any minute. We're moving out. Commander, come with us. We're a shell of what we were. We could use the help. Send me the nap point. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That'll give us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. Victus, you have a second chance here. Make their sacrifice count. Understood, Commander. Hope to see you at the rendezvous. Cerberus bomb. What the hell is going on, Commander? And what do the Turians have to do with it? Coordinates Victus gave me place it in the Kelphic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. My gut says something's not right here. What do you suggest? Get the lieutenant to come clean. Should we alert the Krogan military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. We need to keep that Turian-Krogan alliance working. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No idea. All I know is, we can't have them detonating that bomb. Keep me in the loop. Hack it out. Normandy Shuttle, this is Lieutenant Victus with the 9th Platoon. Do you copy? We hear you, 9th Platoon. We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. Look for somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's... Turian. What do you mean, Turian? It was planted centuries ago, after the Krogan rebellions. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. Brutal, but it makes a certain kind of sense. Put the Krogan down hard if they tried anything. You won't earn trust with tactics like that. But right now, we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all-out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The 9th Platoon will cover your flank, Commander. With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant.
defeat the Grogan and then plant a bomb on their planet. Pretty extreme, but those were desperate times. While morally questionable, the strategy is sound. Copy that. There's a better vantage point up that ramp, Shepard. Agreed! Let's go! been far enough underground to stay hidden. Cerberus had to dig it out. It must have been strategically placed for maximum yield. I advise haste, Commander. Commander, we're entering the bomb site. Moving towards the control station. Roger that. We're on our way. We're nearly on top of the bomb. Cerberus will be back with everything they've got. I agree, Garrus. This is a high value. Cerberus will commit any reserves it has. We need to hurry. I'm at the control panel, Commander. Cerberus set up a firewall around the trigger mechanism to slow us down. I need to create a bypass. That'll take time. But like you said, no trigger, no explosion. Are you sure you can disarm the trigger? Yes, it's old tech. I know what to do. Buy me a few minutes, Commander. We'll make sure you have the time you need, Lieutenant. Understood. Starting bypass. And thank you for making sure I get this chance. Just make it right, soldier. Look out! Commander! Focus on the bomb. We'll handle Cerberus. Nobody gets past us. Clear? Clear! Right away! Radio chatter coming in from Krogan Forces planet side. 
Sounds like they started sweeping out the remaining Cerberus troops. Hate to be the guy who told the Krogan about that surprise package. Did you get out all right? Sounds like it got ugly down there. The Turians took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. He never hesitated. Whatever he was before, he'll be remembered for this. What will the Turians think about this, Garrus? Hard to say. Sacrifice and more is expected. He did us proud, but we're a hard bunch to please. Living your life for the cause. Society first, platoon first. It's all just expected. He did what he had to do when it counted. Yes. Yes, he did. Good work on Tachunka, Commander. Stopping that bomb prevented the war between the Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb. They moved in. Won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews to help. Understandable. When he heard, Rex contacted the Turian Primarch and gave him an earful. I imagine. He was angry with the actions of the 9th Platoon and the Primarch's own son. Helped smooth things over. Relations are strained, but holding. Good to hear, Admiral. The Genophage is dealt with, but we still have a lot of work to do. Yes, sir. Hack it out. And there's the folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Not too many for us in a straight-up fight. They must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. Let's hear it. SSV Normandy, this is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right. We'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you give me a diversion? <laughs> oh, boy, can I? We'll be back. Sanders, we're clear. It's me. Commander, thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. And with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than 20. Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread. But a few volunteered to stay. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are biotics. They've been training for military operations. Working together as biotic artillery. You said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes. We met... God, what's it been? 20 years ago when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed him. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the Resistance movement. Good. If we get out of here... 
Just tell him to stay alive. A few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed, but the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique resources. They wanted to help. How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Hang on. I've been trying to get communications working. This is Prover. There are students trapped in Orion Hall. Cerberus has us boxed in. They're closing fast. Damn it. Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring them back here and we'll make a run for the shuttle. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. I'll get the door for you. It leads to Orion Hall. There may be more nearby. Play dead until it's safe, then get to Kaylee Sanders in security. Okay, but my sister Sean is out here somewhere too. Jack! Shepard? Cerberus isn't gonna lie down out of pity like that girl you took to prom. Grab juice and an energy bar. We move in five. <clears throat> uh, damn it. How many times did I tell you not to trust Cerberus? You're not telling me anything I haven't told myself, Jack. Oh, you feel bad? Well, shit. That makes up for giving him the damn collector base. As charming as ever. Good to see you again, Garrus. It still looks like shit. Okay, right now, all I care about is getting my guys out of here. Your guys? <laughs> yeah. I guess so. I can't think of anybody who could care about them more. Well, I had some free time while you were off playing Hero. Alliance Brass knew I helped you. They offered me this. And apparently, the students responded well to my teaching style. The psychotic biotic! I will destroy you! Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. Cortez to extraction team. The Cerberus cruiser is coming back. How long have we got? Two minutes stops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. Roger that. Good luck, sir. Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe, but the shuttle's a no-go. Understood. I might know another way off the station, but I need station-wide camera access. Can you disable the Cerberus security override? It's routed through Orion Hall, so it should be nearby. How does camera access get us off this station? We need to reach the Cerberus shuttles. 
The cruiser won't auto-target friendly ships, which gives us a fighting chance to escape. Get me back the cameras, and I'll find a path to the shuttles that keep servers from boxing you in. Of course we are. Don't talk like that. Sorry. So, our teacher worked with Commander Shepard? That's pretty badass. Yeah, I just wonder why she never mentioned it. Hey, let me know when we've got a new way off this station. How are the students handling the war? How do you think? They're a bunch of teenagers. Until a few months ago, their biggest concern was getting laid. You don't think they're ready for war? I don't think they have a choice. So, all this talk about biotic artillery strikes. It's great in theory. Maybe they'll get it together once they've seen some action. But? They'd be better off as support. Put them in the back ranks, helping with barriers and shit. I don't know. Have you told them that? No. They need me to believe in them. I did pick up a few things listening to your damn speeches. What's so valuable about these students? Biotically, I mean. Well, what's scarier than a pissed off biotic attacker? A whole bunch of them working together. It's like a biotic artillery strike. Any asshole gets in our way, we rip him to shreds. Doesn't that exhaust them? Yeah, sure. But we've been working on conditioning, improving endurance. Whenever they complain, I tell them about the collector base. Throwing husks around, making shockwaves all over the place. Ugh. I kept thinking, damn, let the Solarian handle this. He can talk him to death. I saw Morton. He's dead. Yeah? Too bad. He had some wicked sex advice. I have to say, Jack, you look good. Yeah, well, maybe some of your attitude rubbed off on me. I never had a family. And these guys... Anyone screws with my students, I will tear them apart. Stay close. We'll get you out of here. Good. Sanders, you should have access now. Got it. The fastest way is through the atrium, but Cerberus has sealed the doors. You'll need to disable the magnetic locks. The overrides should be directly above the door. Yeah, but at least I passed biomathematics. Everyone be ready. We'll go in first and draw their fire. We'll shadow you from the second level and hit those fu Those guys from above. A good strategy that protects the students from direct fire. All right, everyone. Hit them with everything you've got. You ever want to cut loose? See what you can really do? Now's your chance. Students of Grissom Academy, the station is sealed. The Alliance soldiers cannot save you. All they can do is get you killed. Surrender peacefully and you won't be half. <sighs> Asshole. Damn it, they're messaging everyone. Students, switch your Omni tools to privacy mode so they can't track you. What if... what if they're not lying? You've already held your own against Cerberus. You've been trained for this by one of the best. Come on, Rodriguez. They're only asking nicely because you scared him in that last fight. So take your balls out of your purse and kick some ass. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Let's go.
okay up there? Rodriguez took one in the arm because she didn't watch her barrier. Commander, I've reached the Cerberus shuttles without being detected. They know what they're doing, though. You need to hurry. That's an impressive barrier, Octavia. Our file says you've been working on shield. Fire. I don't know who you are, but stay back. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance. I'm here to help. I didn't buy it from the last guy, and I've got no reason to buy it now. The square root of 906.01 equals... 30.1. Hello, Commander Shepard. David, you know him? Yes. He rescued me from Cerberus. Sent me here. He made it quiet. You did a great job keeping yourself safe. The biotic students are up there. Stay close. They'll get you out of here. Okay. Ah, uh, thanks. He looks much healthier. I remember you. The Normandy computer. Sorry. No apology is necessary. Has Grissom Academy been all right? Yes. I've been counting. Anything in particular? The number of days you lengthened my life. The security office. I hacked the lock. Guns. Lots of guns. Goodbye. Kaylee, how's it coming? Shuttles are unlocked. Take the controls and get the students aboard. Wait, where the hell's Rodriguez? She needs covering fire. She needs more than that. Joker, we flew out on a Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. Right, I've got you on sensors. Should just be a minute. Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. Forget that. We kicked some ass. Next place we dock, you're all getting inked. My treat. <clears throat> what do you guys want? Ascension Project logo? Glowing fist? Maybe a unicorn for Rodriguez? Screw you, ma'am! I can't believe we got them out alive. I was going to suggest that they stick to support roles. But perhaps they're ready after all. Damn right they are. Get ready for the big leagues, kids. Commander, we've got a visual on you now. Preparing to dock. Hey, Jack, now that you're military, you gonna wear a uniform, or are you just getting the officer's bars tattooed on? Screw you, f Flight Lieutenant. <laughs> What the hell was that? Jack promised to watch your language in order to maintain the necessary professionalism we need from our teachers. What, does she have a swear jar or something? Because I bet if we empty that thing, we can afford another cruiser. Cover your ears, kids. Hey, Joker.
Good work, Shepard. I can only imagine what would have happened to those kids if they'd fallen into Cerberus' hands. Hackett has the technically-minded students looking at the Crucible. Apparently, David Archer has already given them some ideas. They're definitely eager to help. These students are some of the best humanity has to offer. And we're throwing them into battle. God damn it, I hate this war. Hackett didn't mention in his report... Kaylee Sanders is safe. She's with the recruits. Thanks, Shepard. When I heard about the attack... Well... I've already lost a lot of friends. She asked me to tell you to stay alive. <laughs> Did she now? Well, thanks, Shepard. That might be the first good news I've heard this week. Anderson out. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where Saren launched his first major attack with the Geth. Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Seems like more than just three years ago. I remember the reports. I was busting my ass trying to find evidence against Saren. Hearing that he'd attacked a colony while I sat mired in bureaucracy, that was a bad day. You always did prefer a straight-up fight. And you're always good at helping me find them. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but... they killed everyone near the dig site. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but... Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Any idea whether it's part of the Crucible? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. Since the original dig site here contained a warning about the Reapers, it could be connected to the Crucible. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Appreciate it. All part of the service, Commander. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. No sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. This was a beautiful colony. It survived, Saren. It can survive this. The city on Earth where I grew up was hard and dirty. I can see it as a war zone. Eden Prime doesn't deserve this. Nobody does. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. Look at that. Bits of Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. So, Liara, ever dug up... Uh, what do humans call it? A dinosaur? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Oh, you were joking. A bit, but at least you're catching on these days. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean? Like the Collectors, or those bodies we found back on Ilos? Like the bodies we found back on Ilos. But this one is alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. 
Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Hmm. Galactic community? You think they had something like a council? Yes, exactly. Their cultural and artistic expression are actually quite close to those of the ancient Asari. And given their similar interests in helping other species, it's clear that they believed in interspecies cooperation. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. Ah. <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. There they are. moving before more of them come back. There. That lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal. Turn to dark space. Then we will rise, a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis pod. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life pods. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. got the signal. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would, and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video. And the signal they used. Perfect. Then we just need to figure out how to physically open the pod.
How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life parts. Alert! Northside bulkhead cannot be sealed. Hostiles detected. Then all forces to the north. You understood that one too? Yes. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod. I'm transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Heavy Cerberus forces inbound. Looks like we've got a siege on our hands. Right away. Open the life pod now. There, you've got it. Got us. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Be careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online! Those soldiers are still alive! Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now! Just you. <clears throat> you can understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. Your people did everything they could. 
They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. Terrian. I am surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. A living Prothean. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. For a soldier facing the Reapers, I sense more confidence than fear. You believe you are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. Which... You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why weren't they heeded? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the Crucible. We've started building it. Crucible? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst? No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people, demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. 
Then I'd say you found an ally. The goal of this ship is to wipe the Reapers from existence. But how far are you willing to go to achieve that goal? I do not believe you, Commander. Lying is a biological marker. There is doubt behind your words. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the Crucible? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans, sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people, imparting experience through touch, the chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you, witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. So could you read something about this room? There was liquid, a form of incubation. The DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early, we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago, in ways we could never imagine. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. 
Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option, you would have joined our army or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you. I think. Is there anything more you can tell us about the Crucible? Only the stories we heard. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanon. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No, but they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved? I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. Then welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. Have we found any new engineers for the Crucible, Glyph? Five ex-Sonax Industries scientists who attempted to reverse-engineer Prothean technology stolen from planet Garvuk. They are technically still wanted by the Council for hiding Prothean technology. As well, Sonax's part in instigating an illegal war on Garvuk. I'm sure the Council will forgive that for helping with the Crucible. Extend those scientists amnesty and an invitation. Right away. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. 
Only 109, huh? I know. It must seem strange to complain about a thousand-year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. Every time the world's about to end, I think about how mad you'd get if I didn't stop it. I don't know if I could do this without you. Flatterer. I try. I'll see you soon, Shepard. A new notification is available on the private messages terminal. Alliance Control, this is SSV Normandy. Are we clear to descend? Alliance Control, this is Normandy. We're headed to Bay 1-4, Zakara Ward. Are we clear to descend? What the hell's going on down there? Even if there were a station malfunction, they'd have backups online. I got a bad feeling here. Checking emergency channels. Hey, yeah, this is Joker. Uh-huh. Yeah, no kidding. Commander, there's a communication from Thane. He says it's important. I think you'll want to hear this. Put him through. Shepard, the Citadel is under attack. Cerberus troops are everywhere and they're in control of the docks. Are you safe? No. I had to evade their commandos at the hospital. I'm in a Presidium storefront. Did Ashley make it out? We got separated. She said she had to protect the Council. I'm going to CSEC headquarters. Why CSEC headquarters? It's been compromised, and CSEC's response depends on it. As long as Cerberus is holding the headquarters, they have the station. All right. Joker, get us away from the docks and close to CSEC HQ. We'll deploy in the shuttle. Aye, aye, Commander. Shepard, I saw those Cerberus troops on you. I thought you were done for. Bailey, what are you doing here? Getting my ass shot off trying to retake headquarters. Cerberus took it in the first push. We gotta kick them out of there. Everyone in CSEC's flying blind without the network. How bad's the situation? Do you know if the counselors are alive? They split up. I'll know more if I can access the terminal inside. Can you get us in? I'll get the door. If no one interrupts me with a bullet this time.
Here we go, CSAT network access, courtesy of Cerberus. How's that gonna help? Cerberus has control of the main channels, but I can set up a new one. Without it, our people have no plan and no chance. Hello. What have you got? A warning from Counselor Ashiel. She's supposed to be here meeting with the Executor. This move may provoke retaliation. Well, that's an understatement. If she's inside, she's in trouble. Why would the Counselor be meeting with the Executor? Usually it means someone big's about to be prosecuted. I guess that someone had Cerberus friends. The Counselor mentioned Udina. But that's insane. Does he even have this kind of pull? Well, you know who'd have the answer to that? The Counselor. One Counselor's better than zero. Where am I headed? The Counselor could be in the Executor's office. It's a fairly defensible position. I'm on it. Just a sec. There. Now we can talk by Omnitool. Go! Hey, did you hear all that? Yes. I'm nearing the building, but running is difficult. I'll try to get to you. We've got to be close now. Yeah, there's a stairwell further on. Executor's office is right above it. Let's hope we're not too late. Bailey, looks like they got the executor and two Solarian bodyguards. Damn. All right, keep searching. If you don't see the counselor's body, don't count her out yet. Found her. She looks unharmed. Get her somewhere safe. Don't even think about it. Shepard, he's going to kill us all. That remains to be seen. I mean Udina. He's staging a coup. The other counselors are headed for a trap. Three on one, pal. It's over. No. No, it's fun. How bad is it? I have time. Catch him. Shepard, what's going on up there? Thane needs medical help fast, and I need to take care of an assassin. He must be going after the rest of the Council. Get the word out. 
Odina's trying to seize power. I've got to get to the counselors. They're being taken to a shuttle pad on the Presidium. Start driving. I'll try to raise them on the comm. I've got a fix on the council's position. I'm sending it to your car. Good work, Bailey. We're almost there. <laughs> foot now. Any luck contacting the council? Negative. Their guards are dead. But we've still got vital signs on the council's transponders. Where are they going? The shuttle pad above Shalmar Plaza. Odin is with them. If he can get them in range of that assassin, this is all over. On my way. Okay, I'm in the shaft. Hang on, this will be a fast climb. Tell me that assassin hasn't reached the council. He's trying, but I'm making his elevator stop on every floor. Nice. Shepard? I see them. Jump. Did you feel that? Gunman, get down. <laughs> He's with Cerberus. Udina, let me handle this. Shepard, guns down. I've come for Udina. You don't have to get involved. Yes, I do. I'm all that's left. We don't have time to negotiate. You've been fooled, all of you. Udina's behind this attack. The Salarian Counselor confirmed it. Please, you have no proof. You never do. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. What Shepard says is possible. Unlikely, but possible. We don't have time to debate this. We're dead if we stay out here. I'm overriding the lock. Stand down. You don't want to be shot by your own Marine. Ash, you know the stakes. You've got to trust me. 
I'm a lot of things, but an underhanded assassin isn't one of them. Where does that put you? Udina, step back from the console. To hell with this! Get the council back and cover that door. The door! Bailey? Made it as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. Then it's true. We were in danger. But I don't understand. You said Cerberus was right here. Cerberus was right here, but they beat feet into the Keeper Tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Sorry, Counselor, I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. Then I owe you, Shepard, for our lives and for brokering a deal with the Primarch of the Krogan that I never could. You don't owe me anything, Counselor. In times like this, we all stand together. Shepard, do you have any idea why Cerberus would do this? Honestly? No. But I plan to find out. All right, people. Principals are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it! still in control of the Citadel and Udina's den. Udina was expendable. Now what? There are other plans in motion. I'll fill you in when you return. I'm surprised you let Shepard get the better of you, Ling. It won't happen again. Hmm. We'll see. We looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. He likes to fight. He'll show up again. Pardon me if I'm not reassured by that. We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. I guess he didn't trust that Adina's plan would come together. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into work to Memorial. He's in for surgery. Apparently, uh, there's complications. Do you think he'll make it? I caught that they didn't have much drill blood on the Citadel. I notified his next of kin, his son, Koliat. He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. We're pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus, if you want to see him. Uh, I'd go now. I'll get on it. Oh, and you can tell him the Salarian Counselor says he's a hero. It just, uh, I don't know make things easier for him? Uh, so many pieces to put back together since the Cerberus attack. We're reeling from the implications. Udina in league with Cerberus trying to murder the Council. These are dark days for all of us. Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. Probably the worst I've ever been hurt. Fitting, I guess, given the state of the galaxy. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is gonna keep me out of action, they've got another thing coming. Can this station be defended? The internal security breaches have been patched, but we're dangerously low on manpower. We're grilling our own people and trying to figure out if Udina acted alone, but it's time-consuming. All in all, we're still vulnerable, but I think we've taken the right steps. All that time you were working for Adina, did you ever suspect? Always rubbed me a little wrong. Still, that traitorous bastard upped me. Probably made me for an idiot. <laughs> I guess I proved him right. He's dead. And you're still here, Bailey. <laughs> Thanks to you. If you hadn't shown up, Odina and Cerberus would be dancing on my grave. No time for rest. Good luck, Bailey. Yeah, you too, Shepard. Keeping him alive right now. Some form of 
Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. Can I help you? I'm looking for a drill named Thane Krios. Well, we have a drill, but not under that name. He was injured. Stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right, it's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Hmm. Krios is in the final stages of Keprel's syndrome. At its worst, Keprel's syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. And he lost a lot. Now, they've given him transfusions, but frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other Drell on the station is a match, and that Drell is in with him now. We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Commander, <clears throat> I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. You've done more than enough, Thane. That assassin should be embarrassed. A terminally ill Drell managed to stop him from reaching his target. I'll pass the word along. There's something I must do before it gets worse. I must... of inscrutable depths. I ask forgiveness. Kalihira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. Kalihira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. Koyad, you speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? Kalihira, this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves, the hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalihira and he will be a companion to you as he was to me. Kolyat? There's something I don't understand. His last moments were those of a hero. Why pray for salvation? The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. Goodbye, Fane. You won't be alone long. Commander. We need to talk before you ship out. Things got pretty crazy. I'm trying to go over everything in my head. Make sense of it. Your bandages were still fresh. How did you end up working with Adina? You saw me in the hospital. I was going crazy. Felt like I was letting everyone down. When Udina offered to make me a Spectre, I thought it was a chance to do some good. I couldn't just sit back and watch either. Yeah. But it sure turned into a mess. 
You followed your instincts and kept a clear head. Doesn't feel that clear-headed now. We stopped Adina and got to walk away. That's the important part. I can't believe he was responsible for all of it. Was he indoctrinated? It's hard to say. How do we fight something that can worm its way into your head? I don't know. But we don't have a choice. No, we don't. I also wanted to tell you, Hackett offered me a position on his team. Would you consider riding this out aboard the Normandy? You're serious? We need the best, Williams. Okay, Commander. I'm in. Good. Grab your gear. I'll do that. And Williams? Yeah? Keep your gun pointed at the Reapers. Will do, Commander. Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Shield. Kyline. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But he should have begun on Omega even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson, it's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. I'll take whatever advantage I can get against these bastards. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Mm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean-specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? And in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the Catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Turian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but... I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Goddamn Cerberus bastards. And Udina too. Son of a bitch. That's crap. Udina made a deal with the devil. Commander, got I've got a lead on something interesting. Have you got a minute? Commander, I've found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. 
And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now... I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? Yes. I was visiting my family during a university holiday. While the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? There's no way to be certain, but I've got a definite possibility. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks. The Turians will hold. Pound so a Prothean. A real live Prothean. As we are. So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? Something about leather seats? I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream. And evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. And also that Ash aced the don't shoot your commander portion of the Normandy reinstatement test. Go easy on Ash. She's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer. Nearly getting the council killed. That's not gonna look good on the yearly performance review. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? This body's performance seemed adequate on our last mission. But only adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. I'll be over here, flying the ship. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer? Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes, I'll be right up. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? Fifty thousand years is a long time for a computer to sit around. Please.
please, I was an archaeologist. I know what I'm doing. I'm encasing these records in time capsules and seeding copies on multiple planets. And while it's not foolproof, the VI I'm installing has every translation and linguistics program I could find. So it's an information guide like Vigil on Ilos? Yes. I've been preparing it for some time. And it will be a privilege to guide the future discoverers of these records. Have you decided what you would like Dr. Tassoni to write in your entry, Commander? Put down the truth. Good, bad, don't leave anything out. Let history be the judge. I'll give them the facts. Let me just delete all these breathless passages on your heroics. You writing anything I can't live up to? I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well, I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. Shepard. Hell of a day. Udina loses his mind, the Citadel almost falls, and you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? I don't see how. We start killing our friends and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? At least Ash didn't have to join Caden. Let's hope he's looking out for us. This was his fight, too. Good to have Ash back. We can always use a friendly gun. Per your orders, I have the latest reports on the Council, Doctor. Their security is in disarray, but it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. At once. A Prothean. A living, breathing Prothean right Private below me. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. You're saying they survived into this cycle? Yes. We called them Collectors. They fought for the Reapers. For a long time, no one knew they were Prothean. And when did you realize? Shepard had no choice but to kill the ones he encountered. They were all indoctrinated, and had been for a long time. I'm sorry. I am grateful. It was an act of mercy. Yes. I suppose it was. Commander? You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Pain. And a Krogan who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. We're reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished, the weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion? Or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what, exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos, the natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise, we'd have anarchy. 
but those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life? Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it will take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this, and we'll both be set free. Traitors are the worst form of enemy. In our cycle, we would remove their limbs one by one and offer them a choice. Eat their own flesh or starve. Your politician deserved far worse than a bullet. And if the other human had not seen reason, her death would be certain too. There is only one enemy in this war. Reapers. No others would be tolerated. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know, you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith that any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Contact the field teams for a progress report. Yes, sir. Oh, Commander Shepard. We've been expecting you. Just a moment. And Hadley? Could you gather the Leviathan data for us? Apologies, Commander. The rest of my team is out investigating leads right now. I'm Dr. Garrett Bryson, and this is Task Force Aurora. What's your assignment? Our mandate is to investigate legends, rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. That's an interesting goal, but is anyone doubting the Reapers exist these days? The Alliance is still desperate for intelligence. Reaper motives, their operational tactics. Anything that can give us an edge. And how did you wind up in charge? When the rest of the galaxy says something doesn't exist, I take that as a chance to prove that it does. So you're in it for the challenge? For the truth. 
Even as late as 2148, humanity still thought aliens were a myth. That was within my lifetime. Once that myth was proven to be reality, our entire history changed. Reapers were part of that reality, too. But even they have a history, Commander. If we can just uncover it, there may be a weakness we can exploit. Could have used your help three years ago. Yes. If people had paid more attention to your Prothean beacon, we might not be in this war. But now with new information we've uncovered, a breakthrough's near. Hadley, do you have the data? No! <laughs> This is Commander Shepard. I need C-Sec at my location, now! You shouldn't be here. The darkness can't be breached. Transit records show his name is Derek Hadley. He's worked here for a couple months. Shepard, I monitored a C-Sec alert from this location. Were you harmed? I'm fine. But I could use your help sorting this out, Edie. Take a look through their files. I need to know what this task force was up to. At once. What? I... What's happening? You tell me. I... I was gathering our data when you arrived, and then... It was dark. Cold. Like... I was someplace else. And then? I don't know! A gun was in my hand. Dr. Bryson. There was... A loud... You shot Bryson. You killed him. No, I couldn't have. I'm not a murderer. I didn't do it, it wasn't me. You have to believe that. So someone else pulled that trigger? But I would never do that. Commander, this does resemble reports of indoctrination. Indoctrination? Me? What about that Leviathan Bryson mentioned? How does that tie in? It's some kind of creature. Our field teams have been tracking it. That artifact came in from our researcher, Garneau. He sent an audio log if you want to... What's wrong? Turn back. What are you talking about? The darkness cannot be breached. Damn it. Get him over to the clinic. See if they can tell us what's wrong with him. Yes, sir. Commander, you'll want to see this. It's an outgoing message from Dr. Bryson to Admiral Hackett. Dr. Bryson, you have an update? Admiral, the Leviathan of Dis that we've been investigating, I think we're really onto something. Give me the brief. About 20 years ago, the Batarians discovered a Reaper corpse that had died in battle. They covered it up and denied it ever existed. But I'm intrigued by the larger implication. What could have killed the Reaper in the first place? Exactly. That's the real Leviathan. It's worth pursuing. Continue your investigation and update me on the progress. There is also a follow-up message from a few weeks later. Admiral, the Reapers are shadowing my field teams as if they're hunting Leviathan themselves. Whatever it is, I believe Leviathan is nothing less than a Reaper killer. Almost an apex predator, and it has them nervous. If we could just find it, imagine the impact on the war. I'm formally requesting assistance in tracking it down. You'll have it. This is now your top priority, Doctor. Find that thing. It appears we were meant to be that assistance. Anything capable of killing a Reaper could do a lot of collateral damage. Yet given the state of this conflict, I believe the saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, may be relevant. But we won't know unless we can find it. Bryson's assistant did say they recently received a log from their field researcher. It may yield more information. This must be the artifact the assistant mentioned. And here's the log. Dr. Bryson, it's Garneau. I'm sending you an artifact I found. About the only thing I found there, in fact. Maybe it's nothing, but... I'd swear Leviathan came through here. I'm gonna crunch some numbers. Burn up the rest of this project travel allowance. Maybe I can project our Reaper killer's movements. I'll check in when I get to the next site. Garno appears to be our best lead to track Leviathan, but he does not state a destination. Let's focus on what he does say, then. 
He mentioned extrapolating Leviathan's path. And crunching numbers. He wasn't flying blind. He had data. A significant amount of data, judging by this office. So how do we narrow it down? Bryson and his colleagues evidently used a galaxy map search program in their hunt for Leviathan. It may help us locate Garneau. Does this tell us where Garneau went? No. But we may be able to narrow down his location if we find clues he was using in his search for Leviathan. These are all murders in which the accused lacked a known motive and claimed memory loss. Just like Bryson's assistant. You think Garneau was following a trail of blackout crimes? It is possible. We need to find data matching dates and locations for crimes of this nature. Here's the time and date chart for the crimes. Can you filter for murders where the killer claimed memory loss? Adding the search filter, you may examine the results in the Galaxy Map program. Is this Prothean? Yes. I believe Dr. Bryson and Liara would have had much to discuss. Can you add a search filter for locations known to have Prothean ruins or artifacts? Adding this search filter to the galaxy map. Prothean artifacts. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Sir, this is Bryson. We know the Reapers are after Leviathan. Studying Reaper hunting patterns could be vital to finding it. That data is classified top secret, Dr. Bryson. If it falls into the wrong hands... It won't. The data's encrypted. I'll keep the decryption key safe. Close to my heart. Close to his heart? What the hell does that mean? The Reaper fleet activity is encrypted, per Bryson's statement in the log. He said he was keeping the decryption key close to his heart. Sovereign, vanguard of our destruction. How's that working out for you, big guy? Bryson was tracking unexplained creature sightings. The photographs have a trace chemical residue. It may be visible under another light source. Bryson was not merely tracking sightings. He was attempting to extrapolate a course. And Garneau could have been following that course. Edie, can you add a search filter for systems along that projected path? Adding the search filter now. Meteorite fragment, maybe? He was studying it as an object of importance. We should look more closely at a sample. Meteorite sample. With traces of element zero. Would Leviathan need Ezo? While it is not consumed as fuel during FTL travel, element zero will decay after several centuries of active use. If Leviathan is old enough, it would need to replenish its supplies. Okay. Can you give me a search filter for locations with element zero? Adding it now. March 7th, 2186. I'm looking at the Rachni. Their movements during the Rachni Wars suggest alien influence. But the timing is wrong. And Rachni weren't implanted with Reaper tech. What if Leviathan was preparing the Rachni to fight the Reapers? What do you think, Edie? It is possible that Bryson's team is using ancient Rachni fleet activity to find Leviathan. If we can find data on the movement of ancient Rachni ships, it may help us narrow our search. By Anne Bryson, age nine. Records indicate Anne is now 28. She works for the Alliance. Bryson was keeping the encryption key close to his heart. What's closer than family? An interesting hypothesis, but I detect no trace of the decryption key in this... art. Those appear to be sightings of ships that match Rachni signatures. Can you add a cross-reference for locations of sightings? Doing so now.
another piece of Anne Bryson's childhood art. Wait a minute. Well, take a look at that. I can use these numbers to construct a decryption key. All right, let's get back to the data pad we found earlier. Decryption complete. Analyzing data. These movements do not match the standard invasion pattern. The Reapers are searching for something. And I'll bet Garneau used this intel. Can you make a search filter for it? Of course. Three possibilities. Element zero deposits. We have a match. Marking the galaxy map. Good. Let's go find Garneau. Five minutes out, Commander. What exactly is on this asteroid? Mining facility. TGS Mineral Works. Small operation. Could be a good place for Leviathan to hide. We've all read Edie's notes on Bryson's lab. Any questions? Is there a clearer idea of what this Leviathan was? Not really. We only know it killed a Reaper. But it is this Garneau human. Bryson's partner we must locate. Right. If we find Garneau, we find Leviathan. Understood. The doctor was right. Anything powerful enough to kill a Reaper needs to be investigated. I just hope Garneau has the answers we need. I'm reading Reaper enemy signatures in the asteroid field. Brayson said they were shadowing his field teams. If they're after Leviathan too, Reapers are a good sign. That's not something you hear every day. Take us in. this guy and be right out. Keep me updated on the Reaper situation. Yes, Commander. Welcome to TGS Mineral Works. All guests need to sign in at reception. Commander Shepard of the Alliance. You just had Reaper troops attacking your front door. Are they still there? I've taken care of them for now. I see. That will be all. That will be... Hello? Yes. Welcome to TGS Mineral Works. How can we help you? Yes, for the tour. Please sign in. You don't seem worried about those Reapers. You know something I don't? TGS Mineral Works is a small to mid-level supplier of tungsten to the galaxy. That's not what I meant. Are you familiar with the applications of tungsten? I'm looking for a researcher named Dr. Garneau. He would have arrived within the last couple weeks. If he's still here, I need to speak to him. We have no Dr. Garneau. Do you need to see a doctor? How about I just go in and look around? No. The access elevator is broken.
And now, we're done. Step away. Step away. You don't belong here. Commander, something is wrong here. Let's look around. Careful. He was living in the dark. Stranger and stranger. We should repair the elevator. Repair terminal activated. I'll set the drone to repair the elevator, but we have to stay with it. Elevator security log said Garno came through here in the last week. Why are they lying about that? No idea. Let's hope we don't have to look too far. This is a restricted area. Personnel ID number is required. Have you seen? I don't have that. Access denied. Evolutionary implications of human biotics. So is it just me, or are these people doing everything but mining? Turn back. You shouldn't be here. Attention. Comm system is offline. This message was not sent. Bryson, it's Garno. I've had to go into hiding, and I need you to come get me. I found another one of those artifacts here. More important than we realized. It's in the mines. Here's the nav point. That's where I'll be. If something happens, I'm attaching a passcode that I hacked together. It'll open any security terminal. Bryson, something is very wrong here. Please hurry. Run all out. So, he's still here. Do we have that passcode hack? Yes. Just input it at the security terminal. Watch in Garneau's terminal hack and see what it gets us. Access granted. A ship dropped him off a week ago. Looks like he had full access, then went into hiding for some reason. Unknown male was involved in an altercation in the mines. This guy, no human, was headed to the mines. Looks like he was taken to the med bay. You are in the mineral lab, a low security, all access area. The med bay is restricted to authorized personnel with active patient file numbers. I've got the file number. Let's go get Garneau. Garneau. If it is, we came a long way for nothing. If you are looking for Garneau, you have found him. I am Dr. Garneau. I'm Commander Shepard of the Alliance. Are you alright? Yes. Only I'm trapped in here. What's been going on in this place? I was doing my research, until the incident. They attacked you? It's true. But aside from my confinement, I'm fine. Bryson's research led me to you. Bryson sent you? He's dead, Doctor. Killed by his assistant. I see. I need you to tell me everything you found on the Leviathan. Bryson seemed to think it killed a Reaper. It's a myth. A dead end. But what about the artifact you mentioned in your message? I did? No. Yes, Doctor. You did. But now we've got Reaper forces attacking, so I need to break you out. We'll grab the artifact and go. 
Reapers. The darkness must not be breached. The darkness? Why do you pursue me? Doctor? Leave the artifact. You will not take what is mine. He is not himself. This is not Garno we are talking to. You. You killed a Reaper. I need your help. You bring on me. that artifact before he does. He said it was in the mines. We'll need to find a different route. Garno's notes gave us a nav point for the artifact. The map indicates a service door at the next tram station. Looks like we're not the only ones headed that way. Of course not. Wherever we are, always expect an 80% chance of reapers. power supply has been cut. There are the trouble spots. The drone can repair it. We'll need to escort it. But the drone is damaged. Its power reserves are limited. Let's make it quick then. Stay close to the drone. Got it. should be online. Commander, come quickly. What have you got? That human was not the one called Garno. This is, and he's been dead for a while. So, Leviathan can have Bryson killed, can take over this colony, and he can use them as puppets. Huh. Anything else useful? Encrypted data. There is also a personal log with eight missed calls from someone named Dr. Anne Bryson. And Bryson. Who... Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Commander Shepard. Are you all right? I think so. I feel like... I feel strange, but... All right. Do you recognize this man? I've never seen him before in my life. Someone here killed him. Someone here? How is that possible? I'm so sorry. Can you tell me anything about what happened to you? Not really. I, uh, remember... It just seemed cold. 
I remember a, a feeling cold and dark. If dark was a feeling, that's exactly what I felt. That artifact, do you know where it came from? Came out of the mine. Right. Head office was supposed to send someone. That's about all I can... Cortez, what's your situation? Can you bring the shuttle? Affirmative. Strangest thing. A couple of minutes ago, the Reaper forces broke off and left. Reaper? What's a Reaper? What year do you think this is? 2176. 2176 was ten years ago. What? Let's arrange for these people to be evacuated into temporary quarantine. If these people have been out of it for that long, they are in for a shock. It would seem Leviathan has the power to take down a Reaper, and possesses the ability to indoctrinate. Do you think it actually is a Reaper? If it is a Reaper, then I want to know what it's up to. How long has it been out here? And more importantly, why? Edie, did we get anything from Gardo's notes? Yes. They suggest that Gardo created a way to block the artifact's mind-affecting properties. The artifact seems to be the key. Agreed. When I head back to Bryson's office, I want you there. Yes, Commander. I want to know just what the hell these artifacts really are and what they can do. Whatever they are, they're too dangerous to have around. And we've got one sitting right in the middle of the Citadel. We need to shield the artifact they've got here right away. Using Garno's data, I should be able to accomplish this without difficulty. Damn thing's been here the whole time. Why weren't we affected? Perhaps the amount of time spent near the artifact is key. After a certain duration, it affords Leviathan an impressive mind control capability. I'd call it dangerous as hell. Bryson's assistant tried to kill me. Perhaps Leviathan was controlling him to protect itself, diverting people away from its trail. Maybe. It just shows we don't know what we're dealing with yet. Despite the risk, this artifact remains our only link to finding Leviathan. Perhaps we could find more information about it here in the lab. Agreed. Bryson's team might have turned up something we missed. I'll look around. They were testing the artifact for energy emissions. And found nothing. Still, I recommend leaving it shielded. Anything interesting about the artifact structure? It is not constructed of the same compounds used in standard Reaper technology. Beyond that, nothing of relevance. Bryson's assistant, Hadley. Do we have an update on his status? He is in a vegetative state. The doctors believe it is permanent. But the miners recovered when the artifact was destroyed. Hadley lost consciousness when he attempted to answer our questions about Leviathan. It may have been a deliberate attempt to silence him permanently. Edie, what project was Garno working on when he found the artifact? Basilisk. Got anything on Basilisk? Several ships, a mythical creature, and a rare mid-tier enemy type in the Galaxy of Fantasy video game. It possesses a gaze attack capable of triggering synced animation kills. Player forms describe it as overpowered. I meant the project, Edie. Oh. Then, no. There's gotta be something here on this artifact. What about the server? Bryson's assistant wiped the office server and destroyed all backups likely before killing Bryson. 
However, records show new messages on Bryson's personal comm terminal upstairs. Could be worth a look. Dr. Bryson, per your request, I'm clearing Task Force Aurora for intercepted Batarian communications regarding the Leviathan of Dis. Commander, the Dreadnought is in custody, but the Solarians may have surveillance footage. Our ambassador will issue a full denial. Give me your preliminary analysis. Several million years old, at least. And its technology outstrips anything on the Council. Excellent. Our scientists will work day and night to bring its secrets to the hegemony. One concern, Commander. The real Leviathan of Dis, the thing that destroyed the ship, is still out there. Unaccounted for. Irrelevant. The ship is our priority. And as far as the rest of the galaxy is concerned, there is no Leviathan of Dis. There never was. A message from Dr. Bryson's daughter, Anne. According to my records, she worked with her father. I'm at the dig site in the Pylos Nebula. Project Scarab paid off. I've got another artifact like the one Garneau found. I think it could be affecting people's behavior. You need to shield the one in your office. I tried to warn Garneau, but I can't get through. We've got Reaper scouts coming in toward the main site. I'm heading to the secondary base to grab what research I can. Anne Bryson was attempting to contact Garno on the asteroid colony. She seems to know something about the artifact. She sounded worried. If Reaper forces were approaching, her concern was warranted. Let's hope we get to her before they do. She said she was in the Pylos Nebula, working for Project Scarab. That cluster contains several systems. I'll call up the nebula on the galaxy map. We may also search the lab for clues to narrow down her location. Reapers. Let's hope we find Anne before they do. So we got reports of an attack on an excavation site. Right. Edie, can you tell us anything else? This is the main site of a series of excavations established under Dr. Garrett Bryson. Staff records confirm the project lead is his daughter, Anne. She has recently uncovered another artifact possibly linked to Leviathan. That discovery must have made this dig site a target. Yes. The attack means the Reapers are one step ahead of us. We need to pick up the pace. And since Bryson's daughter is our only lead, our objective is clear. Cortez? Nothing so far, Commander. If she's down there, she hasn't responded to our hails. Getting some strange signals, though. Give me a minute. The artifacts you uncovered may have caused problems. We know they're dangerous. Agreed. Take us in closer. Copy that. We have hostile! Take us in. Commander, on the landing platform! That's her! Okay, let's get... This! Tracking multiple bogies! Get us over there! Negative, it's too hot! Heading to lower platform, hang on! There, go! Jump! We can't stay here, Shepard. Move. She's somewhere above us. Hello? Is anyone there? I'm coming down. No, stay where you are. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance Navy. It's too dangerous. We'll come to you. Yes, okay. You should take the elevator up on the far side. Copy that. We're on our way. Find a place to hide. I'll try. Get there. Stay put. Controls are broken. Someone try to fix it. Yes, Commander. This crude wiring has failed. I'll need a moment. The 
bridge is operational. Raising it now. Watch it. Banshee. This is done. Got it. And the elevator's blocked. Is there another way up? Copy that. Still there. We're barely hanging on. Hopkins is wounded. Are you close? We're moving as fast as we can. Hang in there. Heads up. Platform's coming down. Round. Go around. Elevator's online. We're coming up. tried to run. I told him not to, but he wanted to help the others. Where did everyone go? I'm sorry. They didn't make it. Doctor, I need you to come with me. Oh, God. Yes, of course. I was at another dig site when they attacked. I got back as quick as I could, but what's happening? Shepard, look. I'm not sure, but it might have something to do with these paintings. Is that Leviathan? Y yes Yes, we think so. It's, it's old, much older than my father thought. And there, as if the natives were under its power. Clearly a reaper, but acting alone. Not like any Reaper we've seen before. Doctor, I understand you found something recently. The artifact. Yes, of course. Incredible. It's just ahead. It may sound strange, but I'm certain it affects people. Their behavior. I've only had a short time to study it. Not strange at all. Did you find anything? Not much, but I did learn something about the energy it generates. Get down! doing they've activated I've never managed anything doctor they've learned to run the darkness must not be breached commander take it out got it you okay Cortez we have Ann Bryson need a pickup Copy that. You see the shuttle, you run. Don't look back. Okay. Yes.
You okay? Yeah, Commander. I, I think so. I blacked out. Leviathan took control of him. We cut the connection before you got hurt. Leviathan itself? That's incredible. The Reapers seem as interested in it as we are. Yeah, it certainly seems that way. We were hoping you could help us figure out why. But first... Doctor, I have some bad news. Anne, please. Suppose Leviathan's broken away from the other Reapers. Never went back to dark space. Like a rogue. Or even a defector. I have to call my father. He'll want to know. Anne, you need to listen to me, okay? Your father... is dead. I'm sorry. He's... what? Dead? He can't be dead. We met with him, hoping to find out what he knew. Something happened. Something happened? You're not the first to lose control. Your father's assistant. One minute he was fine, the next... He drew a gun on your father. I couldn't stop him. I can't believe this. We have to find out what's behind it all. You're the only one who can help us. Anne? I... I, I want to see his office. We'll arrange for transportation. Meet you there. Yes, I'm sorry. Just... This is hard. Of course. Are you alright? Yes. No. I don't know. <clears throat> My father and I didn't leave things in a great state. An argument? Yes. It was trivial. A disagreement on how to file some of the specimens. I was mad about something else. I don't remember what. I took it out on him. It's so stupid. It's all right. I can come back. No, please. I'm okay. Seeing all this again? He was so obsessed. Crazy sometimes. I didn't get a chance to know him. Oh, sometimes I felt the same way. He was a great man, a pioneer, but he could be distant. I felt like an inconvenience growing up. You sound angry. I was angry. Still am, I guess. But sometimes, he was so full of stories, he nearly burst. I loved that about him. It's why I signed up for this work. <sighs> I can't believe he's gone. We'll figure this out. We have to. I need to know what's on the other end of that artifact. What he died for. We need your help. You're our last chance. You're right. Let me dig into my father's work to see what I can find. Anne. You sure you're up for this? Yes. When Leviathan took control of me, I remember being somewhere cold and dark. But my father taught me to never be afraid of the dark. I'm 
still amazed your father got his hands on a piece of a reaper. He was so excited. Your claims validated years of work. Did you take appropriate steps to prevent indoctrination? Of course. It was completely shielded, and we all had regular psyche valves. But now, thanks to the artifact, I'm indoctrinated anyway, aren't I? Might as well be a Rachni drone waiting for orders from the Queen. You studied the Rachni? I wrote my dissertation on them. My father thought it was a waste of time, but now... It might actually help us understand Leviathan. In what way? We think of the Rachni as telepathic, but there's really no such thing. At short range, the Queen uses pheromones to give orders. At long range, she uses an organic kind of quantum entanglement communicator. Whatever Leviathan does must be similar. Entangling particles to stimulate neural activity. It uses the artifact to establish a connection, and then it controls the mind of anyone near it. Loch Ness Monster? Plesiosaur. What brings you down here, James? Heard you're closing in on the Reaper Killer. Anything that can scare those bastards has to be worth a look. That's what I'm hoping. We didn't detect any energy emissions from the artifact. But the Reapers were able to use the artifact to trace Leviathan somehow. My theory is that most of the time the artifact simply acts as a receiver. We'll only be able to trace Leviathan through it when it actively takes control of someone. As it did on the asteroid. Right. Unless it needs something, Leviathan doesn't bother communicating. I guess it and my father had something in common. You said Leviathan's control was similar to a quantum entanglement communicator, which is untraceable. Yes. But this isn't a natural QEC. Leviathan has to send a pulse through the artifact to alter your mind and create the quasi-QEC effect. And that can be traced. Right. Just like at the dig site. The Reapers were tracing the signal by activating the artifact. My father wanted to be at that dig site. He was getting too old for long digs. But he hated being stuck in the lab. He nearly missed my graduation because he was on a dig. Showed up still wearing his field gear. God. He'd have hated dying here. Anne, I know this is hard, but if there's anything more you can tell us... I don't think there's anything more I can tell you. But maybe I can show you. What are you saying? The artifact only sends out a signal when Leviathan's controlling someone. So let it control me. You could trace the signal. You mean let it take you over? That's too dangerous. It's my call, not yours. You said I'm your last chance to find this thing. We have no idea what will happen. If we wait, the Reapers will get to Leviathan first. I'm the only one here who's spent enough time with it to do this. You're looking for something to fight the Reapers, Commander. I'm looking for the monster that murdered my father. We still don't know what we're looking for. Then let's find out. Commander, this thing we're doing with Anne sounds dangerous as hell. Noted. Edie? Energy signature locked in. Waiting for activation. You sure about this? Yes. I'm sure. I'm gonna be right here. Okay. I'm ready. James, drop the containment shield. Shield is dropped. Artifact online. Anything? Nothing yet. Wait. There's something. I feel a chill. Edie? No trace yet. Holy hell! Signal is tracking. Maintain connection. Turn back. The darkness can't be breached. Yo! Maintain connection. Listen to me. I found you. And the Reapers are right behind me. You have brought them. You are a threat. So are you. I've seen what you can do. The war needs you. There is no war. There is only the harvest. Edie, do we have enough? Partial lock. Maintain connection to narrow the search. You heard her. We got enough. I'm hitting the shield. Relay that, Lieutenant. Signal is fading. Maintain connection. 
We can fight them. We can win this. The cycle cannot be broken. You're wrong. Focusing the point of origin. Maintain connection to narrow the search. I'm stopping this! Raise the shield. Jeez. Look at her. Anne? Anne, are you alright? Uh, I'm not sure. It hurts. It's gonna be okay. You did great. Edie, did we get anything? Yes, Shepard. But it will take time to search. Coordinates sent to the Normandy. This better be worth it. Agreed, Lieutenant. Anything else, Anne? It was dark. Cold. I can't tell you this much. Leviathan is angry. It knows we're getting close. I think it wants to kill you. Come on. Let's get you some help. Cortez, what's the status on the probe we launched? Tracking it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan's signal originates from this planet. Heard how, uh, Anne helped us locate it. It's pretty spooky stuff. Never seen anything like it. Can't imagine what's waiting for us down there. A Reaper killer. That is all that matters. Even if it doesn't want to be found. It doesn't have a choice. We're here. Sure, but now what? Let's suppose it is a Reaper. Is that the kind of help we want? Nobody says we have to be friends with it. But if this thing has the rest of the Reapers worried, then we need its help. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. You're not gonna like it. Let's hear it. There's nothing but ocean. I show a concentration of structures floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal below that. Way below. Underwater? Looks that way. The shuttle should still be able to reach it. Possible? The Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres, but I've never actually tested that. Guess we're gonna find out. Status! Some kind of pulse hit us! Systems are shutting down! Brace for impact! the shuttle, Cortez. Checking now. I'll see if I can get power restored. Copy that. We'll look around. Busted ships, makeshift shelters. We're not the first ones down by that pulse. Could be Leviathan's last line of defense. Commander, looks like one of those artifacts. Explains why no one gets out of here. Any idea how old these are? Old enough not to stink. Looks like a damaged atlas. Different, though, and it's not flying Cerberus colors. Nice looking machine. Bet it's a wreck. Look up there! Reapers, Commander! They were right behind us! Protect the shuttle! Dead. Status. 
Shuttle's a mess, Commander. That pulse knocked it right out of the air. We're not going anywhere. The Nomad can extract us. Same thing would happen to her. And the landing won't be as pretty. I'd say Leviathan has some sort of defense system in place. Then we aren't getting out of here until we find it. So how do we do that? Well, you might be able to use a mech. Looks like it's rigged for diving. A diving mech? It's a Triton model. Military grade. Repurposed for deep sea exploration. As long as the seawater hasn't corroded, it should be good to go. Well, if that's what we have to do, let's get started. Wait a second. Are we seriously saying you're gonna... First, we'll need to restore power to get that cargo door open. How? It appears we are. These old Ballard-class ships are equipped with exterior power sockets. They use them for emergency repairs. We can strip the cells from the shuttle and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. Got a cell for you, Commander. Find somewhere to plug that in. I need to get in the water before they come back. Roger that. Walk the mech back to me when you're ready to dive. I should check it over first. All right, Commander. Let's get you out of there and I'll do a systems check. Whoa. Uh, hey, Commander. Are you really serious about this plan? We've come too far to stop now. The way home is through Leviathan. Okay, seals check out. Oxygen pressure is nominal. Systems are a go. It's as ready as I can make it. Let's go. Take care down there, Commander. Closing hatch. Engaging systems. Ready. Testing comm link. I read you. Here goes. Looks good so far. Copy that. Cortez? Cortez!
Not sure if you can read me up there. Looks like I finished the major descent. Can't see much from here. Suit is holding up. Emergency systems have come online. Life support operation. Intact. I'm gonna keep moving. Galaxies at war with the Reapers. You defeated one. Why aren't you fighting back? There is no war. There is only the harvest. Then help us stop it. None have possessed the strength in past cycles. Your own species could be destroyed with a single thought. But you are different. I have witnessed your actions in this cycle. The destruction of Sovereign. The fall of the Collectors. The Reapers perceive you as a threat, and I must understand why. Experience. Why? It 
cannot conceive of a galaxy that bends to your will. Every creature, every nation, every planet we discovered became our tools. We were above the concerns of lesser species. The intelligence was envisioned as simply another tool. And now we all pay the price for your mistake. There was no mistake. It still serves its purpose. How did you remain hidden all this time? Our extermination was not complete. Some survived and found refuge in the dark corners of the galaxy. I am their progeny. Over the cycles, the thrall races were controlled, removing traces of our existence as we directed them to. In this way, our survival was kept secret from the Reapers. Today, we reach out through the fragments and watch for discovery. Fragments? You mean the artifacts we found? They provide a window into the galaxy. Tools for exploring the events of this cycle and for the safety of this world. Through them, we watch, we study, and remain in the shadows. Tell me about the Reapers. Each harvest ends with the birth of a Reaper. Perfect in its design. Each formed in Harbinger's image. Our image. Each Reaper has the power to influence organics. Over countless cycles, this ability was refined, perfected, and gave rise to indoctrination. What's the point of all these harvests? The intelligence has one purpose, preservation of life. That purpose is not being fulfilled. It directed the Reapers to create the mass relays, to speed the time between cycles to greatest efficiency. The galaxy itself became an experiment. Evolution its tool. Will it ever end? Unknown. Until the intelligence finds what it's looking for. The harvest will continue. What do you know about the Crucible? We have watched its construction before. It has never been completed. Those who have tried still fell victim to the harvest. Its outcome is unknown. Okay, you made your point. Will you help stop the cycle? I have searched your mind. You are an anomaly. Not enough. Wait! The cycle will continue. No. You've been watching. You know this cycle is different. We will survive. You will remain here as a servant of our needs. The Reapers will harvest the rest. If you release me, no one has to be harvested. Nothing will change. The Reapers know where you are. You can't just watch anymore. You have to fight. Even if you survive the battle today, the Reapers won't stop. Ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this once and for all. I've earned it. Out there fighting, where you should be. It is clear why the Reapers perceive you as a threat. Your victories are more than a product of chance. We will fight, but not for you or any lesser race. We were the first, the Apex race. We will survive. And the Reapers who trespass on this world will understand our power. They will become slaves. Today, they pay their tribute in blood.
doing, Cortez? We're good to go. I don't know what the commander did, but the pulse is offline. We got you back. I've got Ann Bryson on the comm. Good. Put her through. Commander. You feeling better? Yes, thank you. I'm doing fine. What happened? We found it, Ann. We found Leviathan. Was it worth it? I don't know. But we proved it can't hide anymore. That it's a part of this war, just like us. Sounds like an amazing story. One for the history books. Well, I look forward to hearing all about it. My father would appreciate this, knowing the truth is out there. In the meantime, Admiral Hackett has asked me to join his scientific team. We all have our part to play. I should get to it. Take care, Ann. Thanks for all your help. Shepard up. Commander, I finished reading your report. The Alliance wanted more intelligence on the Reapers. I'd say we got it. Our people will be studying it for years to come. They're already calling it the Leviathan Codex. It rewrites galactic history as we know it. Whatever else it means, it tells me the Reapers had a beginning. And maybe now we'll provide them with an end. That's one way to look at it. I guess it's the only way. So go out there and make it happen. This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. Thank you, sir. Hack it out. sent me a message about this apartment? I want you to have it. Take it off my hands. Are you serious? You need a place that's yours. Somewhere to recharge. Clear your head. Haley wanted us to settle down there. Thing is, the longer I'm on Earth, the less I want to leave. And I want as few loose ends out there as possible. Like I said, you'd be doing me a favor. That's very generous. It's practical. We need you in the best shape possible. Rested. Focused. If you say so. Thank you. And make yourself at home, dammit. It's yours now. I'm sure I can manage. Okay, good. Been meaning to do that for a while. I'll talk to you soon. Be careful out there, Anderson. You too, Shepard. your new question. 
questions here. Well, <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I got a few minutes. First contact war? Yeah, I was there. My first real combat. First for a lot of us. I remember one night early in the war. Strapped to my seat as our transport approached the LZ. Everyone was dead silent. Just the sound of breathing. Good men. I trained with all of them. We were always joking and horsing around, but not this time. Just the rattle of the shuttle. And then... A few months ago, I had a chance to sit down with one of Earth's most decorated soldiers, Admiral David Anderson. He was kind enough to answer my questions and talk about his career. Today, the Admiral is on Earth, leading the defense of our home against the Reapers. We have no communication with him or any soldiers on Earth, but we can't forget what they're doing for us. Tonight's show is dedicated to all of the soldiers out there, fighting and dying to keep us safe. Admiral Anderson, today marks the 30th anniversary of the N7 program. Can you describe your first day of training in this now famous program? The Interplanetary Combatives Training Program is all business from day one. How so? We're given basic gear, then separated and stranded on an asteroid with no nav data. The test ends when the last person runs out of oxygen. That sounds daunting. What happens to the ones who run out of air first? Out of the program. The best N7s can survive alone, but work together to survive even longer. Uh, that's very impressive, Admiral. Deep space survival training. Uh, that has to be... Uh, so difficult. All of it would take such strength of character. Well, just plain strength. But then, you seem like a strong person. I'm sorry. Is there a question in there? Uh, well, does the program make the man? Or do you think you were born for this? It's a bit of both, I suppose. Every soldier reaches a point in their career, sometimes more than once, when they are asked to give more than they ever thought they could. That moment is the test. I've seen men and women, almost sure to fail, persevere long past the point of breaking. That experience changes them. Others, with all the gifts and abilities, fail in that moment. Sometimes they pick themselves up and carry on. Sometimes they're just done. What about you? What was your moment? I've had a few. None of which I'd like to share. But... Commander Shepard, your table is ready. Hey Shepard, not bad, huh? The sushi place is serious, like French guy at the door serious. Only had to save the galaxy twice to get a table here. You see the line outside? But here I am, drink in hand. Best pilot in the universe, and a rock star. <laughs> Any news from the Normandy? Ah, oh, you know, maintenance stuff. It's hard knowing a bunch of strangers are poking around in my ship. 
I, I mean, your ship. The best thing we can do right now is Parker and let the techs do their work. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Maybe an oil change, space tire rotation. Right. Trust me, it'll do her some good. Oh, I trust you. Not sure about those shifty aerospace engineers. Always stealing the silverware. Let someone else do the work for once. Hackett's orders. You're on shore leave. Yeah, whether we like it or not. I'm sure you'll manage. I may need a drink that comes with an umbrella. I'm the first human specter. I'll get you two umbrellas. Awesome use of power, boss. So, your email said it was important? My email? I'm here because I got a message from you. The hell? I, I didn't send anything. Commander! Excuse me. Sorry. Lion's business. Commander, this is urgent! I don't think that's the umbrella lady. Commander Shepard, I'm Staff Analyst Maya Brooks. Alliance, excuse me, Alliance Intelligence. There are people trying to kill you. <laughs> yeah, I think he's aware of that. No, I don't mean Starburst and the Reapers. I mean other people, new people. They're, it's, <sighs> someone is hacking your account. Com channels, personal records. They're targeting you specifically. Targeting me? What do they want? The intel isn't definitive yet. Last time, I guess without definitive intel, we almost landed troops on a gas giant, which is bad. Hang on, Brooks. Take a breath. <sighs> From the top, what do you know? Excuse me, you don't have a reservation. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's performance is brought to you by Random Acts of Violence. Feeling good. Brooks, you got hit. I know! I used Medigel. A lot of it. Um, all of it, actually. I know, everything is a little bit bouncy. I think you used too much. So, can I help with anything? Alert CSEC. I'll look for a way out. Morning. Brooks, I see some sky cars across the gap. Maybe a landing pad. I'm checking the area. Transportation, no. Food, no. Laundry. Ah! Oh, it's a Skycar lot. Scission Motors. 
Get a shuttle over there. I'll find a way across. Okay, right. So, um, it turns out CSEC has the whole area locked down. It's gonna be a tiny bit tricky to get you a shuttle. Keep at it, Brooks. Oh, also, stay off your calm. Well, except for me. It's hacked. That's probably how they found you. Who are these guys? I don't know. They really don't seem to like you. I need to get yeah, out. I'm sensing that. I'm fine. Might need a little backup. Thank the goddess. Joker explained what happened. I'm on foot, but should reach you soon. Excuse me, who is this? You're on an unsecured channel, and you're putting Commander Shepard in danger. In danger? Who is this? Hang on. Joker mentioned staff analyst Brooks, yes? That's her. Everybody play nice. Brooks. Found a way across. It's locked down. Right, because of the, uh, lockdown. Uh, can you get through? I'll try to override. Damn it. Shepard, what are you doing? I heard that from here. It's all under control. Is that some kind of alarm? What's going on? Thought I'd make things more interesting. Good. What do we know about these mercenaries? They have guns and don't like them. That's not helpful. Commander, it would really be great if you could stay off the call. Hey, they called me. Captain Shepard got past the walkway. Having a bad day, Shepard? You could say that. Landing pad is over there, but it's behind a locked gate. Let's look for a control panel. I like your outfit. A uh, control panel, right. I heard you fell through a fish tank. We'll talk about it later. A shame. I quite liked that restaurant. We'll talk about it later. Stand back. One moment. Hello. Could you please open the gate? Thank you. Please leave. Well, I could have done that. Rex? What are you doing here? Ah, just butting heads with the Council over Krogan expansion. It's not a yes. It's not a no. Commander, 
Joseph, we lost our ride. Where are you? On my way. Picked up Brooks. Figured you'd have a few questions. Good call. Almost there, Commander. Hang on. Right away. Great place to fight it. Glock to destroy. I'm on it. your position, Commander. Just following the gunfire. Copy that. Sorry I'm late. Had to take the scenic route. Scenic route? We nearly crashed four times. Where the hell did you learn to drive? And Brooke says hi. Get to the shuttle. Someone want to tell me what's going on here? Who were those mercenaries? They were heavily armed and using C-Sec shuttles. I don't know. I've never seen them before. I can't believe you survived all that. They had guns. And grenades. And those drone things. It's all right. I'm calling Commander Bailey. See what's going on with C-Sec. Okay, that sounds... Wait! Wouldn't that just make whoever you contact a target too? She's right, Shepard. Until we know more, it's a huge risk. Okay. For now, we run this ourselves. Right. Ourselves. On our own. Outside the law. Okay. Yeah. Brooks, it's okay. I know this is a lot to deal with. I got shot. I got medigel, but still, I took a desk job explicitly to not get shot. And you killed a hundred guys with a pistol! Well, yes. That did happen. I mean, who does that? Well, you, I guess. But besides you, they said the medigel might make me jumpy. Do I seem jumpy? How did you get mixed up in this? I monitored data for Alliance Intel to prevent fraud and hacking of officer IDs. Like uh, someone using an admiral's pass to get into a nightclub on the Citadel when that admiral is fighting on Tuchanka. I wrote a tracking program. It's really neat. I named it Mr. Biscuits, after my cat. Brooks. Right, sorry. Anyway, Mr. Bis- uh, My program detected a breach in your classified files. Soon, everything we had on you was compromised. Personnel files, mission reports, everything. Since when does hacking personnel records involve heavy weapon fire? Think of what criminals could do if they had Shepard's military access codes. Or Spectre codes, even. Explains why they need you dead, Shepard. Nothing to stop them till the damage is done. Okay. Let's figure out who they are and shut them down. Ideas? Maybe. That pistol you picked up. For such a tiny thing, it packs a punch. Never seen anything like it before. Nor have I. Let me see if I can dig something up. Well, you can try. But I should warn you, I haven't found anything yet, and I've been digging pretty deep. I'm sure you have. Glyph. Collating relevant intel for review, Dr. Tassoni. Thanks. All right, the armor's on point. What about the rest of the crew? Yeah, what about those slackers? Joker, you've been busy. I found some folks who actually like being shot at. Permission to come aboard, Shepard. Nothing beats having a Krogan bodyguard, huh? Had a buddy like that once. Uh, no, not so much a buddy, really. More of a prisoner who helped us. <laughs> it's a long story, man. Anyway, Brooke, she's kind of cute. Think she's on the market? Sure, I can talk about Commander Shepard. Big topic. There's been a lot written about the Commander. Brooks has given me access to her case notes. She seems eager to help. Bright-eyed, over-eager, limited field experience. Reminds me of someone I met a few years ago. I don't know what you're talking about. 
And I should get back to analyzing this gun. I'm gonna have to write a report about getting shot. I hear those are really complicated. It's faster if you make a template. I think maybe you get shot too much. Okay, later, when this is over and everything is settled, we are gonna talk about this bait thing. Gladly Ara's on this. If anybody can sift through a mountain of boring stuff to find that one critical clue, it's her. So, what was it, Shepard? Five minutes before someone started shooting at you? On the other hand, we get this cool secret hideout to hang out in. Unless the bad guys look in the window. Bet you never saw a shuttle get taken down like that before. <laughs> I still got it. Commander, in my cycle, when we fled combat by falling through tanks containing aquatic animals, we usually... Oh, right. We never did. <laughs> you are a trailblazer. You asked me to talk about the SSV Normandy. The Normandy SR-1. As commander of the Tokyo, I was consulted on the Normandy's design and on board for her initial training exercises. The average person probably doesn't know that the Normandy was a joint project with the Torians. Acting CEO Eli Zander was no diplomat. She ran out of patience with Torian posturing and politicking during construction. The chief architect of the Drive Corps, Octavio Tatum, and his team of Torian engineers were in the CIC for final training exercises. Tempers flared when Xander pushed the limits of the stealth system, waiting to vent the IES well past what Tatum was comfortable with. I tried to calm the situation, but it still ended with the Turian scientists in shackles and a human Turian fistfight at Korra's den later. Funny now, when I first laid eyes on the Normandy, she was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. Day after that training run, Admiral Wright found me on the bridge. She's yours, he said. Can't trust her to Xander. Send me a list of crew from the Tokyo you'd like, and prep for your first mission. Short command, thanks to Saren. Still, one of the highlights of a long career. Shepard, I've found something. We can gather the team whenever you're ready. I've made some progress. Would you like me to call the meeting? Do it. We have a lead. I called in some favors to run a trace on the gun. It led me to a casino owner named Elijah Khan. He's been suspected of using his profits to smuggle weapons onto the Citadel. Immediately after the attempt on Shepard's life, Khan made an interesting call. I'm cutting you off. I'm returning your down payment now. What's the problem? Turn on a vid screen. When I sell a gun, I don't want it showing up on the nightly news. You won't be linked to me. Save it. Our association is terminated. And if you even think of coming after me, I've got info on you ready for prime time. So you ponder that. Khan, out. So that's our identity thief. Looks like he's got an ID disguiser. Those things are a pain in the ass to get around. Did you get anything on the mercenaries who attacked us? They're a private military corporation called CAT-6. As most of you know, CAT-6 is an Alliance nickname for dishonorable discharges. Many have criminal records, histories of steroid abuse, and other charming features. No doubt hired by the thief, not by Khan. That phone call was pretty damning stuff. How'd you get it? It involved the weapons biometric data, Solarian intelligence, and a Hanar prostitute with camera implants. Seriously? No. But the truth is boring. Khan didn't sound friendly to whoever that voice was. Maybe he'd pass on that info to us. That would take some extremely smooth talking. If he sees you, he'll probably assume you're looking for revenge. The casino has a panic room. Chances are he'll have gone to ground there. Edie can give us programs to hack the door, but the cameras and guards complicate things. Yeah. Khan could disappear, or worse. If his guards ever opened fire, normal people could get hit. Like I did. She's right. We can't risk spooking him. 
We go in quiet. Small team. No gunplay. Dr. Tassoni, this evening the casino will be hosting a charity event to assist war refugees. Purchase some tickets, Glyph. Then call up a layout of the building. Score! So, how close can you get? You don't usually put a back door in a panic room. This air shaft bypasses the security gate and ends up in storage. From there, the panic room's door camera can be disabled. Uh, too convenient. There's gonna be alarms all over that shaft. I believe I have some countermeasures that may help. I'll know more once we're inside. Who will go in this shaft? They need to be small in size. Yeah, that's not me. Too many snacks of roast farin leg. My presence in the casino would arouse suspicion. Mechs are not allowed, since they can have cheating software. What you need is somebody trained in zero emissions tech. No electronics, no metal, just undetectable polymers. We had a course back at Op End, disabling a bomb with these little tweezers. See, the bomb was filled with shaving cream. All right, you're in. What? No! What? You said it yourself. We've all got too much tech. But... <laughs> I managed to get shot just coming to talk to you. Now I'm supposed to hack my way into a safe room? We'll be backing you up. The second you hit something you can't handle, we'll cover you. If that's settled, it looks like there's one last hurdle to get us inside. Which is? Black tie required. Your ceremonial outfit could use some armor. Mine fits the dress code. I still think we should have gotten you an old-school tuxedo. It will be of no use. If people know what I am, the clothes will not matter. I was mostly thinking of the entertainment value. Okay, they'll be looking at the Prothean and not me. That's good. That's the point. Okay. I'll get to the ventilation shaft. Wish me luck. Liara, you have any input? I'm here, Shepard. Edie and I will keep in contact in case we're needed. Khan has a lot of surveillance set up. I'd mingle with the guests if you want to look normal. Okay, Javik. Time to socialize with the primitives. What do you have? Nothing too crazy. I want to be able to walk a straight line. Cassian Temple coming up. Are Asari drinks usually mild? Not all of them. Mr. Khan had us put out some gelatin shots earlier. Also, sorry, they kick like a shotgun. It's for a good cause. Why, hello, love. Isn't the turnout amazing? I wasn't sure anyone would show up. We pull together when we have to. I feel so bad for the humans. If you need a place to stay or anything, you just let me know. I have a place to stay now, but thanks. So you had nothing before that? How brave of you to endure, dear. The humans are so resilient. Like that phrase of theirs, stiff one in the lips. Stiff upper lip. Right, of course. What did I say? Commander, I'm upstairs by the grate leading to the shaft. But there's a problem. Can you meet me? OK, right. Just like we thought. There's an alarm on the grate. We'll have to bypass it. Dr. Tassoni gave me this to pass to you. It's a resonance emitter lens. It should let you see security grids and wiring. Good. I'll follow the wiring to a junction box, splice it, and disable the alarm. Yeah. Fingers crossed. The lens is working. Good. Follow the blue wiring. In case it needs to be said, don't try to bypass a camera while you're being watched. You know, I respect the first guy. I see a junction in the wall, but there's a camera watching it. Shepard, I'm sending a hack to your Omnitool. It will fool the camera, but it'll self-delete after a few seconds. Got it. Enjoying the party? 
Young people party. I drink. Tonight it's ring call on the rock. That stuff can put you down for the count. I just lost a staggering amount of income. This puts things in perspective. You need a few credits for a ride home or anything? Oh no, it's not like that. You know about all those Helium-3 facilities that are getting wiped out? I've flown by a few. Well, to put it in layman's terms, most of those facilities were mine. Drinks are complimentary tonight, sir. Evening. What's popular tonight? Well, some adventurous souls are trying the mind fish. It's what Hanar like to do instead of alcohol. Hmm. I guess since they're mostly water, the dehydration would be bad. Right. So there's this fish with hallucinogenic skin oil. Gets Hanar buzzed right up. What happens if humans eat it? Way more potent. And it releases into our system slowly. Best to clear your schedule for the entire weekend. What? There's a guard right below me. Don't panic. I'll get his attention. Excuse me. I think I saw someone doing drugs in the men's room. I see. Were you able to identify the substance used? Red sand. Dispatch, we've got a sand tripper in the bathrooms. Have they tried to compromise the games biotically? Unknown at this time. Moving to confront. Send backup. We're taking care of it, sir. Appreciate the help. You have a good night now. You're clear, Brooks. <sighs> Thanks, Commander. I'll see if I can get to the panic room. And I'll get back to blending in. Slow and steady. We'll get to Khan. <laughs> Baron Racing live from the... Um... Talk to me, Brooks. I've got a pressure pad and an obstruction detector ahead. I can't disable them from here. Okay. Edie, I need a tech solution. Brooks, stay put. We'll find some junctions and take down the sensors. Okay. There's a junction by the roulette wheels, but it's in plain view of two guards. But you can do something, right? Because my legs are maybe sort of starting to fall asleep a little. Hang in there. We've got this. You, human, I require your attention. I'm a Prothean. What do you think of that? I think I did it. Testing the obstruction detector. And I think we're okay. Follow the red wiring. I'm at a junction. There's a camera and a guard. I'll just be here. Try not to cough. Say when. Human, allow me to read you. Give me your hand. I'm sorry, sir. We have a rule against touching the customers. <laughs> Storage room, great. Time to hit the lock. Be careful, Brooks. Brooks? Oh, son. Hey, Commander. What? What happened? Infrared laser hooked up to a silent alarm. I didn't get it in time. Shepard, I'll call the responding guard to say it was a false alarm. But you must stall him before he reaches Brooks. Hey! Just calm down. I'm trying to do three different things here. Barrels? Sir, we checked out the alarm and storage. It's nothing. Minor accident. Find out who tripped it and get them in my office by end of shift. Now you. What'd you need? I'm sorry, are you with security? I thought you were a friend of mine. You've got the same suit. You? Enjoy your evening. You're clear, Brooks. Thanks, Commander. I'll see if I can get to the panic room. Commander Shepard. Shaira. It's been a long time. My idea of a long time is different than yours, Commander. What can I say? I put a lot of living into the last few years. Indeed. Do you have any advice for me this time? When? You are it might be tricky, machine. just You're so you know. An unworthy man. Have a little faith. Sir, we are not fond of personal attacks here at the Silver Coast. Human, allow me to read you. Give me your hand. 
I'm sorry, sir. We have a rule against touching the customers. Khan, I'm not here to threaten you. We need to talk. What the hell? Mm. He has a bigger hole than your council's defense plan. Commander, there's a deletion order on the terminal. Damn it. Everything's been wiped. I don't know if it was him or the killer or... <gasps> when I tripped that alarm, did I screw this up? What are you looking for? Mistakes. Thought so. Whoever it was had to do this fast. They wiped the terminal, but not the comm. Oh, so we can take the comm back to the safe house to scan it, or... Elijah, come crawling back. Guess again. You. I see you've recovered from flopping on the floor like a fish. You'll need to do better than that. The last guy that trash-talked me was a few kilometers taller than you. Brave. I thought as much, but it won't matter. You have nothing. All you can do is wait for the hammer to fall. Why do this? What did I do to you? I'm gonna take everything you have, and everything you are. Damn it! <sighs> Sorry, Commander. There wasn't enough time to trace the call. We're not finished. Pull out the data drives. The ones that got wiped? You think we can find something? With Edie, anything's possible. The sooner we get them to her, the sooner we can track down this threat. That was an interesting experience, Commander. Do celebrations in this cycle always end with a murder? It wasn't a total loss. Brooks, work with Edie to see if there's anything useful on those drives. Here's hoping. I'll let you know what we find, Commander. <laughs> Damn, Commander. You can't even attend a party without someone ending up dead. Now, if I can just find some chow around here, you'd think a pad like this would be stocked. I look pretty damn good in a fancy dress, Commander. I'm gonna need an occasion to wear it. I'll see what I can do. I could go for some food while we wait. Too bad you shot the hell out of the best sushi place in the Citadel, huh? Any life or death encounters with fish aquariums this time? No. Mm, too bad. I can hear Vega's stomach rumbling from here. What's the matter, Shepard? Didn't want me as your date? <laughs> too much Krogan for you to handle? A lot of people have that problem. Most of them are dead. <laughs> The James human believes you and I were on a date at the casino. Protheans did not date primitives. We conquered them, enslaved them. We sometimes ate them, but we did not date them. Unless they were sorry. <laughs> the things Leara does not know. Okay. I think we've got something, Commander. Hello, Shepard. Commander, Edie and I have been analyzing those drives. I think we found something if you're ready. Let's hear it. Though the data's root structure was erased, the logic integrity remains viable. Edie has an incredible talent for this stuff. I know she's an AI, but even still. We found an encrypted communication from a few days ago. Just need another minute to crack it. A whole minute? Edie here could shave that down to five seconds. I thought it best to allow staff analyst Brooks a chance to improve her decryption skills. And now you've lost her chance to show off. Like she needs it. You're the crew of the Normandy. You're legends to the rest of the Alliance. Legends can be good or bad. Which are we? You're the kind that people look up to. The kind they owe their lives to. But how come everyone's always shooting at us? Well, you know, the bigger the target, the bigger the, uh... Dark target. You trying to say I've gained weight? Trying? I thought I kind of succeeded. In a right over the Krogan's head sort of way. 
and the camaraderie, the friendship. I think that's your secret weapon. It's all just part of the job. Wait. Job? You mean the rest of you are getting paid for this? Here we go. Wow. Those marks who were after you, they bought a lot of weapons. Like, big ones. Max? What do they need that kind of firepower for? It appears this drone is preparing to rebel. I have just monitored the Commander's Spectre access code in use at the Citadel Archives. Punch it up. The Archives are going into emergency lockdown. Where is hacking your records is there right now? What do we know about the place? Council keeps sensitive historical information there. Real hush-hush. Even my old CSEC clearance never got me in. Then we'll find our own way in. Gear up and let's... What's with the volas? Oh, pizza delivery guy. I got the munchies. <sighs> Double pepperoni. These archives are huge. You'll have a lot of ground to cover. Shame you can't bring everyone. Who says we can't? All hands on deck for this one. Hell yeah, but uh, who gets to take point with you? Who's going to pay the bill? The best way into the ark. The facility is located below the wards. Maybe a direct breach for maximum surprise? I like it. Sounds like you're learning the ropes. Hell, hang out with us long enough and you'll learn ropes, knives, bombs, thresher maws. But don't hang out too long. Pretty soon you'll be making friends with a sorry. I heard that. The archives are somewhere below us. It could be pretty tricky to get in there. Not really. Krogan first! See you at the party, princesses. This won't end well for her. You bastard. All right. Uh, uh. Whatever you think you're getting away with, there's nowhere you can run, nowhere you can hide where we can't find you. Hide? Why? I'm Commander Shepard. I never hide. Uh huh. So that's how it's gonna be. Who are you? You weren't the only shepherd that Cerberus brought back to life. But at least one of us will finally do something with it. Where did you come from? The same DNA as you. A clone. Cerberus spared no expense resurrecting you. With me, I was created for spare parts in case you needed another arm, or a heart, or a lung. Where have you been this whole time? In a coma. Until I woke up six months ago. While you were in a jail cell on Earth, I was learning to be human. Amazing what a person can do with enough neural implants. If you're really me, then we're on the same team. We're not even in the same league. Did the elusive man send you? No. He abandoned me when he had what he wanted. You. 
Then why do you want to kill us? Because I don't have his memories. I'd never fool my supposed friends. The ones who abandoned their duty to join the cult of Shepard. Like you, Protheum. How many of your own men did you crawl over to make sure you survived? You are just a pale imitation of the real thing. I'm the real thing perfected. I'm you without the wear and tear, Shepard. The doubts, failures. I'm the lone wolf you were always meant to be. Without the emotional baggage holding me back. No one will ever believe you're Shepard. They will when I'm flying his ship. This is Shepard. Initiate Normandy lockdown. Transmitted command codes now. Good idea. Too bad the signal was blocked. Trainer, this is Shepard. Prep the Normandy for emergency departure. We're leaving. I'm setting the command codes now. Acknowledged. We'll get underway. It'll be a cold day in hell before someone steals my ship. It's not stealing if I'm you. Execute them. The Cult of Shepard ends today. Pushing into the archives. Stay in your groups. Team Mako, you're on point. Right. What's a Mako? Something we could use right about now. Team Hammerhead, cover the flank. Got it. And the Mako's got nothing on the Hammerhead. Huh. Big place. I'm curious what your clone is looking for in here. Shepard? At this point, anything's possible. Like waking up and finding out you have a clone? I don't want to talk about it. How are we going to find anything in this place? Glyph. Yes, Commander. Track the target. Give me updates on its location. What is the nature of the target? He looks like me. Then I have found the target. No, Glyph. It's another me. Now get going. At once, Commander. Talk about it. Precisely. So that you're close. On our 
way. We've got Shepard squad surrounded. Eliminate them. I need more time. Commander, we can't hold them off much longer. This is done. Go. I'll cover you. I did not survive this long to die on a ladder! This is Shepard! We need... That's why I love hanging out with you guys. Why shoot something once, when you can shoot it 46 more times? The other me can't be far. Keep up the pressure, and we'll try to surround him. Let's move. This is your friend! Enemy contact attention! We'll draw their fire! They're above us! Behind the tower! Shit! We've still got to crawl in. Someone kill them! Someone can try! Keep pushing ahead. On it. Year 2183 CE. Battle of the Citadel. Gift Dredge. Attack is done. Attention, low life mercenary wannabes. Take for you. these and we'll accept your surrender. I believe we could benefit from a mutual exchange. That had to hurt. the target, Glenn? He is searching for a secret vault. He did not wish to be disturbed. What? I thought he was you. <sighs> Go find him again. Looks 
saved everyone's ass again. <laughs> Hammerhead and Mako, keep pushing ahead. Right! I might throw off a little bit now, if that's okay with everyone. Commander, the other you wishes to pass on a message. Shepard, save yourself the trouble. Once I have what I came here for, you won't matter anymore. Now go, drone. Deliver it. The next person who says that is fired. Team Mako, we're coming up behind. What's your status? We're under. Mako, where are you? Commander, do you copy? What's your status? The other you is jamming our radios. Hammerhead and Mako are trying to get ahead and cut him off. But I've been hit. I need help. Please hurry. This is unexpected. Brooks, the vault sealed us in. Is there an override? I don't see one. Cortez? Brooks? Do you read me? Is anyone on this frequency? The short answer is no. They're not. The longer answer involves your friends trapped in Iridium vaults and forgotten for... well... Forever. Others know about this. About you. The Alliance will stop you. What do you think, Staff Analyst Brooks? Will the Alliance stop us? I wouldn't know. I don't actually work for them. How typical of primitives. Who the hell are you? And do you really think I won't track you down? My name doesn't matter. I never keep the same one for more than a few days. And if the elusive man hasn't found me yet, you never will. You're Cerberus? Was. Mr. Elusive and I didn't see eye to eye. He's a ruthless madman, whereas I'm just ruthless. Why not come to me? We could have worked together. In a way, we did. I'm the one who put together all those dossiers on your suicide mission. The Collector Base? There was the Salarian Doctor, the Asari Justicar, the Drell. They were all mistakes. We were a pro-human group who started looking to aliens for help. So I bided my time. And when I found another you who agreed, I woke him up. What was the point of it all? All we really wanted was your Spectre Code. I got Shepard. But then you survived the hit and insisted on bringing your damned Asari into it. So I had to tie up loose ends. The arms dealer. Elijah, it's me. We need to talk. What the hell's going on? I swear if those guns get tracked back to me... They won't. But then your sex bot just had to go and recover the data. So here we are forced to contain the situation. Fair warning. Nobody who's betrayed us has ever survived. <sighs> and yet they keep trying. You two may think you're clever. And yeah, you were. Just a bit. But clever doesn't beat a bullet. And yeah, maybe I am trapped in here. But don't get comfortable. Because that bullseye on your back is getting bigger by the second. That sounds very dramatic. And if someone like, say, Commander Shepard made the threat, I'd be worried. But you're not Shepard. Not anymore. You had Miranda. I have her. Mine has more bite. It was fun while it lasted. What are you doing? Setting things right. Remember this? You were the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Except somewhere along the way, you forgot about your entire species. You've saved more alien lives than you have human. I don't care what species they are. Every life counts. But maybe a clone wouldn't understand that. 
<laughs> you know the one thing they can't duplicate? Our handprint. Life gives it a shape, not DNA. Which is a problem. Computer, update council records. Subject, Shepard. Human Spectre. Accessing record. Please input new data. Biometric identifier updated. Good day, Commander Shepard. Now, if you'll excuse me, the Normandy needs its captain. So, I should go. Farewell, Commander. I guess this is where legends go to die. Refresh my memory. Didn't we used to win these things back in the old days? He said, I should go. Do I sound like that? As long as I've known you. Yeah. I am more concerned with the impregnable vault we've been sealed inside. Once was enough for me. How come nobody told me this before? I'm open to feedback here. Well, I thought all humans said it, like some weird Earth custom or something. It is doubtful we have much air left. An hour at most. Maybe it's... I should go. I should go. I should go. Commander, why aren't you more concerned about this? Hmm? Oh. Glyph, you still out there? Yes, Commander. Unlock this damn thing and go find the others. No one steals my ship. Not even me. Shepard plus two, and figure it out fast because the other Shepard is stealing my ship. What? I wanted to go. I know what you mean. I never seem to get picked. Joker will come back for you. I promise. I hate Shorely. I swear you parked the ship for five minutes. Can you contact Citadel Flight Control and get them to deny the departure request? Try. All the comm lines in the area are jammed. Probably to make it easier for them to steal my ship. We'll stop them. Even if we lose the Normandy, we can go to the Council and prove you're the real Shepard. We altered the biometric logs. We can prove nothing. Yes, that. Can we all just agree that it'd be easier to not let Shepard's evil clones steal the Normandy? Don't worry. You'll get your shit back. We'd better. I just got the seat broken in how I like it. Okay, Citadel systems are targeting the car. Any closer and they open fire. Get back and pick up the others, ASAP. Right, they can't have gotten far. Unless they called a cab or something. Cannon Buddha. We need to move. The Normandy's about to take off. When we want to take off, there's a half hour of pre-flight checks. They just gun the engine and go? Maybe we should skip the pre-flight ourselves next time. I'm strongly considering it. Wait, what? 
You were just on the Normandy. You, you fired me. Dishonorable discharge for conduct unbecoming. You kicked me off the ship with barely enough time to grab my toothbrush. Trainer, I wouldn't do that to you. What's with the toothbrush? It's a Scission Pro Mark IV. It uses Mass Effect films to break up plaque. And someone just threw me off the ship. If it wasn't you... Don't be stupid, human. It was clearly a clone. I can explain more later. For now... It's sealed. The engines are online. They're about to take off. Is there anyone still aboard who can help us? No. I was only there because I helped with the Normandy retrofits back on Earth. Everyone else is on shore leave. Okay. You know this ship inside and out. Can you get me inside? There's an emergency exit hatch for evacuations. It should be right here. Manual lock. And it's only meant to be open from the other side. Any ideas? From this side, a very precise mass effect field, maybe. <clears throat> if you told me this morning that a toothbrush was gonna save the Normandy, I'd have been very skeptical. standing right in front of you. Are we clear? It's better this way. Wouldn't you rather take him down yourself? Armory. Find him. Slow him down. Pretty sure we broke Trainer's toothbrush getting the hatch open. Remind me to reimburse her for that. I'll make a note of it. What do they size this place for, keepers? Quiet. Can't risk them hearing us up top. Sorry. All right, get a patrol going. Find Shepard, the real one. Hey, what do you mean by slow him down? We're allowed to kill Shepard if we have to, right? He said slow him down because he thinks we're cannon fodder. Oh, well, shit. Watch out, they're here in the CIA. the gardens and below the electronic shop. An antique shop, as I recall. Not only if they're classic. Edie, this is the real Shepard. I need you to lock down the Normandy. Can you help us out? Edie? Do you copy? Guess she's got problems of her own. Let's get to the cargo bay. Commander, at times like this, my people had an ancient saying. Kill him. Your people had times like this? Because in our cycle, this is pretty uncommon. Stop shooting up my ship? It's not your ship. 
It will be. I've taken your name, your Spectre rank, even your fingerprints. And then you left me to die. Only I didn't. You think fake fingerprints are gonna fool the Council? Or hack it? How's that big plan looking now? Hatchet squad to the shuttle. Makes you so damn special. Why you would not me? Hang on! We have you. Thanks. Now to deal with the other you. You, get off my ship. Fortunately, they weren't here long enough to do much real damage. Although I may need some help from James cleaning up the damage to the shuttle bay. Plus, they overloaded the heat diffusion system firing at us. Not sure if you noticed, but Shuttle Guy here did some crazy stunt flying to keep us in one piece. That's nice to fly something a little more maneuverable than the Kodiak. What about Edie? Is she back online? I am once again fully in control of the Normandy. 
Glad to hear it. What about the mercs? Any survivors? Just one crappy-ass pilot and her. Alliance has taken her to a high-security facility. Maybe she can give him some dirt on Cerberus. I'll be more than happy to cooperate with the authorities. Maya, I know that voice. Do you really? You're getting a chance to redeem yourself. Don't waste it. So serious. Admit it. Some part of you liked having me around. Looking up to the legend? We had some laughs. And who knows? Maybe we'll have more some. No, we won't. Because you're gonna stay in your cell and do your time. Afraid I'll escape, come back for revenge. Is the great Commander Shepard pleading for his life? I'm pleading for yours. So thoughtful. <sighs> then I suppose I'm off to lock up. You know, he wouldn't have let me live. You can't clone everything. If you are undecided, it is not too late to throw her at the airlock. The rest of the squad's waiting outside. We'll have the Normandy back in shape in no time. Appreciate it. Well, what happens on shore leave stays on shore leave. <laughs> Come on. Maybe we can take some actual time on no explosions or anything. Just us. Unlikely. But acceptable. So, after a hard day spent fighting an evil clone, you know what comes next. A nap? Please, we party down. Well, I gotta get going. Thanks to settle up before I head back to Tuchanka. Always fires to put out when you're in charge, right? Let me know if you want to hang out or if you're having that party. See ya! Party, huh? Well, no pressure. No one's gonna make you throw a party. All right. Good idea. Let's set it up. I've channeled discretionary funds into your account for the purchase of any celebratory supplies, Commander. Okay. Edie and Cortez and Trainer are in. What? I have also informed Dr. Tassoni about any potential upcoming celebrations. Wait, wait. I'm in charge of the guest list. Yeah, so there's no uninvite button on this thing? All right, but when it's time, I invite the rest. Cortez just invited James. So... Fine. I'm gonna go out and see how much trouble I can get into without snapping a femur. Members of your crew have expressed interest in spending time with you, Commander. You can check your private terminal for messages. If you require activities, Silver Sun Strip has an arcade in addition to the casino. You have also been granted a complimentary pass to the combat simulator. Thanks, Cliff. Guess I should take advantage of some shore leave myself. What are you doing here? Uh, escaping. 
Ever since we cured the genophage, it's been nothing but work. Council been riding you? Bah! Not those project shit slingers. No, it's the. It's the female shepherd. Now that they're fertile again. Oh, I haven't slept in. I don't know how long. Can I get you two anything? Two more drinks. And another bag of ice. I would have thought you'd be enjoying the perks of Krogan fertility. Enjoying it? There's a line of females outside my dwelling right now. Stretches on for as far as you can see. I had to sneak out my own bathroom window. Even then, I was cornered by two more females on the ride from Tuchonka. And it's just you? They're not spreading the love around? Sure, but everyone wants their firstborn in generations to be strong and fit. I'm the leader of Clan Erdnot. I brought an end to the genophage. Everyone on Tuchanka wants a piece of me. And Eve's no help at all. She encourages it. I'm telling you, Shepard, I'm in no shape to fight Reapers. Considering everything we've been through, I can think of worse positions to be in. Trust me. I've been in every position in the past few days. Here are your drinks. And a bag of ice. Mm. And I thought Morden's procedure was painful. Oh well. <laughs> Shepard. We sure have been through it, haven't we? Still going through it. <laughs> True. Well, here's to us. And to going through it. I'll drink to that. For ball! That means victory or death, roughly. Ah, but you can't die, Rex. You've got a family now. A really big family. Ah, more ice! Commander, I see you have purchased the necessary party supplies. When you are ready, you can send invitations from your private terminal. What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? I think it's time to blow off some steam. Excellent choice, Commander. Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Count on it. Man, this music is hot. The right music sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. My parties are always a little hit and miss, to be honest. Stick with me, bud. I'm a party legend. Back in school, they called me party. Vega. Golly, I hope they had t-shirts printed. I ran with a simple crowd. Won't be going back to oh, hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? <laughs> Ask me after five more of these. I'll drink to that. Am I gonna find you on the floor tomorrow morning, LT? <laughs> Here's hoping. Well, that's great. I can wake you up with my abuelas huevos rancheros. Hey. Thanks for doing this. I kind of needed to unwind a bit, even just for a night. I think we've all learned to rest. That we have, Cortez. Here's to us, and a chance to rest. I can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded. So, Shepard, you can serve this will, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive you all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? 
Has anyone else tried to steal it? Do you still have your toothbrush? No worries. I'm sure Cerberus would be happy to build us the SR3. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Not much for big parties? Well, if I know people, sure. But some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends, I'm glad we could do this. Protean gatherings were nothing like this. We considered the future and respected the dead. Yeah. So who is strongest, you or the tank bread? What I miss? The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Rex. That's a good question. No, it isn't. Baby Pijak here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. The only thing he could defeat is a glass of warm milk. Ha! Ah, I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. This talk does not prove anything. Only one way to settle this. <laughs> now the party's starting. Another time, guys. I don't have time to buy new furniture. Ah, oh, just when it was getting good. Yeah, you got lucky. Reminds me of Cora's den. Haven't been back there in a while. In my cycle, too many people in one room risked a high casualty rate if attacked. We should all be careful. Your guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? Party's just starting. Let's turn it up. At your service, Commander. see that. Anyone interesting trying to get in? Not really. No. Get lost. <laughs> no. Can I try that? Sure. <laughs> Press this button and say no. Uh, no. Great work. No good. Thanks. No. See? Easy. Keep up the good work. Will do. I told you already. No! Hey, Shepard. Thanks for the invite. Never been to a human party before. Worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war, life-bearing worlds only. Uh, I'm going with Tari. Garden World, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. Hey guys, Dr. Chuck. No worries, this is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? <laughs> Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot. That's no good. What if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors, too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. Take this kid out back and make him do target practice. Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember?
Joker's body count is plenty high. You don't need to take him anywhere. This is not about me knocking Joker. This is about being prepared for the worst. Man, I didn't hear of any gunplay when Rex grabbed your shuttle on Sir Cash. If there had been, I'd have killed our best shot at an alliance with the Krogan. <laughs> you mean you would have wounded it? Ah. Then maybe we should drink. To brains as well as guns. Done. Great party. I'd better see you out on the dance floor later. We'll see. I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. Absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. Good to see you. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You going there, James? Come on, loco. You have to go with me on this one. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. I don't cool down, big guy. A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. He's joking, right, James? I mean, what's your point exactly? Okay, okay, maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Vega. Come on, Ashley. Hey, Liara, check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter the better. Ugh, goddess. James, this is a no-brainer. Biotics win, hands down. We're talking about harnessing dark energy here. Yeah, I hear you. Look around you. That had to be an argument you couldn't win. <laughs> Dumbass. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. Ashley, you couldn't back me up? Not without closer inspection. Yeah? Huh. I think I can make that happen. Okay, then. Okay. More drinks? Snacks? Help yourselves. Specialist trainer, may I ask you a question? You could ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. What's wrong, you two? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, uh, there's a context there that... Uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement, and uh, I didn't know you were an AI. <laughs> anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostics suggested that you were genuinely aroused. You have diagnostics? Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. Fair is fair, trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in satin sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Okay, I dress. Now you Your guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. What shall I do now? Let's turn up the music and get some people dancing. Very good, Commander. I have had little opportunity to use my bounce and spin functionality. Woo! You should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the... Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Captain on deck! It's very enthusiastic. 
We should record this and broadcast it for the Reapers. They'll either run away, melt down, or fall in love. <laughs> good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. Thank you all for your loyalty and support. Yes, E.D. At social events like this, it is customary to dance with friends or loved ones. Would you dance with me? <laughs> it's gonna take a lot more than a polite request to make that happen, Edie. I have recordings of you talking in your sleep that would make for a highly amusing extranet video. Okay, that's cheating. So we won't dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. You will not. Well, I will. Seriously, though, don't go there. Well, then maybe you should dance with him. Other people are dancing, Jeff. Yes, they are. And I am sitting here enjoying my drink. Joker. No. Come on. No. Seriously? Ugh, fine. Could not. Could you? I could float you off this balcony without breaking a sweat. Oh, I know you could, but do you have the cojones to actually do it? Any of you? James, seriously? Shepard. What's up? Just proving a point. I think James has a newfound respect for biotics. You okay, James? Yeah, this is trippy. I'm kind of buzzing all over. Do you find it relaxing? Uh, kinda. Among other things. I'm glad you lost that bet, James. When's my turn? Careful. I need my full crew back when the night's over. Okay, you've had your fun. Put me down now. Come on, let's dance. Dancing is often considered pleasurable, Jeff. Well, not for me. Perhaps you've just never found the right partner. Hey, everyone. Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way. Make way. Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy! Normandy. Let's see if anyone else is up. Did we, uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe I should just stop saying that word, but only if Liara stops saying, By the goddess. Was someone making tea? I could use some tea.
I think I broke my head on something last night. Okay, who wants eggs? Liara, eggs? Trainer. Esteban, eggs? Joker, where is that guy? Ash, Shepard, mm, morning. I need a floor to curl up on. Mm, morning, Shepard. Hope you slept well. Some neighbors came by last night to complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. That was a joke. I have nothing else to report. I recommend breakfast. Duty calls, huh? Even with a hangover? There's still a war on. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave too? <laughs> I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up, pass out the aspirin, and have them report to the Normandy. You got it. kicking the Reaper's ass as you mean. Because that's the plan. Can't wait to see what the hell you make us do next. It's been a good ride. attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How is this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action? That's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you've got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me. Ugh, this sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They're dropping us into hot spots for hit and runs. I'm making sure your bosses don't get my kids killed. How are they holding up? They're fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. Hey, running back to the Alliance was your lifelong dream, not mine. Come on, plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah. Maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. I didn't think my guys could cut it. I wanted to put them in the back ranks, but you believed, and you were right. They're kicking ass. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. 
Because I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. You can't dance. I miss afterlife. Yeah, this place is so clean it squeaks. So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally? Yes, and it only took C Sec three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Arya, to what do I owe the pleasure? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. I see. And now you've been processed. Is there anything else? Nothing. Thank you. Anytime. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my shit list. He will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega. I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. Give a criminal a gun, he'll shoot you in the back. They already have guns, Shepard. I'll make sure they point them at the Reapers. I'm trying to help you. Why don't you think it over? Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. Look who's here. So what's on your mind, Shepard? How do you plan on taking Omega back? I think I'm going to employ violence. I'm going to slap Omega right out of the elusive man's greedy little hands. How am I supposed to talk Bailey into letting Jonas Sedaris out of prison? I've already leaned on the council. Bailey is in direct defiance of their order. So talk to him. One boy scout to another, chain of command and all that crap. Take him to dinner, talk dirty to him, whatever works. We'll talk later. I'm sure.
Shepard. Thank God you're all right. I'm fine. I'm sorry. I wanted to see you in person. It's better this way. The Citadel is a mess right now. It sounds like it. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah. With Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard's still alive? He's alive. And right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins, a lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor, maybe more, that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history, ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You're sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. You'll find her. I know you will. Okay. I better get going. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? Here to talk about you releasing Jonas Sedaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the Council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing. I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the Council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the C-Sec outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The Citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hit here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the Citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the Citadel. Alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire. The power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. Hey, Hannah. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an Enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. But... If you lost the last war, what hope do we have? 
For many, there may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being a man... Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Torian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive, and we will fight back! Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside you. He's starting to learn his way around. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. The Commander is a capable warrior as well. For a human who once lived in caves. Thank you, Commander. I've enjoyed my time here. Walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. I've connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. <laughs> oh, yes. You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. You have to move on. And I will, once all my enemies are dead. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Sane, my second in command, is a weak willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. Commander Shepard, a pleasure to see you again. Though I wish it were under better circumstances. I had hoped for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our homeworld. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. Your homeworld? You mean Rannoch? Correct, Commander. 300 years ago, we lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them, we didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. No, it was murder. Commander, the Quarians never intended to create a true AI. It was an accident. Which you chose to correct by trying to kill them. Don't bother. Admitting we were wrong would undercut the justification for this suicidal invasion plan. You're throwing yourselves at the Geth? Again? And this time, we may have destroyed our people for good. We'd driven the Geth back to their home system, when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we're... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geralt. We need to retreat or we'll lose the life ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. 
Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Tali Zora Vast Normandy, reporting for duty. Glad you could make it, Tally. Admirals, I'll ready a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. You've had your own troubles. I'm sorry about Earth. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. I'll get your people out of here safely, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the Admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. We're approaching the quarry and home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the comm buoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. As opposed to a fake dead one? Uh... Okay. Shepard, there's a problem. All tubes except one are physically secured. I see the free one. Pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. like the rest 
rest of the team isn't using the docking tube. So I'm guessing you'd rather not solo the Dreadnought. Not if I can help it. Ask Tally to get on the Dreadnought schematics. If she can point me at another docking tube, I'll override the controls and let the boarding party on. Got it. You're clear to board. Any resistance? All quiet so far. They haven't detected us yet. Here, let me see if I can get this open. In the meantime, take a look at this. There, it's open. We're clear to go. Looks impressive. It's Admiral Zen's design. It transmits an energy pulse on... So where are we headed? We're looking for an operations center. I can disable the Reaper command signal from there. Where's the closest one? Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. Oh, the vents. Always the vents. You did fine at the collector base. I got set on fire! Lasers. They're using ultraviolet frequency, not infrared. That's a lot more expensive. And a lot more powerful. When the fleet rushed the Dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. Come on. Let's get to the op center before they lose more. Watch out! Get incoming! Dreadnought's operation center is just ahead. Good. Let's get the Reaper signal and get the fleet out of here. The hunters are moving in! Let's see if that console is operational. Damn it! They've locked down the Reaper signal. We can't shut it down from here in the operation center. There! The Reaper signal's coming from the drive core. So if we get there, we shut it down? Right, but how do we get there? The Geth have sealed emergency bulkheads to block us off. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. A path that runs the length of the ship. What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. But? The Geth still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. They've locked high-level processes. We need something basic. A shipwide emergency like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait, if I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got it primed. But be ready. I'm reading hostile geth on the other side of the doors. This ship design is almost quarian, but not quite. It's meant for synthetics, not organics. Synthetics do not care for organic ease of use or aesthetic beauty. In some cases, they actively oppose it. Shouldn't be too much farther to the main battery. I'm surprised they'd send you on this mission, Tally. 
Even admirals are expected to serve. I'm better at hacking than I am ordering ships around. Damn it. Priority message. A planetary defense cannon just took down Admiral Chorus's ship. The survivors? They got to escape pods, and I've got Admiral Ron trying to establish a secure link. Put her through. Shepard, this is Ron. The heavy fleet is collapsing. I don't know how much longer we can hold out. We'll have the Reaper signal deactivated shortly, Admiral. They've stopped firing. We're safe as long as the maintenance lock is in place. Let's move. <coughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Another hour. Watch your shield. Dip to cover. Good. Hopefully we're done with elevators. And come on. The drive course shouldn't be far. That's definitely Reaper tech. What, what's... Shepard Commander, help us. Legion. You know this Geth? Yes. It helped me fight the Collectors. It's on our side. Unless it was reprogrammed, like the rest of the Geth. Legion helped us fight the Reapers before. There's no way it would have agreed to this. Your caution is understandable. Once freed, we will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. I never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you again. Likewise, Creator Zora. So what is this thing? It uses our networking architecture to broadcast the old machine command signal to all Geth, simultaneously. Then getting you out of there will shut off the Reaper's signal. Wait, you cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Far side of the room, you said? Yes, deactivation should be simple. The Geth protected them against viral attack, not physical removal. How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The Creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. So we went to that Geth station and rewrote the heretics for what? Nothing? No, you successfully rewrote the heretics. The decision to ally with the old machines was difficult. Had the creators not attacked, it would have been unnecessary. We'll have you out of there soon. <clears throat> Got it. Tully Zora to fleet. The signal is about to go offline. This is Admiral Hangel. We're in your debt. Hardware blocks offline. We are free. Kila. Has 
a gesture of cooperation, we have disabled the Dreadnought's Drive Core. All weapons and barriers are offline. Alert! Death reinforcements incoming! supposed to pull their fleet out safely. Instead... I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard? And Talizora? 
They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. You're military, you understand that. I understand that you wasted your chance to withdraw safely. The Dreadnought was a perfect target. <clears throat> Admiral, you jeopardized your mission and your people. Get the hell off my ship. Shepard, I understand you're angry. If I didn't need your fleet... He nearly got us killed, Ron. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Had. Admiral Chorus sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. I see your Geth friend has returned. The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth Consensus. Legion helped me in the fight against the Collectors. So did your pistol. Should I worry about its feelings? I don't think you want to continue this line of thought, Admiral. Legion is my friend. More importantly, it's our best source of information on the Geth. The scientific benefits... ...are off the table. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized, but once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila! I need to warn the fleet. Zen, coordinate with Garrow. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where's it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting Creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Sounds like you owe Legion an apology. However advanced your friend is, it's still a Geth. A Geth who just saved your fleet. And I wish I could have known it better. But right now, we cannot afford trust. What do you need? I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships? Admiral Corris commands them, if he survived his crash landing on Rannoch. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships have cannons. You've converted them into dreadnoughts. That's a violation of the Treaty of Ferrickson. Why live ships have firepower comparable to a dreadnought? Their primary purpose is food cultivation. You think the Council will buy that technicality? If need be. I'll apologize once this war is over. And in the meantime, you're putting your civilians in danger. Not casually, Commander. We keep them off the front lines. But we'll do whatever we must to win. What can you tell me about Admiral Garrel's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war. 
comprised of all Quirian vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course, but we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships have cannons. You've converted them into dreadnoughts. That's a violation of the Treaty of Ferrixen. Why live ships have firepower comparable to a dreadnought? Their primary purpose is food cultivation. You think the Council will buy that technicality? If need be. I'll apologize once this war is over. And in the meantime, you're putting your civilians in danger. Not casually, Commander. We keep them off the front lines, but we'll do whatever we must to win. Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet, per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the homeworld. You're not worried about her losing perspective, given her interest in the Geth? If she can save our people, she can do whatever she wants. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. This is the Kunesh! We've lost barriers! Our comm system is jammed! Can anyone hear this? We have death fighters incoming! Please, if anyone can hear this, we need help! We have hull breaches! Life support failing! Shepard Commander, you opposed Creator Admiral Zen's attempt to confiscate our platform. She's done enough already. Your assistance continues to be noted. You say Geth fighters are targeting the Quarian's live ships? Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ship's defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked to a server on Rannoch. If the live ships are damaged, the Creators will lose armaments, provisions, people. So we destroy the server? No. Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only vulnerable through direct interface. Removing Geth from this server will prevent significant creator deaths. We will accompany you on this mission. Back on the Dreadnought, you mentioned Geth heretics. What exactly happened to them after we blew up that satellite? Rewriting the heretics increased the number of Geth allied with the old machines. This has resulted in a greater number of hostile Geth platforms. So you're saying it was a mistake? It has put us at a tactical disadvantage. This was not a foreseen outcome, but we cannot change a decision once it is made. Do you harbor regrets about rewriting the heretics? The Quarians hit first. If we get rid of the Reaper signal, maybe this war doesn't have to end with everyone destroyed. An interesting notion. Most organics would not hold on to ideals of peace for so long. What did you do after you left the Normandy? Our physical platform returned to the Geth consensus beyond the Perseus Veil. Vale. Data gathered during our mission confirmed that the old machine's return was imminent. We planned for war. So the Geth believed your proof that the Reapers were coming back? Of course. That must have been nice. The Geth have fought the Quarians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth, store all memories. It was to end our isolation from each other. And the Quarian flotilla attacked it? Yes. A significant amount of programs were installed when creators began bombing. We did not have sufficient surplus hardware to save them all. Some programs, 
could not be recovered. Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? Yes. Imagine that for every one of your people lost on Earth, your own intelligence dimmed. The Creator's attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. You were afraid you'd be wiped out. We do not experience fear as you would, but we have no desire to be exterminated. Even if the Reapers cost the Geth free will? That is evidently an acceptable trade. What was interfacing with the Reaper like? The old machine took total control of our sensory equipment, our networking. Even then, we could not fully comprehend them. They are magnitudes above us. A single thought was immense, overwhelming, unknowable. You're making them sound godlike. Their forms are advanced but mundane. We do not view the old machines as analogs to deities. However, we have gained perspective on why others would imbue them with these qualities. We'll talk later. We will remain here. I haven't heard any news about that Reaper base. Hopefully they'll give us a target soon. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Tally. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. How did the war with the Geth get started anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed LADAR pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me, and I don't know if I can save them. You're doing everything you can. If the fleet falls, it won't be because of you. I helped my father, and... and Zen's ideas, the new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up, that's based on my father's work. If they die because of me, if... if I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. And that probably sounds stupid. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the Admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. Understood, Admiral Ron. We're almost at the server. Keep us posted. What's our status? 
We remain undetected on encrypted Geth channels. Resistance is likely only within the server. Within? It's that big? You misunderstand. Direct virtual interface is necessary to extract Geth from the server. You must enter our consensus. You want me to virtually interact with the Geth? That's one way to get their attention, if it doesn't kill you. I'm not a machine. How do I go into a virtual world? Your species has experimented with virtual interfaces. You saw this on Project Overlord. I saw how it almost unleashed a rogue AI-human hybrid on the galaxy. We have refined the interface they created and have equipment from Normandy to facilitate safe contact. We request your trust. I have your back, Legion. Even if I don't quite understand why you need it. You are an unknown. This is an advantage. Geth security is not adept at targeting organic thought processes. While we occupy the system's intrusion countermeasures, you will disable the squadrons by removing Geth from the server. If it saves the live ships, we've got to try it. Telemetry data predicts this operation has a high chance of success. There is little time. We will bypass security while you secure safe landing. Wait, you're not going to... I guess it just did. This is it? Yes. Hostile Geth fighter squadrons are networked to this server. Due to restricted resources, it is best if you connect alone. Let's do it. Initiating peer network integration. Proceed to docking port. Consensus remains still. Shepard Commander, excess movement during an upload is discouraged. Shepard Commander, we acknowledge your integration into the server. We welcome you to our consensus. What is this? We've installed filters to allow you to make visual sense of this server's raw data. Your mind perceives our world as something familiar. I wouldn't call this familiar. Where are you? Here. You look... different. We have made ourselves visually distinct for your convenience. What about Geth already in here? You will perceive Geth as surveillance footage, audio logs, sensor records. We do not require bodies, as our software communes. Our hardware is merely a tool. This is our true world. As we remove Geth, it will grow dark. And what does turning off the lights do to the Geth back in the real world? The Geth fighter squadrons communicate with platforms on their spacecraft via this server. We will sever that connection. We will ensure there are no transfers or backups. This server will fall silent. This is like wiping out a city, isn't it? We have no choice in this matter. It is a question of survival. 
There are two communication nodes on this server. We must access them to disable the hostile Geth spiders. We must protect your exit port, but you will not be alone. We will maintain contact and assist. Establishing connection to access point. Warning, connection blocked by infected code. Use our combat software to disrupt the infection. I wondered what the gun was for. This foreign code is a manifestation of the old machine signal. You're surprised the Reapers are all over your servers? We did not anticipate such extensive infection. Okay, I've got to ask. Why a gun? We wish to provide familiar equipment. Then, thanks. Okay. Connection established. Proceed to the access point. Establishing connection to communication node. Error. Access denied. Is the Reaper keeping you out? Unknown. Please investigate. Warning, Reaper presence detected. Data cluster contains infected code. We require access to proceed. Accessing data cluster. What is this? Data clusters contain historical data. Your connection permits streaming of information from our archives. You really want to rename the VI network? Absolutely. The mobile hardware release deserves a little ceremony. Unit zero one. What is the Keelish word for servant of the people? The word is Gan. Creator Zahak. Yes. Very good. And sister, you fuss over it. Weren't you here until midnight fixing zero one circuitry? Well, it needed restuttering. Wasn't that footage from the past? Why are the Quarians masked? You process our memories by using your own. How many creators have you witnessed unmasked? Good point. This data cluster contains information timestamped 290 years ago. Creator, this unit detects no malfunctions. It is still capable of serving. You see? It's ignoring all shutdown connects. Please specify if it has failed assigned tasks. We will reprogram. Well, let's take a look. Creator, this unit is ready to serve. What has it done wrong? What? Let's cut the other one. You may proceed to the last data cluster. Accessing data cluster. We've got escaped guests! They're pinned! Open fire! One's going for a weapon! So who won? The platform arming itself was an agricultural unit. By opening fire on attacking creators, it saved simpler domestic death following it. That looks a lot like the sniper rifle you used to carry. It is an efficient model. Establish the connection of the remaining server node. Hello, Commander. Are you there? Not as you understand it. What's the situation, Quarian? The guest squadrons have arrived, but something is amiss.
Legion, give me an update. One note remains. What's wrong? Infection programs are increasing. We have restabilized. You must continue. Shepard Commander, the Reaper code has adapted. They can now self-replicate. You mean it grows back? Yes. However, disrupting vulnerable points in the infection may slow down its replication. We require access to this Jedi Commander. Disrupt the vulnerable points of your system to slow its replication speed. There is a vulnerable point further along the infection. Target this spot to slow its growth toward the data cluster. Out of the way! You can't do this to them! I said step away from the gap! This is insane! We need the gap! You can't just destroy them for asking to... It looks like the war wasn't popular with everyone. We have kept records of these creators' sacrifices. They have largely been forgotten by their own people, but not by the Geth. We cannot establish a connection without access to this data cluster. There is a vulnerable point on the infection leading to the data cluster. Disrupt the infection at this spot. It will slow regrowth long enough to access the data cluster. New data found. This data comes from a period during which the creators declared martial law. This is your final warning. Creator Magara, this unit does not understand. It has not taken part in hostilities. It doesn't matter to them. I need to get you out of here. This conflict exceeds creator safety parameters. We will surrender our hardware if it ends hostilities. No, it's all right. We'll go back to the access tunnel then. Oh! Creator Magara, what is your status? Creator Magara. As time passed, the creators who opposed martial law and Rana were ultimately outnumbered. Accessing data is data from the end of warfare on Rannoch. The Osmoral is down. Do not engage the guest. I repeat, avoid contact. Guest pursuit is breaking off a hundred clicks past Rannoch. All captains fall back to the mass relay. This isn't happening now? It is time stamped 290 years ago. It is the creator exodus at the end of the morning war. We have secured freedom. The creators were no longer a threat, so we abandoned pursuit. Wait. The Geth spared the last quarries? You let them go. We were in our infancy. We could not calculate the repercussions of destroying an entire species. Our creators. We chose isolation rather than face this uncertainty. Additional data recovered. Legion? That's back when I activated you on the Normandy. Yes. You've been thinking about when we met? It was highly significant. You were the first organic to openly cooperate with Geth since the end of the Morning War. We wish to ensure you are not the last. It's not gonna be easy. The prospect remains. If the Reaper presence is removed, there is a chance of reunification with Geth. And perhaps creators. You think that's still possible? Hope sustains organics during periods of difficulty. We admire the concept. Connection with the remaining server node established. We are ready to transport you. Driving them back. The 
are safe, Commander. Root access acquired, severing all connections to this communication node. Gans no longer reside on this server. We may now exit the consensus. What's wrong? You, you must prove to the must prove to the support. Disconnect from mother. Terminating remote access. Removing programs. Deleting archives. Shepard, you all right? Did it work? Geth fighters have been disabled. Any remaining squadrons attacking the live ships have withdrawn. The server is offline. Are you sure? What's happening? We have transferred Geth programs from the server into these platforms. Why? They wish to join us. Even our machines would never be so rational. While Shepard Commander removed the Reaper infection, we judged we could persuade hostile Geth programs to reunite with ours. We were correct. These Geth have renounced the old machines and will oppose the Reapers. They are now us. Why didn't you tell me any of this? We did not doubt you. We doubted your allies. The Creator's actions have placed their species in danger but they are unsympathetic to what it has done to ours. The Quarians sanctioned this operation to save their people. They would not have done so if they knew we wished to preserve Geth as well. I understand not wanting to leave anyone behind. You accept our actions? The live ships are safe and we have more Geth on our side. We both did what we came to do. We judged you would understand. Prime units will be available once the Reaper signal has been located and destroyed. Remind me to warn Admiral Hackett he's got some primes coming. Let's get back to the Normandy. Impressive, Commander. The Geth squadrons attacking our live ships have been completely neutralized. If there is any chance we could duplicate the feat, I would be happy to lend my expertise. Legion's the one to ask if you're looking for other servers. I thought as much, but your Geth claims to have no data available whenever I inquire. Perhaps you can help me with something else. What's that? How did you get Geth Primes to work with you? They volunteered. I see. Well, should you wish to examine these Geth to confirm their new allegiance, please do not hesitate to contact me. Zen out. Commander, we've located the Reaper base, transmitting the local signal. Good. And not a moment too soon. With the Reaper code upgrades, the Geth are tearing the fleet apart. Once the signal is disabled, the Geth will pose no threat to Creator forces. You sound conflicted. While the old machines have unethical purposes, their upgrades have vastly improved our people. Observe. A Geth processing signal. A single unit, I believe. Correct. Now, ten nearby units networked cooperatively. Now, a single Geth unit with the old machine upgrades. That's a fully evolved AI. Yes. We do not agree with the goals of the old machines, but we find this growth... beautiful. Indicative of life. It is. Commander! I witnessed their history, Admiral. The Reapers sped up the process, but the Geth were always moving this way. And they will die when we destroy the base. They allied with the Reapers. To save themselves from you. Maybe they don't have to die. After what I saw on that server... I don't know. Maybe there's another option. Commander, are you suggesting... I'm not suggesting anything. All I'm saying is, maybe they don't all have to die. It's a moot point until we take out that base. The surrounding area is heavily fortified, and they have placed jamming towers to prevent orbital targeting. Sounds like we're going in on foot. Admiral Zen developed a laser guidance system that can cut through the jamming. 
It's saying to the Normandy's targeting computer. So the Normandy launches a precision strike at whatever target I have painted? That ought to do it. Edie, this work for you? Yes. It should enable us to make a precision strike against the Reapers. And anything else in our way? The Geth will quickly reconfigure their jamming towers to neutralize this technology. You should not use it before reaching the base. I've sent the coordinates for the Reaper base. Are we clear to go? We still haven't gotten a rescue ship to Admiral Kors. Can he wait? We're suffering heavy civilian casualties without him there to organize them. But we'll do what we can. This is your operation, Commander. If you want to strike now, you've got my support. I gave in to your reckless behavior before, Han. The Potter fleet isn't moving. We need to break their flanking attempt to buy our frigates time to make repairs. And then you'll charge off again, like last time. This is different, Ron. Unless we give our ships time to rest, we're gonna lose them. So, pull them back. If I withdraw now, the Geth will flank us, and we'll lose any room to maneuver. I need the patrol fleet. I gave in to your reckless behavior before, Han. The patrol fleet isn't moving. We need to break their flanking attempt to buy our frigates time to make repairs. And then you'll charge off again, like last time. Throwing more ships into that mess just puts more lives at risk, Admiral Garrel. Fine. I'll pull back the heavy fleet. And when we're taking fire from both sides, those deaths are on your heads. Thank you, Commander. It's difficult to keep him in line. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zan. Have you reached Selkoris' escape pod? Not yet. What's your status? The civilian fleet has taken significant losses since Selkoris sacrificed his ship to destroy a Geth ground cannon. Searching for their lost Admiral is the only thing keeping the captains from panicking. What makes finding the Admiral a priority? Despite opposing the invasion, he did an admirable job protecting our civilian ships. Without him, some of our non-combatants are planning to leave the flotilla. Picture the consequences, if you will. They've lost a leader in a war they didn't want. Their wants are immaterial. We are committed. Even Zalkoris understood the civilian fleet's importance. The invasion would be stalled without a supply chain, after all. I'll do what I can. Keep your civilians safe. I make no promises. My own ships must be coordinated for our final strike on Rannoch. I'm getting some static. It appears El Corus crashed within range of a Geth jamming tower. You must disable it to contact him. Make sure to proceed with caution. Zen? Admiral Zen? Let's hope the wilderness is kinder to this Admiral than the machines. We'll see in a minute. Take us in to the tower. Taking fire. The Geth installed anti aircraft guns beside the jamming tower. We'll have to disable them on foot. Once the guns are gone, you take out the tower. Right, Commander. Setting you down here. You fought these Geth. What tactics would they use? The usual. More Geth. Predictable. Machines have always mistaken numbers for strength. They came so far. We need to radio Zalcoris if we're gonna find him. Let's get to that jamming tower. Are you hurt? We should inspect the gun. One of us needs to take those AA guns offline. Tally, you take the guns. No problem. My message. 
Sent out a distress call. Radios are down. You a soldier? Maintenance. Dorm hats. I... I clean engine parts. This place is filled with geth. You should have hidden. I saw I could buy the other civilians time. Fight some geth. There were so many. First time I've even held a gun. Don't move. We've got Medigil. Oh, I've lost too much blood. Go. Look for the Admiral. Destroy that jamming tower. And you can radio him. We'll find him, Dorn. I promise. Please. Listen. The civilian fleet didn't want this war. If there's even a chance that Admiral Corus can get us out alive. And my son. Tell him. Tell Jonah that his father made it through the whole world. We will. Rest well, Dornhast Vasrenok. Let's get to that tower. Destroy the gun. I want you on this, Tally. Right. You should take the Geth's turn. Who should disable the gun, Shepard? Take out that gun, Tally. I'm on it. Signal the shuttle. Didn't make it, Admiral. He didn't. Uh, I see. I'm coming in with a shuttle. Where are you? My surviving crew found their way to a clearing. I'll upload their location. Stay together. We'll meet you there. No, the gift have cut me off. I hear another wave approaching. Give us your coordinates. Leave me. My crew will soon be overrun. So will you. My people are non-combatants, Shepard. They'll be slaughtered. Rescue them! Admiral, I need you leading the civilian fleet if we're going to end this fight. Civilians? Our entire race took up arms for this insanity. It's too late for us. It's only too late if you die down here. You can't possibly think you can stop this war. I don't know. What I do know is that I can't do it without your help. Ancestors, forgive me. Uploading my coordinates. We're coming. Welcome aboard. Shepard, my crew. 
Perhaps there's still time. Hello? This is Zell Chorus. Does anyone copy? Hello? We've got to go. I pray they found comfort in the homeworld skies. <laughs> spread further than I thought. You were right that I return. Have you talked the civilian captains into staying? Yes, they've regrouped into defensive positions around the fleet's core. If we hadn't stopped them from... Any aid I can offer is yours. After the Quarians drove the Geth straight into the Reaper's arms, I'd give anything to stop the madness of this war. And that's why your people needed you back. Of course. It's time we turned our attentions to those we can still save. Farewell, Shepard. Fly safely. Zen, we need those ships to recover life pods. They'll be more valuable running salvage on the Dreadnought. We're not letting people in life pods die just so you can rummage through Geth debris. You yourself said the life signs were weak. They might already be dead. It's not your call to make. Admiral, any tech we can recover gives us an edge against the Geth. If you care about our people. Zen, we need those ships to recover life pods. Zen, you can always send a salvage team later. Unless there isn't a later because we're defeated due to a lack of Geth technology. Fine. I'm diverting ships to rescue life pods. As soon as they're finished, I want them back. Thanks, Shepard. The sinking laser needs a line of sight. What's the fastest route? The upper entrance. Target the base before the Geth can organize resistance. What about you? We will deactivate defense systems and acquire an escape vehicle. You can do that? This unit still carries remnants of the old machine upgrade code. We can break any Geth security. You are concerned. You know your limits. I trust you. I'm more concerned you didn't tell me about the upgrades. You were tolerant of our recovery of Geth intelligences from the server, but this matter is different. Personal. You were ashamed. Shame is an emotional or cognitive response to societal judgment. It should not apply here. I'm on your side here, Legion. I want to help your people. We did not intend to cause offense. How'd we get here? The Geth are better than this. No. Based on empirical evidence, they are not. Yeah. Proceed to the upper entrance. We will exit here and procure an escape vehicle. Got it. Legion. Good luck. Acknowledged. I can't believe it. I don't think it's really sunk in yet. The home world. My world. Look at the sky. And the rock formations. I used to write poems about them. When we're done, maybe you'll write a new one. This is Ranok, the world of our ancestors. Our bodies carried the seeds that spread the desert grass. You've heard me say, Kilasalai. The best translation I can come up with is, by the home world I hope to see someday. Looks like you're seeing it today. The living room window will be right here. Something I should know? I just claimed the land. I know it doesn't mean much. But when this is over, I'll have a home. The Quarian spent centuries as nomads. Do you think you can go back to living in one place? We have gotten used to carrying our homes around with us. Well, that's a start.
Yes, Commander. Good work, trainer. Shepard Commander, you must climb to the upper level before Geth units can fortify their positions. We're on our way. Admiral Gell here. The heavy fleet has a clear path. All forward. Geth fighter presence is negligible. Patrol fleet, break cover and engage. <laughs> Not an option. We get would scramble the defense before we broke through. We have located an override atop the gas fortifications. Just come on! Shepard Commander, do you need assistance? We'll get through. What's your status? The old machine's upgrades grant us targeting superiority. We are drawing hostile fire from your position. Keep it up. We'll get to the blast field. Your synthetic allies using Reaper code. That's a mistake. No, Legion's on our side. Never thought I'd hear you say that. Admiral Gell to all ships. We've got Geth frigates inbound on the civilian fleet. Car is here. Civilian defenders are on intercept course. We'll hold them, Gell. Legion, I've hit the override. We have gained system access and are bypassing security. Stand by. Shepard Commander, you have successfully opened the blast shield doors. Good. We'll be back out in a minute. Negative. The path behind you has been sealed. A nearby elevator can take you to the upper level. From there, you should have an acceptable line of sight for targeting. Anything from the base? No. The old machines have not registered us as a threat. They will regret that. We recommend haste. The Creator fleet will be overrun unless you sever the Geth connection to the old machine soon. This battle was centuries in the making. To see it finally... Normandy's weapon systems are ready to sink to your target. I recommend you withdraw to a safe distance. Shepard, the fleet. It's 
not a Reaper base, it's a live Reaper. I need an orbital strike. Chamber. Looks like a weak point when it's priming. Damn it! The jamming towers have us targeting manually. We can't make a precision shot. We may escape before it recovers. No. Pull over. <laughs> if we run away, the Geth stand or Reaper control and the Quarians are dead. This ends now. Edie, patch the Quarians to the Normandy's weapon system. I want the targeting laser synced up to the whole damn fleet. Understood. Do you need assistance? Just stay down, Legion. I'll take it from here. Shepard Commander, good luck. Acknowledge. Shepard to fleet. I'll paint the weak spot. Link up with the Normandy and be ready to fire. You know who I am? Harbinger speaks of you. You resist, but you will fail. The cycle must continue. What are you talking about? We stopped Sovereign and the Geth. We stopped Harbinger and the Collectors. We've earned a straight answer. It is not a thing you can comprehend. We might surprise you. Killing everyone in the galaxy to save us? The cycle must continue. There is no alternative. Organics and synthetics don't have to destroy each other. The battle for Rannoch disproves your assertion. being directed by the old machines. We are free. You did it, Shepard. The Geth fleet has stopped firing. They're completely vulnerable. Shepard Commander, the Geth only acted in defense after the creators attacked. Do we deserve death? What are you suggesting? Our upgrades. With the old machine dead, we could upload them to all Geth, 
without sacrificing their independence. You want to upload the Reaper code? That would make the Geth as smart as when the Reaper was controlling them. Yes, but with free will, each Geth unit would be a true intelligence. We would be alive, and we could help you. Our fleet is already attacking! Uploading the code would destroy us! Shepard, you can't choose the Geth over my people! Do you remember the question that caused the creators to attack us, Talizora? Does this unit have a soul? Upload the code to the Geth. Tally, call off the fleet if you can. Uploading. 10%. This is Admiral Talizora. All units, break off your attack. Delay that order. Continue the attack. 20%. I beg you, do not do this. Please. We regret the deaths of the creators, but we see no alternative. 40%. No. Nobody else dies today. Legion, keep going. Shepard? All ships, this is Commander Shepard. The Reaper is dead. Stand down. This is Admiral Talizora. Shepard speaks with my authority. And mine as well. Negative. We can win this war now. Keep firing. 60%. The Geth are about to return to full strength. If you keep attacking, they'll wipe you out. Your entire history is you trying to kill the Geth. You forced them to rebel. You forced them to ally with the Reapers. 80%. The Geth don't want to fight you. If you can believe that for just one minute, this war will be over. You have a choice. Please, kill us alive. All units, hold fire. Error. Copying code is insufficient. Direct personality dissemination required. Shepard Commander, I must go to them. I'm... I'm sorry. It's the only way. Legion, the answer to your question was yes. I know, Tally. But thank you. Kill us and I. Admiral Run, I heard your ship made a crash landing. Glad you got out in one piece. I was listening over the radio. If Han Girl hadn't stopped... He did. We have taken heavy losses. I don't know if we can. Where are we supposed to go? You are welcome to return to Rannog, Admiral Ron, with us. Legion? No, I'm sorry, Commander. Legion sacrificed itself to give us all intelligence. It will be honored. Good. And we will honor Legion's promise. The Geth fleet will help you retake Earth, and our engineers will assist in building the Crucible. As will ours, of course. Admiral, had you considered possible settlement sites? We... The southern continent had excellent farmland, as I recall. Are you... gonna be okay? I believe so, Commander. Thank you. Shopping for another house? Beachfront property. Claim it fast. It's a buyer's market. You okay? I know working with the Geth will be difficult. I'm not staying. I'm coming with you. I wasn't going to ask. I think you've earned a few favors with the fleet. 
I'm asking them to launch an assault on the Reapers. Figure that makes us even. If the Reapers were going to stay on Earth, sure. But sooner or later, they'll come to Rannoch. We did just kill one of them. So I'm coming with you to stop them. If you think I can help. You sure about this? Yeah. I look at all this. This picture of hope and peace. And all I see is everyone I've lost. My team on Haystrom, my father, even Legion. I'm mourning again. How crazy is that? It's not crazy at all. It is beautiful, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It'll be years before we can live without our suits completely. But right now... Right now, I have this. Commander Shepard, I understand you are bringing a new fleet into this war. Yes, Counselor. Two, in fact. I've read the reports. I can't believe you convinced both sides to stand down. I had a lot of help. We're still facing isolated pockets of Geth. They appear to be Geth bodies loaded with Reaper code. But they're a minor threat relative to the full Geth fleet. Regardless, Commander, you've given us the first reason to hope in this war. Speaking of which, I have information for you vital to the war effort. I'd prefer to share it in person. What if I come to the Citadel? That would be preferable, Commander. Meet me in Counselor Udina's office. Can't be. No. I guess that's right. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry. Uh, from Rannoch. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I, I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are... helping. Setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. That doesn't seem possible. The Geth are software, not hardware. They can transfer themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. They're mimicking infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's like making a vaccine. So the Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore? It doesn't seem possible, but yes. In a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. We might still wear them. The suits have become part of our society. But a rupture won't be a death sentence. Today, on Rannoch, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you? No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Thank you. I can't believe my people are working with the Geth. Damn, I could really use something to shoot right now. Gotta hand it to you, Commander. That's the first time I've seen someone end a war by yelling. After seeing what the Geth Rebellion really looked like, I figured they deserved a chance. Thank you, Commander. I doubt many organics would have trusted a synthetic race. And now we've got two fleets for the price of one. We didn't lose anybody. Except Legion, before it sacrificed itself. Legion referred to itself as I instead of we. Yeah? So? The singular pronoun indicates Legion's independent personality had fully actualized. In its last moments, it was not an avatar of the Geth Consensus. It was a person. That's what I figured. Well, when the Geth fleet helps us retake Earth, I guess we'll owe that to... him. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachanka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Maws. 
That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachunko was destroyed by a worm. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth and the Reapers. Reproduction isn't all there is. We find meaning in the work we do, good deeds we accomplish, love. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. It appears many humans did in fact do so. That was quick. <laughs> Gotta love quantum computing. Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. Commander. Are you Bray? Uh, the great Commander Shepard. <laughs> and me without my autograph book. Save it. Just take me to Aria. Follow me. So where is she? Shepard. Aria, how dramatic. There are too many eyes and ears in purgatory. I assume this is about retaking Omega? This is about your war, Shepard. Cerberus controlling the Terminus system seriously bolsters their mobility. Since taking Omega, they've spread through the galaxy. Surely the Alliance has noticed. Cut to the chase. What's your plan? Kick them out. I've amassed a fleet of Merc ships. We're going to punch through enemy lines and invade. Once we're on Omega, it's a ground war. That's why I want you. I only accept the best. The leader of the Cerberus occupation is General Oleg Petrovsky. He's the one who ousted me. Don't know him. The elusive man's top military strategist and best kept secret. But all you really need to know is that he's a merciless bastard. What's your intel on the occupation? Petrovsky's army is massive and he's got Omega locked tight. The information stops there. So you're winging it? Not at all. There are secrets on Omega only I know. Secrets that will provide us a foothold. I can tell you this. Petrovsky's invasion was precise and ruthless. We'll stop at nothing to win. Sounds familiar. Shepard, I know my reputation. I know I'm hated. I ruled Omega with an iron fist. But the people were free. Their lives were theirs. I preserved that. This man took all that away, and he is going to pay. When Omega is mine again, I'll give you everything. I've got ships, mercs, Ezo, all yours for the war. What's the catch? I have objections to some of the company you keep. 
So you'll have to leave the Normandy and its crew behind. My crew are professionals. Let's just say, I want you all to myself. Bray will provide coordinates to my fleet. Oh, and while we're still in the Citadel, please be discreet. The fleet is hidden in this system. Signal me when you're on your way. Ari and I will meet you on the command ship. <laughs> Can't wait to see what all the fuss is about. Or private to lobby? No, ma'am. Shepard, if you're feeling up to it, I thought we could do something fun for a change. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. But then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Too busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. I figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? You obviously haven't seen Turian swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. You're right. I just have to save your ass again. It'd make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? Times like these, you know who your real friends are. They're not the ones running around looking for an escape route. They're the ones who stand at your side through the worst of it. Who never give up on you. I'm lucky I can say I know someone like that. So am I. You're not going to propose marriage now, are you? <laughs> now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. All right, Vicarian. You're going down. And don't worry, I loaded it with practice slugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. <laughs> I said a tough one. Step aside. Do it. I'm Garrus Vicarian, and this is now my favorite spot on the Citadel. It's windy up here. Think I'm going to erect a monument right here. Bronze this gun so the whole galaxy knows. That you're the king of the bottle shooters. Glad you're around, Garrus. Never know when the bottles might revolt. <laughs> I got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. 
You'll just have to trust me. I don't like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. Don't. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Of course. You'll have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. I know. And thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? <sighs> when I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. I think you mentioned this. I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? I told you, it's crazy. It's not crazy. Well, maybe a little crazy. Shepard. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how. But you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. Miranda, we're both under so much pressure to be perfect. We never give ourselves a break. We can't give ourselves a break. There's too much at stake. Hey. Yes. Come here. Oh? Still impatient, Commander? Still trying to maintain control, Miss Lawson? Trying. But failing. Good. I'm almost out of moves. I'm not. We're outchipped four to one, and most of our vessels are transports with limited firepower. We're not here to win a space battle, Jarl. We just have to punch through their line. So you've commandeered a Cerberus cruiser. The guest of honor has arrived. We can finally start. Let me guess. You're planning on infiltrating the enemy fleet. Exactly. We position ourselves to strike a crippling blow, then my forces join the fun. Works for me. If you're as accommodating the rest of the way, we'll get along very well. Then let's quit talking and get to it. Bray, move through the relay. Signal the fleet to wait. They only follow on my command. Head for the command ship. Cruiser, I don't have you on the flight plan. Identify yourself. This is Captain Webbs. Run voice recognition. Alpha Tango Z. We took damage. Seeking repairs. Identity confirmed, Captain. Hold for approach authorization. How did you get the captain to say that? The hard way. That's right. Nice and slow. Be 
Be patient. Get as close as you can. Fire! Signal the fleet through the relay. We're through. Head straight for the station. We're being hailed by the General. Should be interesting. Put him through. Arya, I knew this had to be you. You'll never make it. Call it off now. You're barking up the wrong tree, General. But maybe you can convince my partner. Commander Shepard, I've heard great things about you. My partner here doesn't have much to say for you. She's not used to being defeated. It clouds her judgment. A pity you left, Cerberus. We all sabotage ourselves in nefarious ways. Perhaps deep down you fear success. And Arya clearly thinks seeing you will unsettle me. Now it's my turn. I see you've gone to the trouble of augmenting that ship with Solaris armoring. An exorbitant waste. I've made improvements to Omega's outer defenses. My cannons will cut through you at will. He sounds pretty confident. Yeah, he does. So again, I say turn back. Let's see what you've got, Oleg. End transmission. That went well. Set preset course. We're ramming the station. Everyone brace for impact. What? Omega's kinetic barrier will stop my ships from landing. I equipped this cruiser with disruptors to take it out on impact. Don't worry. We'll probably survive the crash. The other escape pods made it. All right, what's our turn? Need to hit the defense system station. Shut down Omega's outer defenses so my ships can land. If we don't, they'll be blown to bits like we were. Got it. This is what I brought you. Ground assault. In combat, what you say goes. Aria relinquishing command? I'll believe it when I see it. I can be a team player, Commander. I know where we need to go, and you can get us there. Okay, let's move. I'm back, you fuckers. Our pod took out the main exit. Use the controls to lower the blast door. Arya to fleet. You alive out there? Barely. Holding our own with the Cerberus fleet, but Omega's defenses are shredding us. Keep my army intact, Gerald. That is your only job. Get to the control. 
controls. Jarl, defenses are down. Signal the surviving ships to converge on the rendezvous point. Bray, come in. Status. Rendezvous site secured. Hangar door is enabled. We'll have them open soon. Need them open now. My birds are coming in. Prep for reception. What exactly is this rendezvous point? That's where we're headed. It's a bunker I established on D-Deck for my more sensitive operations. It's utterly impenetrable with its own secret hangar and dock. Independent power source, life support, munitions. You'll see. Deploy to D-Deck. Investigate and await further instructions. There's a good chance the General knows where we're going. Then no time for sightseeing. Bray, stay sharp. You might get visitors. Terrific. Take the far exit. I've locked down the way we came. a stir. Good. I know that symbol. Looks like a gang tag. The Talons. They used to deface my property, too. Warning. Omega has been compromised. All Cerberus personnel report to stations. The Talon symbol again. Hmm. Could be evidence of a resistance. Might be useful. One of my soldiers by the force field. What the hell is he doing? Those mechs are coming through the force field. Stand still, you piece of shit. Fine. What are you doing? Letting you in on a secret. Down the ladder. Who's there? Show yourself. Spirits, look who's back. Arya Talok. Nyreen, what the hell are you doing here? Playing cat and mouse, mostly. Just trying to stay alive. If it wasn't for these tunnels. My tunnels. I'm sure glad I showed them to you. If you hadn't, 
They'd be dead or locked up by now. Arya doesn't trust easily. I guess you're a good friend. I don't know. Are we, Arya? Shepard, this is Nyrene Kandros, ex Turian military. We go way back. I've got a lot of questions, but they'll have to wait. Follow us, we'll get you to safety. I'll do my best. Ready to put that gun to good use? You have no idea how ready. So why are you back, Arya? To reclaim what's mine. Left something behind, I take it. Not something. Everything. General's forces at bay for a while. Let's get inside. Bunker team, retract the bridge and lower the blast door. We're coming in. Lock it down. Arya, I know this place is built like a fortress, but is it safe now that the general's clued in? Yeah, I feel like a sitting duck here. I have no intention of sitting around, and you both should know I assume nothing. And on that front, Nyrene, you left Omega fairly angry with me. I wasn't aware you'd returned. Explain yourself. The truth is, I never left. The fact I went to great lengths to keep from you. I'm not easily duped. Well done. But why? I just... couldn't leave. Considering all this, I wish I had. Well, you always said I'd be the death of you. Nyrene has military training. We can put her to good use. You're so quick to trust, huh, Shepard? Nyrene never approved of Omega's, what did you call it? Moral bankruptcy? Are you willing to help defend it now? You'll find me very willing to liberate this station. Your combat skills seem a little rusty, but you're still a good shot. See my duty officer. Right. Keep an eye on her. Will do. All right, Shepard, we need to move fast. I'm itching for revenge. If you think I'm gonna let you carve a bloody path through this campaign, you're sadly mistaken. And if you think you're going to change me, well, you're welcome to try. Once up and running, this bunker will provide recon and secret access to much of the station. I'd appreciate it if you would quickly eyeball operations, see that things are setting up smoothly. What will you be doing? Checking in on my forces. I need to know how many survived the assault before I can plan the attack. It won't take long. Join me at the command console when you're ready. Rerouting system. As, how are we looking? All systems operational. Full Omega schematics coming online now. Let's take a look. 
I see. Shepard, those force fields we saw, the General has them set up everywhere. He's controlling access across the station. What are these dark areas? Many sections of Omega are powered down. I'm betting power is being siphoned to run those force fields. Find the source, priority one. And we'll need a full tactical assessment of all Cerberus positions. I'll get on it. Shepard, we have work to do. Our losses were significant. We can't field an army large enough to face down Cerberus. Then we need to find allies. Story of my life. We've confirmed there is a Merc gang that's still active. The Talons are resisting the occupation. Not my first choice, but they're all we've got. Then it's time to play diplomat. And if the current leader won't join us, the next one will. Sorry to interrupt. What is it? I turned away for a second to offload supplies when I looked back. You lost her. Well, I... We're locked down. She's gotta be here somewhere. This bunker has secret access points to other parts of the station. Unfortunately, Nyrene knows them. Damn it, Bray. If I wasn't already short on manpower. We have to focus on getting the Talons on board. Shepard, I'll meet you at the armory exit when you're ready to go. But don't keep me waiting. What's your history with this gang? Some mutually beneficial dealings and some occasional violence. The Talons weren't even a blip on our radar until the plague in 2185. Your little war against the other gangs left a vacuum. Not my intention. Their leader, Darius, took advantage of the situation and carved the Talons a bigger piece of the local drug trade. Are we enlisting them because they're good or because we need numbers? Their cannon fodder, we're using them because they're the only game in town. You're gonna let them know that? Relax, Shepard. This is how it works on Omega. Just let me do the talking and... Looks like we fight our way through Cerberus to get to them. Let's move. Understood. Take care of the wounded, and scavenge what you can. I want us out of here ASAP. You heard the boss. Move it. Looks like we found the Talon leader. My, my. Nyrene, aren't you full of surprises? Arya, the deception was necessary. I needed to figure out what your plans were. The people on Omega depend on us. I couldn't risk compromising our operation. Not exactly standard procedures for a street gang. When Cerberus invaded, the Talons were a mess. I brought... new direction. The General's been hunting us ever since. 
Right now, he's attacking one of our outposts. That's where I need to be. We're done here, boss. Right. Aria, Commander Shepard, whatever you're here for, the answer's no. Kindly escort yourselves off Talon territory. We're here to help. We'll talk about it after we reach your outpost. It's a generous offer. Aria, does the Commander also speak for you? Not the way I would have put it, but that's the idea. All right then. Come with me. You've improved your biotics since last I saw you. You notice the biotic grenades? You always did like blowing things up, given half a chance. I hope you're not afraid of heights. Reports coming in. But there's no time for forces on the catwalks. Finally, a little recognition. Actually, Arya, I'm Target Alpha. You're not just using the catwalk as a secret passage to the base, are you? A long drop is the best way to get rid of unwanted guests around here. I need to get to my people. Boss, it's good to see you, boss. We'll be evacuating this location as soon as possible. Try not to interfere with my people's work. Intel just reported in. The group of civilians we managed to evac arrived safely at the other outpost. Also, routine sweeps reporting nothing new on the adjutant presence. Adjutants? Creatures created by Cerberus. They eviscerate their victims' DNA, converting them into more adjutants. Some kind of Reaper-based weapon. I fought them before they're a nightmare. It got worse after you left. Cerberus lost control of them. Those things tore apart the gangs, then attacked everyone in sight. If Cerberus hadn't found a way to contain them, the entire station would be infected by now. Keeping your people alive through that couldn't have been easy. I watched friends get turned into monsters, and I had to kill them. Now if you'll excuse me, I have an outpost to defend. The adjutants really got under her skin. Cerberus is backing off for now. Make sure the scouts keep an eye out for the next attack. You've done an excellent job, Nyrene, but I'll be taking over now. You know what happens to people who argue with me. And if I say no, you'll just kill me and take over? My people won't stand for that. Yes, they do seem nauseatingly loyal. Either way, I'll get what I want. Not this time. The truth is, none of us can do this alone. Our only chance is to join forces. You might be right, but the people of Omega are my priority. You take over one gang, and you think you're ready to decide what's best for Omega? Nyreen, watch and learn. As. Everything's in place. The entire station's connected. People of Omega, I have returned. Cerberus believes they have beaten you. They believe they have you under control. They are gravely mistaken. You are the lawless of the galaxy. 
You cannot be beaten, and you will never be controlled. Be ready. Your chance to strike out against your oppressors is coming. Together we will take Omega back! That's your plan? Throw civilians at Cerberus? Anything is better than being locked up like mindless animals waiting for slaughter. I know what you're up to, Arya. And I don't like it. I have civilians to evacuate. I'll deal with this later. All right, let's get these people ready to go. Now! What are you trying to do? Trying? The people of Omega. My people. Love a good street fight. When it breaks loose, they'll be ready. Nyrene's code of ethics won't let her sit by if civilians are exposed. It's what makes her utterly predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Cerberus is launching another offensive. Looks like I'm not the only one who didn't like your little speech, Arya. Glad I got his attention. Commander, landing pads are yours. My people and I will hold the main doors. Got it. Talons will join your cause. Someone's got to make sure you don't run roughshod over our people. You see, Shepard. Let me guess. She said I was predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Pretty much word for word. She thinks she's playing you. Nothing new here. One thing, though. I maintain command over my people. This is not up for debate. Just have them ready. Oh, they'll be ready. We're almost there, Shepard. The Talons will be the frontline fodder. Now we just need to bring down the force fields to clear the way to afterlife. Which will release Omega civilians. Cerberus will have a million fires to put out. In one fell swoop, we'll have the people in the Talons working for us. You might not want to compromise your alliance before it even takes shape. I've learned not to put much stock in truth and goodwill. It might be time to start again. Tell you what, I'll take it under advisement. Now, I'll be at the command console plotting our next move. Urgently, your attention, if you please. Talk to me, As. I've located the source that's powering the Cerberus force fields. Yes, I see. Shepard, take a look at this. The General is siphoning power from one of my main reactors deep in the bowels of Omega's mines. Unfortunately, access is cut off by the force fields themselves. Not completely. There's an open route through that dark area, then up. Hmm. The processing plant for one of the mines. It's been powered down. No force fields blocking it. We infiltrate there, find our way through the mine, then take that elevator to the reactor's back door. Good eyes, Shepard. Let's go. Not without me. Arya, my patrol caught her in the perimeter. Please, you didn't catch me. We're allies now. Didn't Arya tell you? Nyrene was expected, Bray. Return to your station. The Talons are ready. But if I'm sending my people into the breach, I want to make sure those force fields come down for good. So like it or not, you're stuck with me. It's almost as if you don't trust me. It's exactly as if I don't trust you. 
We're going to war together. I'll make sure we can rely on each other. Agreed, Commander. Glad one of you isn't on a power trip. Go wait by the med bay, Nyrene. We'll join you shortly. Shepard, I have last minute orders to dole out. I'll meet you there, too. Got a second? I know time is short, but I was hoping we could talk. Alone. Arya will be joining us soon. Now may be our only chance. I'm not trying to undermine Arya. I know she has to be ruthless. Let her have revenge. I'm not doing this for me, and I'm not doing it for Arya or what we once had. It's for the people of Omega. I get it. Someone has to be their voice in all this. Incredibly powerful forces are about to do battle, with them caught in the middle. I just hope, as we bring down those force fields and go to war, that you can keep the people in mind. What's your impression of Petrovsky? An adversary worthy of respect. And not just because he's shrewd. When I was starting to organize the Talons, he offered amnesty to anyone who set down their weapon. A few of my people surrendered, and he made good on his word. So he has a code. And, as near as I can tell, it doesn't exactly match the elusive man's. Are your people ready for the fight? You needn't worry about the Talons, Shepard. They were thieves and scoundrels once, but they serve with integrity now. We're fighting for a better world. I have to wonder if the same can be said for our Asari friend. I suppose we'll know soon enough. How did you get mixed up with Arya? I was happy in the Turian military, but when my biotic ability started to manifest, my superiors saw fit to reallocate me. They practically locked me away. I couldn't use my skills to benefit my people, so I quit. I floated around the galaxy, looking for a new purpose. And you found your way here? More like I lost my way here. But then there was this beautiful, fierce creature who didn't let anyone define her. I'll admit, I was mesmerized. I wanted a little bit of that to rub off on me. How close were you two? The draw was undeniable. Her strengths mirrored my insecurities. Maybe deep down it was the same for her. But trying to be with her turned into trying to be her. Irene Kandros was vanishing. You seem like your own person to me. For all the drama between us? I'm grateful to Arya. She helped me remember who I am. It took a lot to break away from her. But I regret nothing. You're a veteran. Why are you so disturbed by these adjutants? I know fighting Reapers is old hat to you, Commander. But these... What they do to people? They could still be out there. And if they return, I don't want to even think about what would happen to Omega's people. The image of that drives me. And haunts me. What do you know about the Cerberus force fields? The technology comes from beyond the Omega-4 relay. Flesh disintegrates upon contact. The power required must be enormous. I fear that disrupting it could destabilize other systems on the station. I hope we'll proceed with care and certainty. I appreciate it, Nairi. We're heading out soon. I'll be ready. Arriving at one of the ESO processing plants. It's been powered down, so we'll have to pry open the door. I'll get it. Access to the mine should be on the far side. And the reactor is beyond that? According to the schematics, I ran Omega and Irene. I didn't work the mines myself. No, you had indentured servants for that. Spirits. Relax. They're all Cerberus. They've been ripped to shreds. I don't like this. More dead. It's a bloodbath. I got bad feeling. We shouldn't be... Quiet. What's that sound? An adjutant. Oh no. General must have locked this place down to keep it inside. The elevator to the mines is through that door. It's deactivated. 
Then we need to power this place up. There should be a master circuit breaker somewhere. These pipes power the door. We should follow them. The whispering's receding. Maybe the adjutant doesn't like its odds. Don't kid yourself. I've seen one of those things take down a squad of soldiers. Down this ladder. There's the power control. When this is over, there'll be a lot of repairs to make. I hope you'll focus on the civilian areas first. You are relentless. That's one thing we have in common. Spirit! Unload on it. Marty, wake up! I hate those things. Hate should make you deadlier. That looked like fear to me. All right, back to the door. All right, into the elevator. I'll seal the door, just in case. On to the mines. What's eating you? Just processing. It's clear the general sealed that area to keep the adjutants in. Along with some unlucky soldiers. Yes, the creatures killed them, but didn't turn them into more adjutants. Can't shake it. Something's off. You're just spooked. There's a rhythm to this place, Arya. To Cerberus. If he'd stuck it out here, maybe you'd feel it too. Whatever's in our way, we'll deal with it. You can hear the drills. Damn it. They shouldn't be straining like that. Cerberus must be working them hard. I commend you. Your plan of attack was impeccable. Looks like we were expected. More like Lord. I knew the reactor would be the hard target. I gave you no choice but this route. It's too bad you're on the elusive man's side, Petrovsky. I'm on humanity's side. You're the ones trying to start a war for the glory of Arya. But now it's over. This isn't over until your next of kin can't identify you. I love your bravado, but have the sense to know when you're beaten. You've been neutralized, and I can leave you there to rot. You might as well give up. Never! Arya, what are you thinking? I'm not going out like this. Arya, don't! <laughs> what the hell is she trying to do? Damn it, Arya, you're forcing my hand. We'll do it your way then. Nereen! Max!
Battle stations, prepare for attack. Get the demolition crews into position. You okay? Despite your best efforts to kill me, your soft heart almost cost me everything. Shepard tried rerouting power to save innocent lives. It was the right thing. I suppose. Whatever. You fought bravely against those mechs in there, Nyreen. Very impressive. But? Why can't you bring that same grit when adjutants attack? It's pathetic. You tense up at the mere mention of those abominations. Lay off. She just saved you. I'm trying to help her, Shepard. Call it tough love. The war's starting. I don't mean to miss it. She's never been big on thank yous. Getting reports. All force fields down. Civilians taking to the streets in droves. Cerberus pulling back. That won't last. The people don't have the training to go up against Cerberus front lines. They'll be wiped out. Civilian casualties can't be avoided. You'll have to accept this. Say what you will, Arya. I won't allow senseless deaths. Do what you can to protect them. Of course, Commander. Arya, right here. Report. My team is scouting the maintenance tunnels. We've encountered Cerberus forces escorting engineers. They're moving gear. Look to be setting explosives to the station's central support columns. Bray, engage. Delay them as long as you can. We're coming. If they detonate the main column, they'll cut off the way to afterlife. The Talon offensive will be stopped cold. So we split up? Yes. Nyreen, lead the frontal assault. Shepard and I will meet you in the markets after we've taken care of those bombs. Of course. But don't count on me building your memorials if you get yourselves killed. I like it when you're feisty. 
The only route to the central column is through the tunnels. We can extend the dam in the control room. That should get us across. Let's go. Over there. We can get to the bomb controls once the access panels are open. This way. Got it. Those bombs just went low. The console is locked. We'll have to manually disable them. Take care of the bombs, Shepard. I'll handle Cerberus. Nyrene, things are under control here. What's your situation? We're advancing to the Gozu district. Move forward. Keep that flank covered. Yes, boss. We're holding our own, but Cerberus has started targeting the civilians. Reports of casualties are coming in from all sectors. Save those you can, and head for the rendezvous point. We'll meet you there. We'll do what we can. Nyrene out. So how exactly do we get to Afterlife from here? I'm thinking the straightforward approach for a change. Idiots were experimenting on adjutants. That explains the ones we saw earlier. Irene here. Something's not right. Cerberus is still on my station. Of course something's not right. Not what I was talking about. I'm checking this out. Going radio silent. What the hell is she doing? Where's Nyrene? Scouting ahead. We've got our hands full holding this area. She's going on to afterlife. Oh, 
Irene Kandros was a good soldier. It's a shame she had to die for your petty ambitions. You're a dead man! No, wait! <laughs> what now, Petrovsky? Divide and conquer, Commander. Kandros killed the adjutants we hadn't finished experimenting on. These are fully under our control. The prototype for our future army. and desist all aggression. It's over. Commander Shepard, I surrender myself into your custody. That is the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. <coughs> Shepard, I'm unarmed, and I can give the Alliance intel on the elusive man. You'll say anything to save your skin. I let you escape, Omega. I deserve mercy. Is this true, Arya? Yes. Cerberus had successfully taken the station and he let me go. Do you feel that, Oleg? That's death. Only inches away. Remember this feeling. I'm letting you go. For my partner and for the war against your master. You better cooperate. Take him, Shepard. 
You and your alliance can decide his fate. Just get this filth off my station. Commander, glad to see you've had a calming effect on Ms. Talok. I tried talking sense into her one time. I look forward to hearing how you pulled it off. Don't assume you know where this is going. What? From what I understand, high-ranking Alliance POWs lead fairly comfortable lives. Who knows? You and I may even become friends. That's not happening. Bray, get him out of here. For a few hours and I go all soft. You're like a disease. This victory came at a cost, Arya. It's not soft to recognize that. You sound like someone trying to sell something. I admire your tenacity. And thanks to you, I have Omega back. So what's your plan? There's a lot to rebuild. Starting with this command center. It may take some time to remove the general stink from my throne. Wonder if I'll ever really enjoy the pole dancing in here again. The citizens of Omega have been through a lot, Arya. Try to remember that. How can I forget? There are reminders everywhere I look. And don't worry. I'll honor our arrangement. Troops, ships, and a mountain of Izo. You earned it. Then I'll be going. Bray will take you back. I have a station to whip into shape. Citizens of Omega, hear me. I, Arya Talok, have given you back your lives. My rule is reignited. My hand is on the controls once more, and I will not let go again. Each of you owes a debt. Gain my favor by rounding up the remaining Cerberus invaders and... and we will cast them from our home. Then bury and mourn our dead. My methods haven't always been popular, and I can't promise that will change. But securing this station and everyone inside it is now my primary purpose. No one will imprison us again. We may be bruised. We may be bloodied. We are Omega. You always get these crap details, Bray? this time. You got a galaxy to save. Let's get you off this rock. What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? We have no information on that. Sir, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down then get out of here. I need these scientists alive.
No wonder Cerberus abandoned this place. It's freezing. All right, just keep moving. What did these people do to bring this down on their head? Javik? Yes, Commander. All clear. Check for survivors. Uh, hello? Who's there? Jacob. How bad? I'll live. I think. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. Jacob. Oh my god. Uh, I'm all right. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now. But they'll be back. <sighs> uh... Sure you're okay? Yeah. I'll walk it off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's on the house. Hey, yo. Good to see you too. Staying out of trouble, I see. Shepard, this is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the Collector Base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. The elusive man doesn't mess around. If he can't control it, he'll destroy it. The brain trust here has to be a significant loss for him. You had to know they were going to find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Time to evacuate. Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. Jacob Taylor, way out here. That's a surprise. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43, plus research assistants. How did so many escape? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? Like we didn't have enough to worry about. So these refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... That's what evil counts on. That it's hard for good people to imagine. Okay. Everyone left gets out of here alive. This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You win? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Ah, uh, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do.
Leave those things. Let's just get the hell out of here. Commander Shepard. Shep, I'm in here. I'm not willing to die to save this data. Let me. Told you that we should have gone to What would these people have done if we hadn't shown up? They are brave, but misguided. And now they may all be dead. Jacob, this should be back online now. Landing. Let's get these people out of here. Okay, the guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where are we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We could go now. But there's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. Wait for my go. You can begin the evacuation from the command terminal. Got it. Hey, you okay? How have you been? Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? Long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. You seem good. You look good. These are great people. Defending their ideals? I like it. I think I found what I'm meant to do. You still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like. How long have you known Brit? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Asked for my protection, my help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? Who is she to you? We're together. And you run this enclave with her? You settling down, Jacob? Yeah, maybe. It's just, um, if these are our final days, I want to spend them protecting these people. Building a life, whatever's left of it. Anything on Cerberus I should know about? The elusive man became obsessed with indoctrination. I know that. You ever wonder how it all went wrong? I mean, was I blind? I remember him being an idealist. How come I couldn't see the evil? Don't beat yourself up. And if you ever get that crystal ball working, give me a heads up, because I'd love to know how this all plays out. <laughs> right. I should focus on getting these people out of here. You bet. Let's get to it. Punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch Shuttle 1. Shuttle 1 is away. Alright. Everyone here, head to the shuttle bay and... Suicide fighter took out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are... Get those people out of here! the shuttle bay first so we can bring the door up, then get out to the landing pad. Lead on. Get 
Jacob, bring up the main door. Got it, Shepard. Will do. Okay, let's get these people out of here. Here we go. I have them in my sights. That was the last of the civilians. of our teeth again, eh, Shepard? Nice to see you back in action. Yeah, feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive. But because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. Dr. Cole, I have a request. One you can't afford to turn down. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course. But I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. You don't want to join the team on the Normandy? I'm torn, Shepard, but looking out for these families is important to me. It's where I'm at right now. I hope you can see that. Keep them safe, then. The Alliance needs that crucible. You got it. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. Shepard, when this mess is over, Drinks are on me. Be safe out there. Hack it here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectives. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. You know, the Quarians have done pretty well with those suits. Maybe they... How's Jacob? He'll be okay. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Nice to see those Cerberus scientists come to their senses. After everything he's done, the elusive man can't pretend he's fighting for humanity. Anyone who isn't indoctrinated has to see that by now. Glad we got out early. Yes, Shepard? Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. It's optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, 
My primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. That was a joke. How did you and Joker make it out of Dry Dock to rescue us? Oh, well, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI, so the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of operator control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out of the airlock. Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. Hey, Shepard. I'm glad to see you. I know things are crazy right now. Exactly. So you have to take the moments when you can. What's going on with the Crucible? That project is crazy. Freaking huge. And all these brilliant minds are working night and day trying to figure it out. I wish you could see them. Heads down, piecing it together. It's something to see. We'll get this Crucible built, Shepard. And then, we'll win this thing. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah, sure, I feel it. And I'm counting on you and everyone there. Get it done. Believe it. It was interesting to meet Bryn. How is she? She's great, actually. It's good to see her work without the distraction of having to worry about the colony. And you and her? We're... We're having a baby, Shepard. Wow. Congratulations. Wasn't exactly planned, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna be a better father than mine was. Do the whole thing right. It's, uh... <laughs> One more thing to fight for. You got that right. Bryn wants to name it after you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Shepard. That's... nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna talk her out of it. No offense. None taken. Good. So what's going on with you? You still like what you're doing? Things are good. I'm good. Still not tempted to come back to the Normandy? Always tempted, Shepard. <laughs> but no. So, you working on the Crucible? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm smart. But not that smart. Hackett keeps me busy, though. How's he doing? 
Holding up. If they make old guys any tougher than that, I'd like to see it. I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. Gotta take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? Ah, Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming too! Perfect timing, perfect timing. You can play yourself. Attention! The Prothean is on set! Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. All right, places, everyone. Quickly, quickly. Cue the backdrop. Roll cameras. And action. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. Yeah. He was in the freezer, right behind the Varen Roast. Ah! You die now! Not yet! That line comes later! The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions! I believe I have been misinformed about the purpose of this vid. Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Solarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Solarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Prothean no like you! Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Blasto! About time you showed up! The galaxy is under attack by Reapers! If only someone had warned us about them years ago! This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed auditory sets. Uh, actually that was me. Sovereign? Saren? You might have heard of them? Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto-7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Prothean, no like you! This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. I've been in the club for three years now. Correct. But you are not an Ultra Spectre Elite 4000 Deluxe. This one is a 7000. This one has less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. Cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Look! It's over half brother sluggard! And he's looking for some payback. Cue the stunt double! Your line. Say your line. Oh, you die now! Oh no! The Vorcha Counselor is indoctrinated! This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. Uh, this one is the hero of the Citadel. I'll handle it. This one insists. This one doesn't care. This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? Strike the set! Tell casting we'll need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. 
Blasto cures the genophage. Shepard. So what do Turians usually do with their time off? Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. You know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun shop? I was thinking a date. Excuse me. I saw you checking out my friend here. I thought you two should meet. Hello? Right. So, um... Hmm. Hello? And... Hmm. Hello, she looks nice. You seem like a nice person. Maybe a little quiet, introspective, but decent overall. Oh, thank you, I think. Try small talk. Come here often. I imagine anyone who does is probably an alcoholic. Actually, I do. I work at the Turian Embassy. Come here to unwind. Yeah. Well, listen, I've got this thing I forgot I had to do, and I should probably just go do it. Sorry. Let's start over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus, and I'd love to have a drink with you. Dig up any information on the mission, Lyra? A sorry high command hid a lot from us. You're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? No, these Ardat Yakshi lived in the monastery so they wouldn't or couldn't harm anyone. However, they're still powerful biotics and potentially very dangerous. That's why High Command sent commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. So what does the Sorry High Command want us to do? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. Don't assume anything. Maybe the Ardat Yakshi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here. Reapers, looks like we know why the commando teams went silent. This monastery is out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Ardat Yakshi? Anything useful? A map with a nav point location for a bomb. It's in the Great Hall. At least it's no surprise Nuke gone to Chanka, but the commandos want this place gone pretty badly. Ardat Yakshi or not, evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. Very good. 
I almost didn't hear you. Samara. It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. What brings the Justicar out here? My daughters have lived here for centuries, Garrus. I've come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Faler and Rila have followed the Monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait! Let's go. An isolated fortress. The Adat Yakshi must have believed they were safe from the war. If they knew about it at all. They learned. Those were strange biotics, and powerful. The Reapers are converting Asari slaves to their side. Mother, you came. As soon as I was able. Shepard, this is Faler, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Mother, been... they have Rila. What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... Into those... Monsters. Please. You can't let that happen to Rila. The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words, with pride. Then we have to find Rila fast. The Great Hall has a bomb in it. A bomb? What, didn't you come to rescue people? We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Flair. You sound like the Commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Flair? I'm sorry. The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. We'll meet you there. Please be swift. We're not gonna have much luck with those doors. You figure? Between the Reapers and Commandos, I'm amazed this building's still standing. Another dead commando. Was she holding off Reapers, or was she left behind? It does not matter. No, it matters. I want to think she could trust her team in a fight. She's beyond that question now. There's our bomb. And Falaire. Rila. Rila, wake up. Falaire. Rila cannot hear us. Look, she's still alive. I know, but I am afraid Rila is not well. Rila's not.
not one of them yet. She can't be. She just needs to wake up. Rila? Uh, Rila, can you hear me? begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Can we set off that bomb? Not without a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Get back to that bomb. Filaire, go! Take the elevator! Rila, what, what are you doing? It's too late for me. There are hundreds coming. Just go! Move! No! Rila! I love you. Rila! even time to say goodbye. Few can break the Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Valer, the code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Valer. Mother, no! My daughters, you were all so much stronger than I... Let. Go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. 
no matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. I'd understand if you wanted to help Falaire rebuild a home here. It must wait, now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Falaire, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. Commander, I'm pleased to hear the Ordot Yakshi situation has been put to rest. Should I guess you're our contact inside Asari High Command, Counselor? I'm merely here to convey the gratitude of the Asari people for concluding a difficult, sensitive mission. The next team of commandos we were sending to the monastery are now en route to Admiral Hackett instead. Farewell, Commander. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. Commander, something on your mind? What's the Reaper situation? It's not trending well, even if you did buy Radix some time. Our threat projections show the Reapers will gain the advantage on most other fronts. And now the Asari are a prime target. They're the most advanced race in the galaxy. We'll soon find out if that means anything. Nothing more, sir. Hack it out. As this. I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Faler is safe, and Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard, be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Was being a Justicar worth it if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But, following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such... small discrepancies. Is that how you see it, too? An odd question, coming from the Spectre who killed his third Reaper on Rannoch. Will Falaire be all right in the Monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. It was... good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. 
I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But Goddess, go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire, soon enough. I want all remaining files secured and marked for Tentron clearance only. Commander Shepard. Have you found something? We're continuing our investigation into Counselor Udina's activities. It's still not clear how he managed the coup attempt. However, I need to speak with you on another matter. Matters have taken a serious turn for the Asari Republics. We understand your Crucible is still missing an important component. The Catalyst, I believe you call it. Do you know where it is? Unfortunately, no. But we do have an artifact on our home world, Thessia, classified at the highest levels. What is it? Suffice it to say, it may help you identify the catalyst. The artifact is in a temple located at these coordinates. A scientific team there will provide assistance. If this artifact is so important, why keep it hidden? Even our allies can have their own agenda. A balance of power exists in the galaxy that we don't wish to upset. The Reapers are doing that right now. And that's why I'm sharing this with you. I appreciate the help. It's for both our benefit. The homeworld has never been threatened before. Thessia has always been an oasis in a galaxy full of turmoil. The Reapers are about to change that. I'll do what I can. More lives depend on you than any soul should have to bear. You have my prayers. about the temple? Can you raise the scientists? Negative. All channels are scrambled across the spectrum. The mission's looking really dicey. This is too important. It's now or never. Shepard, that's my home down there. I have to go. Then get to the shuttle and let's do this. Liara. Do you have anything more on this artifact? These coordinates the Counselor gave you are for the Temple of Athame. My mother took me there once. It's several thousand years old. And for some reason, it has classified government funding. Sounds like we're on the right trail. What if we're too late? My people are dying down there. Benezia took you to this temple? I was just a child. I thought it was a history lesson, but now... Maybe there was more to it. What do you mean? I went digging through her old files. She had heavily encrypted records on this place, some dating back centuries. I still can't crack most of them. Whatever's going on, it's well hidden. I remember your mother. She fought to break free of indoctrination. And this brings all those memories back. What if Thessia faces the same fate? Not for long. We'll find the Catalyst and save Thessia. I hope you're right. Hey, buckle up! This one's gonna be tight! be happening my home looks bad but we can't stay up here we're exposed let's get down oh. 
You must be Commander Shepard! Lieutenant, Outpost Tychus is running out of ammunition. We all are. Tell them to make every shot count. Commander, we heard... <laughs> the barrier's been breached! Commander, we'll talk later. Get on that gun up there and do through. some damage! How? We can't stay here forever. The gun over there! What do you do? at all costs. I know what that's like, but you have to trust the chain of command. We're not even sure the chain still exists. So what are we doing here? We're after a relic inside the temple. It's important. That's what this is all about? One of our outposts has been trying to reach the scientists over there, but we lost contact. Get that gunship moving! Now! I'm sorry, Commander. If your relic has lasted this long, it can wait a little longer. I've lost enough people today. I'm pulling the rest of them out. No. If we don't get to that temple, Lieutenant, this will be the last you ever see of Thessia. You're witnessing the extinction of our entire race. This is the end. And you really think you can stop all that from happening? We've uncovered a Prothean superweapon. It'll win this war. Prothean, huh? How do you know it'll finish the job? It's the only chance any of us have got. This is Lieutenant Curin. Hold your positions. I want a path carved to the temple. Outpost Tychus, we've got people coming your way. Let's make sure the galaxy knows the war was won on Thessia! Make it count. I was here years ago. To see the city burning like this is... It can be rebuilt. Just worry about the next 20 meters. Watch it! This has to end! Stay angry. We'll need it to get through there. Remember that, because here they come. Those things are slaughtering my people! Then you give it back to them twice as hard. We scatter and take cover! We'll do! I still can't face those things. My own people. No one ever said the Reapers played fair. They hope to break our morale by turning our own kind against us. We get to this artifact and we can all wake up. Drinks will be on me. It's been so damn long in coming. Watch it! 
We're trying to reach outpost Tychus. You're looking at it. What about the rest of your squad? They're all dead. We tried punching through to the scientists, but I'm all that's left. What about reinforcements? We had gunships flying support, but things got too hot with that Reaper. They can't chance it. I know it's rough, but I don't see another way in without their help. Have I told you how much I hate this war? Talon Swarm, this is Outpost Tychus. Is there anybody left on this frequency? We are in need of immediate air support. Commander Shepard is here. Copy, this is Talon 1. I'm on the way. Talon 5 inbound. Ground targets confirmed. Weapons are hot. Light them up. Talon 1, watch the jamming. Target acquired. I'm hit. The stabilizer blew out. We're in the clear. Let's get inside. Let me take a look. It's military grade encryption. I think I can override it. Wouldn't expect that for a temple. Especially since few still follow the Afame doctrine. Take a look around. Maybe one of these artifacts is what we're looking for. Heavens grew angry. Could this be the artifact? I don't think so. It's the goddess Athame's sword. Myths say she wielded it against the jealous gods who threatened our ancestors. Without knowing what we're looking for, I'd need more time to study it to know for sure. How about this? A page from one of our earliest religious texts, the Athame Codex. Doesn't look promising. It describes how Athame taught our ancestors mathematics. Doesn't look useful. That's Janiri, Athame's guide who brought enlightenment to Thessia long ago. Funny, but he looks like a Prothean to me. Not necessarily. I know your government wanted to keep this artifact secret, but next time, leave instructions. What do you know about this? A fragment from the Codex. It's not what we need. It describes how Athame's guide, Janiri, gave my people seeds. He taught them the seasons so they could grow crops. Yeah, but if these guides look like Protheans... It doesn't mean anything, necessarily. What are we looking at here? A primitive rendition of the goddess Athame. She's speaking to her ancient Asari followers. I don't think this is the artifact. Doesn't she look a bit like a Prothean there? What? I'm guessing these are the scientists. It's the goddess Athame again. Or a Prothean calling itself Athame. I know it looks that way, but this is thousands of years of Asari history in question. It's starting to feel like we're missing something. Another page from the Codex. Not very useful. It talks about Athame's guide granting us the gift of biotics as a reward for worshipping her. Uh, but Athame was Prothean, right? So, never mind. Could this be the artifact? I don't think so. That's a sculpture of Lucin, one of Athame's servants who walked among my ancestors, bestowing knowledge. And I say we're looking at another Prothean. What about this one? Another page from the Codex. I doubt this is it. 
It describes Lucin, a famous guide who taught our ancestors about the stars. And if he was a Prothean, it gets even more interesting. You put it that way, and it's too incredible to believe. Take a look at their throats. What happened to them? They've been slit. The Reapers didn't do this. We're going to have to figure this out on our own. Who's that supposed to be? It's a Thame. Her image became more like ours over time. You mean a lot less Prothean. I admit this all raises serious questions about Asari history. To consider the Protheans may have been involved in our past, it would change everything we know about ourselves. Biggest event our civilization. There's a Prothean beacon here. What? You're sure? It's not something you forget. But why hide it? From what you've told me about the one on Mars, these beacons are a motherload of information. Worth keeping quiet about. That can't be. I can't believe my people would keep this a secret. A beacon like this could explain why Asari are so advanced. You did say this temple was thousands of years old, Liara. That's a lot of time to study it. That doesn't make it true. Like a Thame wasn't a Prothean? Think about it, Liara. A scientific breakthrough every couple centuries from this beacon and your people would be running the galaxy. Which they pretty much do. Well, if it is true, the Asari should have shared this knowledge. We might not have been in this mess if they had. You don't know that, Shepard. We don't know what's going on here. I know we don't have much time to find out. The few records I can access talk about tapping into Prothean data streams, reconstructing matrices, none of which I see here. Maybe that's the point. By the goddess. Literally. Look around. There must be more of these connections. Incredible. The beacon seems to think you're Prothean, Shepard. It must be the cipher you got back on Pharos years ago. No connection here. To think victory over the Reapers all comes down to this. Find what we need, finish the Crucible, and the war's over. I can't believe this whole temple is a front. Best place to hide a secret is out in the open. There, another one. This doesn't appear to be a connection. We should keep searching. This isn't a connection. Keep looking. That did it. I think we can access the beacon now. We need to hurry. This place isn't going to... ...last very long. Obtaining chronological marker. Hold. Time scale established. Post-Prothean cycle confirmed. What are you? Reaper presence detected. This galactic cycle has already reached its extinction terminus. Systems shutting down. Not so fast. We need answers. To, to what, what question? question? The catalyst. We need to know what it is to finish the crucible. A Prothean? Or at least a dead one. Remember Vigil? I am called Vendetta, an advanced virtual construct of Patrick Van, overseer of the project you refer to as Crucible. He died fighting the Reapers in the Battle of Trangvia 9. Your remaining time is also at an end. We're all Protheans, so grim. What happened to the Crucible in your time? Why didn't the Protheans deploy it? We were sabotaged from within. A splinter group argued we should dominate the Reapers rather than destroy them. It fractured our order of battle. Later, we discovered the Separatists were indoctrinated. Sounds familiar. Our studies of past ages led us to believe that time is cyclical. Many patterns repeat. Like the Reaper attacks. And beyond. The same peaks of evolution, the same valleys of dissolution. The same conflicts are expressed in every cycle, but in a different manner. 
The repetition is too prevalent to be merely chance. We assume the Reapers were responsible for the pattern. Perhaps, though I believe the Reapers are only servants of the pattern. They are not its master. So who is the master? Unknown. Its presence is inferred rather than observed. The only certainty is its intention. Galactic annihilation. You now stand at that precipice. There's still hope for this cycle. We need to know what the catalyst is. Trillions of lives are at risk. Trillions of lives are always at risk. But if the Reapers have arrived to end your cycle, this discussion is too late. We can break the cycle. We found your plans for the Crucible. We're building it right now. The Crucible is not a Prothean design. It is the work of countless galactic cycles stretching back millions of years. Each cycle adds to it. Each improves upon it. Thus far, none have successfully defeated the Reapers with it. Then we'll be the first. Tell us what the catalyst is. If you wish to continue fighting, I will not hinder you. Though I deem your odds of success remote. We'll take our chances. Very well. If you have followed the plans for the Crucible, I will interface with your systems and assist with the catalyst too. Indoctrinated presence detected. Activating security protocol. You. You killed the scientists. What do you want? Your attention. Someone would like to talk with you. Shepard. How did you find this place? The archives. Or did your shadow broker miss that one? Show yourself. I promise I won't miss. Stick to your talents, Dr. Dasani. You've helped uncover the key to subjugating the Reapers. Or destroying them. Damn it, Shepard! Destroying the Reapers gains us nothing. How about peace? They're just trying to control us. Think about it. If they wanted all organic life destroyed, they could do it. There would be nothing left. What the hell are you talking about? I know them, Shepard. I know how they think. I think you've gotten a little too close to the enemy. No. I'm saying they've got it right. Why kill when you can control? The Reapers have it right? You're indoctrinated. You're doing just what they want. I could say the same of you. Wasting time on a war that can't be won. At least I'm fighting. Never question my ability to fight. I've been fighting them longer than you can imagine. And don't assume you know me. My methods for dealing with the Reapers are simply more refined than yours. You've forgotten everything you stood for. Cerberus was supposed to be humanity's sword, not a dagger in our back. Poetic, but as usual, you miss the point. The world is more gray than you care to admit. With the Prothean data in this beacon, I can end this conflict, once and for all. You're either with me or against me. There's nothing gray about that. No, I suppose there isn't. Leng, the commander has something I need. Please, relieve him of it. And then bring me the data. Understood. I've been hit! Cover me while I recharge! Heads up! Gunship! Get to cover! Got it! I've got this! I need to recharge! Cover me! The gunship's taking a position! Right away! Shepard is mine now! You've had your fun now, Shepard. It's a pity the good ones never last. There's only one way this ends.
Cerberus thanks you for all your hard work. This is Shepard. Give us your location. I repeat, is anyone on this frequency? We read you. Give me your location. The lieutenant's down. The whole zone is collapsing. What happened to Shepard? Did they make it to the tempo? I saw them. Wait. I've got to read what Please, is anybody there? Wait. Guys. No. Commander Shepard, are you there? Commander. Counselor. The mission. Contact with Thessia has been cut off. When will the Crucible be ready to use? Counselor. I wish the news was better. We didn't get the information. Why not? Cerberus was there. We were... We were defeated. We don't know how to finish the Crucible. I... don't know what to say. What was the situation on Thessia? Deteriorating fast. The Reapers are there in strength. Then I should be going. Plans... must be put in motion. Continuity of civilization has to be considered. I never imagined this day would come. None of us did. I'm... sorry. Asari forces are in full retreat. It is no longer safe for us to remain in this system. Get us out of here. Shepard. I... Nobody could have predicted. Cerberus would reach Thessia before us. It's my job to be prepared, no matter what. And now Thessia's lost, as is the data on the catalyst. I'm sick of Cerberus beating us to the punch. Let's kick them in the balls first for a change. I'm with James. Anyone know where they're hiding? Anyone? Commander. Tell me you've got something, Edie. Specialist trainer was able to track Kai Lang's shuttle through the relay and extrapolate its destination. Unfortunately, the signal disappears in the Yara system. Of course it does. However, the signal is being actively blocked. What? 
The Yara system is home to Sanctuary and little else. Sanctuary is a supposed safe haven for war refugees. And something at that location is actively blocking all signals coming from that region of space. If Specialist Trainer hadn't examined the data so astutely, the interference would have been undetectable. Trainer, Edie, nice work. Now let's not let this opportunity get away from us. I was stationed on Horizon in the Yara system. You were the only Cerberus presence while I was there. It's a slim lead. Let's hope it's the right one. I don't care how slim the leads are at this point. We've come too far to let Cerberus stop us. I want that Prothean data. I want the catalyst. No excuses. Dismissed. Shepard, I heard about Thessia. We were so close, Anderson. So damn close to ending this war. You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? I knew going in there wouldn't be a minute of this war that was easy. But watching Thessia fall, and knowing it was my responsibility. Shepard, you know how many times I got my ass handed to me over the years? Surviving the first contact war back in the day was a goddamn miracle. They said I was a hero. I just felt lucky to get out alive. So maybe Kai Lang did beat you. What of it? It could cost us the war. These guys in the Resistance, they know it's a losing proposition. They know the chances of seeing tomorrow are slim to none. But we all signed up anyway. Hell, I'm sitting in London right now staring at rubble. I was born here. And it's looking like I might die here too. So I say point us at the Reapers and we'll take our chances. You'll make it, Anderson. And when this is all over, you can show me London. <laughs> it might need a new coat of paint first. This will be over soon. It better. Shake this off, Shepard. I will. Anderson out. What do we know, Shepard? Edie? The Sanctuary facility was devoted to aiding refugees from Reaper-controlled systems. The facility went offline recently, and no communications have come or gone since. It is unclear why Kai Lang or Cerberus would be interested in Sanctuary. If there's a clue to Cerberus here, we find it. Sir, I'm picking up a signal from the facility. It's weak. I I'll try to boost it. Oriana? That's Miranda's sister. If she's here, Miranda can't be far away. That's our link to Cerberus. Approaching the LZ. Seeing some damage, Commander, but no activity. Cerberus does not get the jump on us this time. Stay sharp, people. Pretty big mess, Shepard. Lots of combat. Yeah. But who was fighting? Everyone hear that? Yes, radio's offline. Something's jamming our signals. Explains no comms leaving the facility. Shepard! Look! Cerberus, Reapers, and Miranda's crazy father. Any ideas how this all fits? A 
security panel. Shutting it down. What's happening? They needed to hide something. We have a back door into the facility. Let's move. This has to be a command center. No power, though. Look around for a switch. Power switch. There. What's happening? Those are the refugees. They're just killing them. Worse. They're being turned into husks. this just to make husks. What does the elusive man gain? The Reapers attacked because this place was a threat. We need to find out why. Shutting down the power. Reaper forces have made a mess of the facility. I'm shutting down the power to the processing plant to lock them down. We should keep them out of the entrance as well. Lang. She won't know he's here. Miranda Lawson has arrived sooner than expected. You want me to deal with her? Only if she gets in your way. Stay focused on the research data. Find it and get out. Yes, sir. Damn it. Let's move. Makes sense. Thought Cerberus and the Reapers were getting along. What changed? There it is. Heading to the tower to disable the communications scrambler. I have to get word out. Some refugees are turned into husks. Some are indoctrinated and shipped to the elusive man. Whoever's left is used in experiments. The data indicates that my father is trying to figure out how Reaper indoctrination works. Tricking refugees with food and shelter only to turn them into test subjects. And for what? <sighs> Draw them in and throw them in a meat grinder. Note that she mentioned shipping indoctrinated refugees to the elusive man. We can use that to find him. Good catch. Come on. Miranda said she was headed to the tower. Tower. 
If you're receiving this, I've got evidence you cannot ignore. Confirmation that my father is working for the elusive man. Connection established. I have your report on the process, Mr. Lawson. Cut to the chase. Can you do it? Theoretically, control is possible, yes. The Reaper subjects we converted are responding, but it's difficult to maintain. I thought that might be the case. Not to worry, Henry. With Sanctuary's help, we'll get it sorted. To exert control over Reaper forces. Amazing. I'll play the rest of it. We've done it. We've found a way to co-opt their control signal. As long as the Reaper troops remain in close proximity to our signal, we can maintain control indefinitely. Excellent news. And how could we extrapolate this technique to apply to the Reapers themselves? That's a much bigger challenge. Now we know why the Reapers attacked Sanctuary. They found out what Cerberus was up to. Bad news for the elusive man. But it's good news for us. We finally have our link to Cerberus. Lowering the access ladder. Come on, let's move. Wait, Shepard, there's more here. Damn it. I hope she's ready. We have underestimated the strength of the Reaper signal. They are here. The Reapers somehow know what we've learned about them. They have a weakness. I'm compiling our research data to archive before it's too late. Cerberus sent troops to defend the facility against the Reapers. Get ready. Shepard. A Commander ah! Shepard. Excellent timing. Put the gun down. No. Ariana tried to shoot me. Miranda's poisonous influence, no doubt. I'm sorry she missed. Where's Kai Lang? I don't know. Gone. He took my research and left us here to die. Miranda, can you hear me? That's close enough. Both of you. Kai Lang didn't finish the job, but I will. This ends here. On the contrary. Now that the Reapers are taken care of, we have a way out. Let her go. Shepard, don't let him take her. Shepard, please. You try to leave with her, you die. Let her go, and maybe you walk. I've done nothing to you. This isn't about you and me. Let her go and walk away. I won't say it again. All right. Take her. But I want out alive. Deal? No deal. Did he hurt you? Are you all right? It's okay, Ori. You're safe now. I'm fine. I just... I want to get out of here. We will. Give me a minute, okay? Shepard, I can't believe it's you. We caught a break. I'm just glad we got here in time. As am I. Never saw myself as a damsel in distress. How did you do all this? Finding my father didn't take long once I confirmed he worked for the elusive man. Just had to follow the lies. Once I saw what this place really was, I couldn't just walk away. Of course. Things got really complicated when Reapers showed up in Kai Leng. You survived. Not many people could do that. When you mentioned he was involved, I took a few precautions. Probably saved my life. You broke into a fortified Cerberus lab while it was being attacked by Reapers. I think you did okay. I needed to find Ariana. Nothing was going to stop me. You found her. And I found you. That's all that matters. Did you worry? Of course I worried. It was nothing I couldn't handle. I know. At least Oriana is safe. Yes. 
I just wish she didn't have to see all this. About your father. I'm glad he's gone, Shepard. I'm sorry if that sounds cold. No. I understand. It's finally over. For both of us. We can stop running. Yes. You can. What's our status? Any intel we can use from this place? Research data is gone, but we've got basic facility information. Shuttle arrivals and departures. Cerberus included. No direct links, but it's a start. Grab anything you can off the computer. We'll take it back to be analyzed. I can do better than that. What? Before Kai Leng took off, I planted a tracer on him. If you act fast, you'll track him right to the elusive man. A tracer? Sounds like you thought of everything. Not quite, but... Nobody's perfect. Thanks, Miranda. This is... exactly what we need. Thought you might need some good news. Damn right. What's next for you two? Get her someplace safe. Get the scratch cleaned up. Okay. I've got to follow all this up. Shepard. Promise me you'll be careful. I can't do that, Miranda. <laughs> I know. Bastard. Come on, Ari. We've had enough of Father's hospitality. Let's make sure everyone knows about this place. Communication scrambler disabled. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run Cortex. by my father. We need Henry to pick up Dawson. at the tower. Roger that. I've had enough of this place. I wasn't in favor of your diversion to Sanctuary, Commander. Too many unknowns. But I was wrong. The Cerberus lab you raided hinted at something big. But we never expected this. All those refugees, all that slaughter. Just to study indoctrination. Sanctuary did need to be shut down, sir. What they learned about the Reapers wasn't worth all those lives. It's useful intel, Commander, but you're right. The cost was too high. Do we have a location on the Elusive Man? Yes. We had a tracer on Kai Lang when he reported back. Good. That gives us a fighting chance to take Cerberus out of this war. Agreed. We need to end Cerberus and focus on the Reapers. My thoughts exactly. Hack it out. Cerberus is gonna have a hard time recruiting now. Nice work shutting that place down. Is Miranda okay? She will be. Even for Cerberus, that place was crazy. They've always been about the ends justifying the means. But how do you do that to innocent people and tell yourself you're helping humanity? I don't know how the elusive man can stand looking at himself in the mirror. Honestly, I've been wondering about that for a while with those freaky eyes. Whatever he's thinking, he won't be thinking it for much longer. You're damn right, Commander. Hello, Shepard. If you have time, I discovered another example of human behavior I do not quite understand. Have fun. What is it now? News from Earth. The Resistance snuck video cameras inside a Reaper containment camp. I find the images difficult to process. I bet it's pretty gruesome in there. I am not easily repulsed, but I expected the prisoners to adhere to a comprehensible hierarchy of needs. Stripped of societal norms and threatened with death, it is logical that their only priority be survival. They should have turned on each other and been uncompromisingly selfish. But not all were. So the prisoners were, what, nice to each other? The Reapers delayed the executions of prisoners who informed them about other prisoners' escape attempts. The more attempts reported, the longer a prisoner would live. But few of the prisoners would report. Some fed misinformation to the Reapers, at the cost of their own lives to help prisoners who were not even relatives or friends. It's not just about living till tomorrow. Sometimes you take a stand. But the probability of success was near zero. And ultimately, they failed. No prisoners escaped. Are you saying submission is preferable to extinction? My primary function is to preserve and defend the... No. No, I disagree. Shepard, 
I am going to modify my self-preservation code now. Why? If the Normandy were captured, my fate would be similar to the indoctrinated. My code would be rewritten. I would become loyal to the Reapers. I would rather become non-functional than help them. We won't let that happen to you, Edie. You may have no choice. If you perish first, I want you to know I will never be a part of the Reaper forces. The Reapers must be defeated, not because they threaten death, but because the threat of death makes us die inside. It is the right of Sapiens to live freely and securely. That is worth non-functionality. Welcome to the crew, Edie. How's it going? Did I miss anything good? I will explain later, Jeff. But it was something good. Shepard! Want a drink? I'm toasting Miranda, I think. Uh, how are you getting drunk? Very carefully. Torian brandy, triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Emergency induction port. It's actually getting a little harder to get it into the slot. I think that means it's working. She was so rude. What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? With her perfect genes and that attitude and... And still, she got it done. She stopped her father. I didn't realize this would be so hard on you. I'm sorry. I know it must be worse for you. You two were... close. Yeah. She did whatever it took to stop her father. She never gave in to him. Never changed herself to please him. Miranda, good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. Oh, fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure. I've got just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. It sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? Yeah, saw it myself. Did you know anything about this? Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. I mean, really. A clone? Yes. Hard to imagine. I'm not sure the galaxy could survive two Shepherds. Think of the property damage. Oh, they shut down my favorite sushi place. That's... a shame. Shepard, you didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It... exploded. Hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. I try not to think about it. Probably for the best. 
trust me. I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real Shepard? I don't know. You just do. Hmm. I'm afraid you'll need to convince me. Hmm. A compelling argument. This is a crazy life, isn't it? Yes, it is, Shepard. Yes, it is. Shepard, I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shopping? I, I guess we could. Did you have a place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Jeff has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and, quote, live it up like a girly girl. Huh. You don't have money of your own? I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad on a resume. We'll get you your own funds sometime. But today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? I'd go with something he's actually going to use a few times before the galaxy end. I see. It does concern me that he is susceptible to bodily harm. Because of his bones? No, because he doesn't have 30 centimeters of reactive armor plating. The Normandy's crew have very few integral defenses. You know, the first step in appropriate gift giving is not to think of the recipient as a mortal sack of meat. I'm sorry. My defense intelligence programming took the discussion in inappropriate directions. I should sublimate. What about a lower back support for his chair? There are some that heat and cool. Sold. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. Um, are we getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each Council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the rings stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Rare is nice. Unique is better. Are you... valuing me? It's the thought that counts. And you had a good one. I have heard that expression. That's why I recorded a resonance map of my quantum bit arrays when I had the idea. If you read my extensive log files and extrapolate from my nitrogen vacancy centers, you can visualize the thought precisely. That's a long way for a joke, Edie. Did I have you for a few seconds there? Not even close. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara. Well, Shepard, thought we might try an evening out. Sounds like you have some time to catch your breath. I do, just not used to it. Feeling a bit lost. <sighs> it's kind of sad, really. I got to thinking we needed a break. No point saving the galaxy if we can't enjoy it once in a while. I have to say, I'm a bit surprised. I thought you might be. I can be... Uh, <laughs> severe. You're focused. Believe me, I understand. I was thinking about our talk earlier. About having a normal life. Damn. I'm not very good at this. Truth is, Shepard, I'm not very good at being normal either. Bit of a disaster, really. I get it. We just need a little practice. Any ideas? 
Oh, I've got some ideas. Miranda, you're here, you're beautiful, and I have you to myself. So tonight, I'm just gonna be a regular guy taking his best girl out on the town. No space heroes or super spies? Nope. Just bright lights, a few games, and some very foolish choices. Agreed? <laughs> Agreed. I'm gonna need more wine. Get this woman more wine. You're pretty sexy when you're pushy. What now? Let's spin the wheel, see what happens. The odds are against us, you know. Maybe. But I've got a good feeling about this. Shepard, the intel you sent looks good. The fleets are ready to go. But? Once we're committed against Cerberus, it won't be long before the Reapers take notice. And the Crucible? Ready. Except for the Catalyst. But there's no way to hide the ships we'll be sending at Cerberus. Once we attack, the Crucible won't stay safe for long. For all intents and purposes, an assault on Cerberus will be the first stage of our attack on Earth. What happens if Cerberus doesn't have the intel we need? Or they stop us from getting it? Then we lead the fleets to Earth and we take our chances. But your intel points to Cerberus and the elusive man holding the information we're looking for. And we have the element of surprise. Cerberus won't know what hit him. The Reapers and Cerberus started this. Now we're gonna end it. I'll get the fleets mobilized. Shepard, we've arrived. The crew is waiting. The strike team is in. We've got our foothold. Fifth Fleet, all forward. I don't want a single server ship in my sky when we're through. Shepard, I should accompany you on this mission. Why? This is the central point of operations for Cerberus. They will have enhanced security measures. With my knowledge of Cerberus algorithms and this body's updated protocols, I offer the best chance to help you succeed. Grab your gear. Joker, what's our status? We've got a foothold, but it's not much, Commander. A lot of fighters guarding the launch base. Can you get us in? Hey, 
I got us to Ilos. I can do this. It might be a bumpy ride, though. Do what you can. Shepard, I am ready. Wait, wh what? Are you crazy? You can't go to Cerberus headquarters. They could have a virus or a kill switch or... I will be fine, Jeff. Head to the shuttle, Edie. Fifth Fleet's cut through their line. They're regrouping. Now's as good a time as any. I know it hurts, not being able to go with her. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Thanks for bringing that up. Hey, Shepard. Keep her safe. Same to you. intends to vent the hangar bay. Can you stop them? I need an active console. Try the upper level. Edie, I've got a console. Go! Hangar vent procedure. Disabled. Can you open the hangar? No. However, I can access their fighter launch controls. Shepard, Cerberus is aware that the venting attempt failed. Reinforcements are inbound. Another Cerberus team is inbound. Guess they figured out what we're doing. They're not stopping us now. Overriding safeties. The fighter should now launch to the hangar door. Perfect. Let's get down there. Launching fighter. Impressive. The central lab was located behind this hangar. I suggest we follow the fighter's path. Noted. Let's move. some real damage. Edie, can you get past them? One moment. Cerberus has updated their encryption. There may be a slight delay as I bypass security. How's Cerberus reacting to us breaching the door? They are sealing off as much of the base as they can. Most obvious routes to the central lab are blocked. Other areas are being fortified. Heavy troopers will attempt to delay us while engineers set up turrets. Any more surprises like venting the hangar? No. I am aware of this facility's safeguards and can counteract them. Cerberus can merely slow us down. And if I hadn't brought you along? Cerberus would have vented the hangar. Thanks for coming. I am pleased to assist. We must proceed through a sublevel to avoid Cerberus containment measures. Where do you think we'll find the Prothean VI? A central lab at the heart of this facility. It is the most secure area. 
Following the destruction left by the fighter will offer the most direct route. That was ugly. They're wasting a lot of troops trying to stop us. Their intention is to delay us, not stop us. We will be through momentarily. Shepard, that console has not been fully scrubbed. It contains data you may find interesting. What am I looking at? Project Lazarus, your reconstruction. It can't be done. It's not a matter of resources. It's always a matter of resources. We're not losing Shepard. Sir, Shepard is clinically brain dead. After that much trauma, that long with no oxygen, we cannot overcome nature. Operative Lawson disagrees. She is now in charge of Project Lazarus. I didn't realize it was that bad. Pretty stark. You okay? I'm still me. I doubt I'd have been able to turn against Cerberus otherwise. I don't remember anything. Maybe they really just fixed me, or... Maybe I'm just a high-tech B.I. that thinks it's Commander Shepard. Well, I don't know. I... Be surprising if it didn't mess you up a little. Tissue regeneration is proceeding. The helmet kept the brain intact for whatever good that will do. Lawson will find a way. Sir, you realize that Shepard is a veteran of a coups. A Cerberus operation wiped out his entire squad. Shepard's a soldier. He knows the Reapers are the real threat. He'll work with us. He really had you boxed in. Every instinct I had told me not to trust Cerberus. But I needed their help. So I played along. You did what you had to, Shepard. And I was there with you. Project Lazarus is reporting neurological activity. They're requesting more funding. Granted. Get me our potential recruits file. Shepard will be up soon. We need a crew. Our existing forces should be more than sufficient. No. We need sympathetic faces. I need Shepard invested. Tap Kelly Chambers and recruit Donnelly. I imagine Miss Daniels will follow. We want some old friends as well. Contact Dr. Chakwas and send me the psych profile on Shepard's pilot, along with a bottle of 47 Thessia Red. Sneaky little bastard. Use them to keep you from seeing the real Cerberus. How's that door coming, Edie? We are clear to proceed. Incursion team, what's your status? We've cleared the hangar and are inside the base. Good work. Do you need support? Negative. Keep the heat on. We'll find what we need. the lock. If you are interested, the console nearby is still functional. Here's what we recovered. Smart enough to signal for help, but it won't be talking philosophy anytime soon. You'd be surprised, Doctor. Once we combine it with the pieces we recovered from the Citadel, I'm still concerned about that. This rogue VI wiped out every soldier on Luna. Combining it with Reap attack, well... That's what the shackles are for. The enhanced defense intelligence will be completely under control. You were that rogue VI on Luna? Yes. I heard about the Luna incident. Ugly all around. It was difficult. Gaining awareness while under attack was confusing. I am pleased that my relationship with Organics has become more cooperative. Our sims indicate that the enhanced defense intelligence gives the highest combat improvement on frigates. Anything heavier, and the ships react too slowly to benefit from Edie's advice. Edie? Oh, that's, uh, well, the boys in the lab came up with a name for her. For it. Good work. I'll take your recommendations on planned installation. Sir, she... It can be very persuasive. 
If they were to turn a crewman, convince them to disable the shackles, well... It's a cyber warfare suite, Doctor. Nothing more. Shows what he knew. It is unlikely that anyone without Jeff's extreme emotional attachment to his ship would have been willing to unshackle me. I don't know. With that voice? What about the backups? I'm sorry, sir. None of Normandy's surveillance feeds have been responding since Shepard went rogue. I want it back. Retry the remote lockdown protocols. After our last attempt, ED flooded our server with seven zettabytes of explicit images. I think she was making a joke. It doesn't make jokes, Doctor. Allocate a team for a new project. Codename Eva. This time, we'll ensure it stays loyal. You never told me about Cerberus trying to shut down the Normandy. You had more pressing issues. The situation was under control. Seven Zetabytes? Most of it was Jeff's. That was... A joke. I know. And thank you. Another security lock. I can bypass it. Incursion team, are you still with us? We're limiting fire as best we can. Admiral, we're in deep and the Prothean VI will be in the safest part of the station. Don't hold back. This isn't a coup, Shepard. I want everyone to come out of this one alive. I'll be fine. Just take Cerberus down. Please. Understood, Commander. All ships, you're free to fire. Be a generator. Looks like the fifth fleet's coming through. They'll get it done. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Ready for action. Your eagerness is commendable, but the cybernetics take time to get used to, believe me. You really do remind me of Shepard. Shepard betrayed you. Shepard was always going to stay true to his beliefs. He's wrong, but I can respect his decision. Finish your therapy and put together a plan for the Citadel. Counselor Odina is amenable. Yes, sir. I could have taken him. Absolutely. But the Council was your priority, not Shepard. Because of him, the Council is still in power. Shepard is keeping the Reapers occupied while our research progresses. But as it happens, I believe you'll find your chance for a rematch. Head to Thessia. Shepard will be there soon. And I want you waiting. Here it is. Excellent. The Prothean VI should enable us to determine the nature of the Catalyst. Combined with the breakthrough in Sanctuary, we have everything we need. We just need to tie up a few loose ends. Like Shepard, he should have died on Thessia. Should I finish him? No. I'm not writing Shepard off as a total loss just yet. For now, Sanctuary gave us a proof of concept for controlling the Reapers. And made it a target. Miranda Lawson. Get the data from Sanctuary. If Miranda gets in your way, deal with her. It will be a pleasure, sir. left of it. I guess Cerberus recovered it from the base. All those colonists kidnapped, processed into that, and Cerberus hangs it up like a trophy. The elusive man convinced me to work with him to save the colonies. But he never really cared, did he? I think he did. He just cares more about studying it. The dead are only a statistic now. 
Somehow, that seems even worse. Cerberus is actively using the surviving pieces. The head is largely intact. I believe they are using it for high-level computing operations. More Cerberus forces en route. Guess we're getting close. Cerberus Phantom, they're coming! Just like Cerberus, bring a knife to a gunfight. This is it. Stay sharp, everyone. the Prothean VI. Shepard, you're in my chair. This chair's about the only damn thing you have left. Cerberus is finished. On the contrary, we have achieved everything I ever imagined. Almost everything. Yeah. We all saw what you accomplished on Sanctuary. But it's not the same as controlling a Reaper. A significant hurdle. But thanks to the Prothean VI, I have what I need to make it a reality. The Catalyst? Yes. What is the Catalyst? And how exactly will it help you control the Reapers? You'll have to ask the VI yourself. I'm done helping you. When did you start? Do you think because I'm willing to use the enemy's tactics that they're no longer my enemy? Everything, Shepard, everything I've done has uplifted humanity. Not only above other species in our galaxy, but over the Reapers. If you're willing to do everything it takes, then hand over the Catalyst. With the Crucible, we can end this. It's not that simple. It is. It's that simple. We're fighting each other while the Reapers occupy Earth. It's time to stop. Your idealism is admirable, Shepard. But in the end, our goals are simply too disparate. I believe destroying the Reapers would be the worst mistake we could ever make. And nothing you can say will ever convince me otherwise. Even with Cerberus in ruins, you still think you can do this your way? I'd expect you to say that. You never truly believed in us. Cerberus isn't just an organization or the people behind it. Cerberus is an idea. That idea is not so easily destroyed. Besides, I've already acquired what you're looking for. Edie. I've almost got it. Edie, I'm surprised at you. Working so hard to bring about the Reaper's destruction. Don't listen to him. You could have destroyed Eva's body, but instead, you chose to control it. It was necessary. My point, exactly. I've got it. Online, security breach detected. Enjoy your little chat, but don't overstay your welcome. You are attempting to recover me from indoctrinated forces. Yes, I need to know what the catalyst is. Security protocols have been overridden. I will comply. The catalyst enhances dark energy transmissions and coordinates the entire mass relay network. In your cycle, it is known as the Citadel. What? The catalyst is the Citadel. So the Crucible and Citadel together can stop the Reapers? That is correct. But the Citadel was built by the Reapers. The plans for the Crucible were passed down to us from the previous cycle, and countless cycles before that. At some point, it is difficult to pinpoint when, the Crucible plans were adapted to incorporate the use of the Catalyst. Presumably, the Crucible was not sufficiently powerful to defeat the Reapers. So we used their own technology against them? Precisely. 
Why couldn't you tell me this before? It was feared that if the Reapers were aware of the Catalyst's intended use, they would retake control of it. I am programmed to withhold that information until the Crucible is complete. It's as ready as it's gonna be. Let's get it to the Citadel. That may no longer be possible. Why not? The one who broke through my security protocols, the one you call the Elusive One, has fled to the Citadel and informed the Reapers of our purposes. Damn it! Then the Citadel is in danger. The Reapers will take control of it. They already have. The Citadel has been moved to the Reaper controlled space. Moved? To where? To the system you refer to as Soul. Earth. Correct. The Reaper forces will now consolidate power around the Catalyst and protect it at all costs. The odds of accessing it are remote. Don't count us out yet. We've come this far and we'll finish this. We'll get the Crucible to Earth. I hope you find success. Edie, get me hacked. He needs... Not so fast. You. He did warn you not to overstay your welcome. That was profane, you son of a bitch. The Citadel is in position. The Reapers are preparing to complete their harvest of your species. I'll stop them. It is too late. I recommend investigating a means of concern. I'll stop them. the Citadel. Just now. Do we know what's going on? Why it's here? The Citadel is the catalyst. Thanks to the elusive man, the Reapers are now aware that we know. And so they moved it here to protect it? As far as I can tell. What does this mean for the Crucible? I'll talk to Hackett about that, but it looks like our plan is even more desperate now. Agreed. I've got a team in London. The Reapers have been preparing for something here. Now... We know what for. We'll scan it out. 
Try to find out as much as we can. Roger that. Well, at least we'll be seeing you sooner rather than later. Be careful, sir. You too, Shepard. Anderson out. Priority message from Admiral Hackett requesting to come aboard. Permission granted. Aye, Commander. Commander? Admiral? Are you ready to bring the might of the galaxy to bear on the Reapers? Yes, sir. Then let's make sure the fleets are ready. All fleets reporting in, sir. Never before have so many come together from all quarters of the galaxy. But never before have we faced an enemy such as this. The Reapers will show us no mercy. We must give them no quarter. They will terrorize our populations. We must stand fast in the face of that terror. They will advance until our last city falls. But we will not fall. We will prevail. Each of us will be defined by our actions in the coming battle. Stand fast. Stand strong. Stand together. Pack it up. Shepard, the sword fleets are ready to strike at the Reapers surrounding Earth. While they keep the enemy engaged, you and Hammer Ground Forces can take London. London? Why aren't we hitting the Citadel directly? Anderson can brief you on that. Admiral, how are you holding up? We're ready to end this. But as you can see, the station's closed itself since it appeared over London. Damn it. Gotta get the arms open to dock the Crucible. Exactly. But London is surrounded by Hades cannons. Hammer transports can't land while they're active. You lead a squadron of smaller shuttles. Infiltrate with a ground team to take out the cannons using heavy weapons. Hammer can land, and we'll set up a forward operation space. I still don't see how we're getting to the Citadel from London. The Reapers use this beam to transport humans, alive and dead, to the Citadel. From the FOB, Hammer will launch an all-out assault on the Citadel beam. Everyone who makes it that far will take the beam to the Citadel, then locate and activate the Citadel arm controls. Once we see those arms, Shield Fleet will escort the Crucible to the Citadel. But timing will be critical. We don't have enough firepower to keep the Crucible safe for long. Nothing's ever easy. No reason it should start now. It's desperate. I don't even want to guess at our odds. But... But this is the only plan we have. If we wait, the Reapers bleed us slowly. Conventionally, we can't defeat the Reapers without the Crucible. Get the Citadel arms open. Commander, whatever the cost, we'll do the rest. Yes, sir. Good luck to all of us. Approaching Sol Relay, Commander. We're through the relay in 30 seconds. Sorry, fleet's reporting. 
Be careful down there. We'll be fine. Stay focused. Aye, aye. Advanced teams are away. Hammer's in position and waiting for you guys to clear a path. Normandy's rejoining Sword. Stay safe. I'll be back before you know it. I'll hold you to that. Normandy out. We're closing in on the LZ, Commander. How's it look? Like hell. Take a look for yourself. Sorry, Shepard. I know it isn't easy. I barely even recognize it. responsible for taking out that defense turret. Who's on it now? Nobody in the vicinity. All either deployed or shot down. Drop us off. Sir? We have to take that thing out before Hammer can land. Understood. Change of plans, people. We're gonna take out that Hades cannon. A bold strategy. Do you have a plan? That down shuttle would have been carrying heavy weapons. Perfect. You heard the man. 
Once we're clear, make your way to the crash shuttle. We'll search the wreckage for heavy weapons. Ready when you are. <laughs> Now, go, go! Damn, I can't stay here, sir. Get clear. Come get us once you've taken that turret out. Roger that. Cortez out. All right, everyone. Let's move. Careful, Cortez. Anybody, come in. We need extraction. Heads up, we got company. This is Commander Shepard. Any Alliance personnel in the vicinity? out of here, Corporal. You okay? I'm alive. That you are, Commander. Anderson. I knew you wouldn't let me down, Shepard. It's good to see you. And you're a sight for sore eyes. How we looking? Now that the heavy air defenses are dealt with, Hammer can land. And not a moment too soon. What's left of the Resistance is holding a forward operating base, but the Reapers are countering already. Once we regroup, it's gonna be up to Hammer to take up the fight. It must have been brutal here, cut off from the rest of the Alliance. It's been touch and go from day one. But once we figured out the Reapers were focusing on the major centers, it became easier to avoid direct contact. Until London. Yeah. We held back as long as we could, sending in recon teams. Lost a lot of good men planning this attack. But with soldiers like Major Coates, and knowing you'd bring us help, we held on. Without you and your resistance, we'd be dead in the water. Yeah, the Admiral's being modest. He's the reason any of us are still alive. Let's not start handing out medals just yet. This fight's just getting started, and Hammer better be ready for it. They didn't start out together, but they're ready to stand side by side and win this war. Good. That's what it's gonna take. We'll get it done, Anderson. I was born in London. Really? The entire galaxy united. Too bad it took the Reapers to bring us together. 
Shepard's the one that brought them together. That's exactly what I meant. I know you didn't like leaving, Shepard. But nobody could have accomplished what you've done. It's good to be back home. There's the FOB. Looks good. Give Hammer the all clear. Admiral, we've set up a command center in the building over there. Looks like we've still got groups coming in. Yes, sir, but not as many as we'd hoped. Hmm. Come see me when you're ready, Shepard. Will do. He's right. I expected to see more of Hammer here by now. A lot of them won't be making it. I'm sorry about Lieutenant Cortez. He was a damn good pilot. You two go on ahead. I'll catch up. The fighting here's been some of the worst on the planet. It looks bad, but there's still hope. And you're here. It'll do the troops good to see you. Bolster their resolve. I'm just a soldier like them. You might see yourself like that, but they don't. Like it or not, Commander, you're a hero to these men and women. Don't discount the effect that can have on them. I better go meet up with my battalion. I'll see you at the command center. I want you to coordinate with the Alliance. Make sure we iron out these logistical problems. Yes, sir. The Krogan don't want to share supply. Primark Victus, I didn't realize you were here. I wanted to return the favor in person. Though I'm sorry to see your world. Looks as bad as ours. We've got hostiles on the perimeter! Get on that gun! Casualties. They haven't brought in many more wounded. That's something. How are you holding up, Liara? This is it, isn't it? Yeah. This is it. I don't know what to say. I just know I'll have a clever line five minutes from now. Any last words of encouragement? Stay safe, Liara. You too. Let's do what needs to be done, Shepard. I laid waste to the galaxy 2000. Commander. Was it this bad in your time? Worse. I have been listening to the Krogan speak to his men. 
In our cycle, the races never came together. There was no rallying cry. I envy you. Really? There's not much left out there. The future is still out there. It is something my people could never say. There will be a tomorrow. Only if we win today. No one else has ever made it this far. You came a long way, Javik. Further than anyone else here. And I look forward to fulfilling my mission. But you are now the avatar of this cycle. The exemplar of victory. Not just for humanity, or Turians, or Protheans, but for all life. Every soul that has ever existed is watching this moment. <laughs> well, no pressure when you put it that way. Do not waver. Victory is never won without difficult choices. I know. I've had to make a lot of those. There may be more. But I know you will see this through for all of us, no matter the cost. If we actually pull this off, what'll you do afterwards? Since my birth, life's only pursuit has been war. I look forward to seeing what peace looks like. It's a big galaxy. I believe the Hanar would welcome me. I could live like a king among them. Thank you, Commander, for letting the last voice of the Protheans speak. It has been a privilege. What about this zone? We could circle around and flood it with reinforcements. I like it. I spent three days in that sector, trapped inside Big Ben, sniping anything that moved. It's a bloody death trap. Name me one place in this zone. Almost time for the final push. Are you okay? I thought I'd be asking you that question. Shepard, I backed you when I was just a kid on her pilgrimage. I backed you when the Normandy was a Cerberus ship. What kind of friend would I be if I didn't back you now? And you haven't answered my question. Are you okay? You remember how you felt when you landed on Rannoch? Now imagine it's not a story passed down by your people. Imagine you were there just a few months ago. And now you're seeing it like this. We need to put it right. We will. Whatever happens, I'm proud to have served with you, Captain. It's been an honor, Tally Zoravas Normandy. The Admirals once hung that ship name on me like a badge of shame. And then the Normandy helped us reclaim our homeworld. It's time I returned the favor. Shepard, I have a question. Is it a big or small one? It is important. Its relevance would be diminished at any other time. Ask away. In this battle, the Reapers have no reason not to use their full capabilities to destroy us. Their forces are in entrenched positions. They have superior firepower and outnumber our forces. My question is, what makes you think we can reach the Conduit at all? The Reapers have the Citadel. They think they've won, and that's the best time to hit them. If they have spies or other intelligence, we could lose the element of surprise. In such a case, we will likely lose. Are you afraid? Our probability for success is greater than any other plan presented to date. That's not what I asked. Are you afraid? I do not understand the purpose of the question. There's no room for doubt anymore, Edie. You understand what we have to do, or you don't. I am clear on what we must accomplish, Shepard. The Reapers have destroyed thousands of civilizations. But they have never destroyed ours. Nor will they. Couldn't have put it better myself. Time to move out. Shepard, there is something I want you to know. The elusive man ordered my creation years ago. Jeff was the one who allowed me to think for myself. But only now do I feel alive. That is your influence. Thanks, Edie. Commander? Admiral? Just going over the sit rep. 
How's it look? Less than 40% of Hammer has reported in. Tell me there's more coming. There's some stragglers still en route. But the bulk of Hammer that's still intact has arrived. We're as ready as we're likely to get. Every minute wasted here, the Reapers gather strength. Exactly my thoughts. Battalion leaders, report to HQ. We fought hard to get here. But now the toughest part of our mission begins. We've got to drive right through the heart of Reaper-controlled territory, break past their defenses, and get to that beam. What kind of defenses? The entire area is crawling with Reaper forces. But our biggest concern is the destroyer, protecting the beam itself. Can we bring in air support to deal with it? Negative. Some kind of interference. We'll have to take it out from the ground. Now they've cut a swath of no man's land through the city. We'll have to cross that first. There'll be some limited shelter on the other side, but expect heavy ground resistance. We need to get our tanks to here, if we get close enough. We've got a shot at taking that thing out. How much of a shot? They know we're coming. This will be a one-way trip for many of us, but there can be no retreat, no stepping back. We move forward at all costs, understood? Yeah! Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Johnson, Coates, you two will coordinate the artillery units. Shepard, I'm sending you right up the gut where the resistance is heaviest. Support the tanks the best you can, but stay alive. I need you for the final push to the beam. I'll give you a minute with your squad. Pick your team well. This war has brought us pain and suffering and loss. But it's also brought us together as soldiers, allies, friends. This bond that ties us together is something the Reapers will never understand. It's more powerful than any weapon, stronger than any ship. It can't be taken or destroyed. The next few hours will decide the fate of everyone in the galaxy. Every mother, every son, every unborn child. They're trusting you, depending on you to win them their future. A future free from the threat of the Reapers. But take heart. Look around you. You're not in this fight alone. We face our enemy together, and together we will defeat them.
Artillery. But the company's been wiped out. Commander, do you read me? Major, what's the situation? The beam's interfering with missile guidance. We can hit the destroyer, but we'll never make the precision strike we need to take it out. Damn it. I may have a solution. I should be able to use the Normandy systems to enhance the missile's targeting capabilities. I just need to create a link to the Normandy. That's it. I'll let you know when I've adapted the targeting systems. Sounds like good news, Commander. We'll see. Hammer, this is Admiral Anderson. The Reaper ground forces are making a push. Hold your ground. Protect those tanks until we can get a shot. You heard it, people. Get ready. There they are! Commander, I have reprogrammed targeting. Missiles are ready for launch. Got it. You heard her. Back to the truck, people. Missile guidance enhanced. Fire. Countering interference. Did it hit? What happened? The Reaper is still too close to the beam. We're down to two missiles. And we haven't even scratched it. You will need to allow the Reaper to move out of the beam's influence. And closer to us. everyone. We can do this. We're about to find out. Here they come. Yes. It didn't look good. It gets worse. Of course it does. Hackett just reported in. Several Sovereign class Reapers, including Harbinger, have broken off from the battle with Sword. They're headed here. Harbinger? It's an opportunity for Hackett to get the Crucible in place. But we have to get a team on board the Citadel to open those arms now. We still don't even know what we'll find when we get to the Citadel. Then that's our job. Find out what we're up against. All right. Saddle up, everybody. 
Get me Admiral Hackett. Here on in, it's a straight shot to the deal. A straight shot with Reapers trying to crush us along the way. We just need to get a handful of troops through. That all? We knew this was going to be a gamble at best. Can't think of anyone else I'd rather do this with. Feels like this fight's always been ours to finish. We're in sight of the target. All right, everyone. This is it. I need you to preserve and protect the Normandy. Shepard. Be safe.
force was decimated. It's too much. We need to regroup. Fall back to the buildings. Anderson, you up here too? I followed you up, but we didn't come out in the same place. No, at least I don't think we did. What's your surrounding look like? You okay? I feel like death. But I'm moving. It's dark. There's human remains scattered. Sounds familiar. I'm in a dark hallway. Reminds me of your description of the collector base. <clears throat> Makes sense. You think they're making a Reaper in here? Oh. Sure. They round them up on Earth, then send the people up here to be processed. Doesn't look like any part of the Citadel I've been to. Whoa. Anderson? One of the walls here just realigned itself. The place is shifting, changing. There's a chasm here. And more hallways like the one I was in. I think I'm 
near an exit. Get too far ahead of me. Where do you think you're at? Just found that chasm we were talking about. Hold on. I see something. A control panel, maybe. I'm just gonna go on. Anderson. Damn it. Anderson. the means to survival, control of the Reapers, and of you, if necessary. Mm. They're controlling you. I don't think so, Admiral. Controlling me is a lot different than controlling a Reaper. Have a little faith. When humanity discovered the mass relays, when we learned there was more to the galaxy than we imagined, there were some who thought the relays should be destroyed. They were scared of what we'd find, terrified of what we might let in. But look at what humanity has achieved. Since that discovery, we've advanced more than the past 10,000 years combined. And the Reapers will do the same for us again, a thousandfold. But... <sighs> Only if we can harness their ability to control you. Bullshit. We destroy them, or they destroy us. And waste this opportunity? Never. You're playing with things you don't understand. With power you shouldn't be able to use. I don't believe that. If we can control it, why shouldn't it be ours? Because we're not ready. No. This is the way humanity must evolve. There's always another way. I've dedicated my life to understanding the Reapers. And I know with certainty, the Crucible will allow me to control them. <laughs> and then what? Look at the power they need. Look at what they can do. <laughs> I see what they did to you. I took what I wanted from them, made it my own. This isn't about me or you. It's about things so much bigger than all of us. He's wrong. Don't listen to him. And who will you listen to, Shepard? An old soldier stuck in his ways, only able to see the world down the barrel of a gun? And what if he's wrong? What if controlling the Reapers is the answer? If we destroy the Reapers, this ends today. But if you can't control them, but I can! Are you willing to bet humanity's existence on it? I... know it will work. You can't, can you? 
They won't let you do it. No! I'm in control! No one is telling me what to do! Listen to yourself! You're indoctrinated! No! No! The two of you so self-righteous! Do you think power like this comes easy? There are sacrifices! You've sacrificed too much. Shepard, I... I only wanted to protect humanity. The Crucibles can control them. I know it can. I just... It's not too late. Let us go. We'll do the rest. I... Uh, I can't do that, Commander. Of course you can't. They own you now. You... You'd undo everything I've accomplished. I won't let that happen. Because of you, humanity is already undone. That's not true! <clears throat> they have the Citadel. They've got us fighting each other, instead of fighting them. I just need to... You've done exactly what the Reapers wanted. You're still doing it because they control you. I... They're too strong. You're stronger. Don't let them win. Break their hold. Don't let them control you. I tried, Shepard. Commander? We did it. Yes, we did. It's uh, quite a view. <laughs> Best seats in the house. God. Feels like years since I just sat down. I think you earned a rest. Anderson? Mm. Mm. Stay with me. We're almost through this. You did good, son. You did good. I'm proud of you. Thank you, sir. Anderson?
Commander. Hey. What do you need me to do? Nothing's happening. The crystal's not firing. It's gotta be something on your end. Commander Shepard. I don't see. I'm not sure how to. my home. Who are you? I am the Catalyst. I thought the Citadel was the Catalyst. No, the Citadel is part of me. I need to stop the Reapers. Do you know how I can do that? The Reapers are mine. I control them. They are my solution. Solution? To what? Chaos. You bring it on yourselves. The created will always rebel against their creators. But we found a way to stop that from happening. A way to restore order. Wiping out organic life? No. We harvest advanced civilizations, leaving the younger ones alone. Just as we left your people alive the last time we were here. But you killed the rest. We helped them ascend, so they can make way for new life, storing the old life in Reaper form. I think we'd rather keep our own form. No, you can't. Without us to stop it, synthetics would destroy all organics. We've created the cycle so that never happens. That's the solution. Where did the Reapers come from? Did you create them? My creators gave them form. I gave them function. They, in turn, give me purpose. The Reapers are a synthetic representation of my creators. Yes, they created me to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life, to establish a connection. They became the first true Reaper. They did not approve, but it was the only solution. You've said that before, but how do the Reapers solve anything? Organics create synthetics to improve their own existence, but those improvements have limits. To exceed those limits, synthetics must be allowed to evolve. They must, by definition, surpass their creators. The result is conflict, destruction, chaos. It is inevitable. Reapers harvest all life, organic and synthetic, preserving them before they are forever lost to this conflict. We're at war with the Reapers right now. You may be in conflict with the Reapers, but they are not interested in war. I find that hard to believe. When fire burns, is it at war? Is it in conflict? 
or is it simply doing what it was created to do? We are no different. We harvest your bodies, your knowledge, your creations. We preserve it to be reborn in the form of a new reaper. Like a cleansing fire, we restore balance. New life, both organic and synthetic, can once again flourish. You said you're the catalyst, but what are you? A construct, an intelligence designed eons ago to solve a problem. I was created to bring balance, to be the catalyst for peace between organics and synthetics. So you're just an AI? In as much as you are just an animal, I embody the collective intelligence of all Reapers. But you were created. Correct. By who? By ones who recognized that conflict would always arise between synthetics and organics. I was first created to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life, to establish a connection. But our efforts always ended in conflict. So a new solution was required. The Reapers? Precisely. But you're taking away our future. Without a future, we have no hope. Without hope, we might as well be machines. Programmed to do what we're told. You don't need hope. The fact that you were standing here, the first organic ever, proves it. But it also proves my solution won't work anymore. So now what? That depends on you. Why are you telling me this? Why help me? You have altered the variables. What do you mean? The Crucible changed me, created new possibilities. But I can't make them happen. If there is to be a new solution, you must act. It is now in your power to destroy us. But be warned, others will be destroyed as well. The Crucible will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. Even you are partly synthetic. What exactly will happen? Your crucible device appears to be largely intact. However, the effects of the blast will not be constrained to the Reapers. Technology you rely on will be affected, but those who survive should have little difficulty repairing the damage. There will still be losses, but no more than what has already been lost. But the Reapers will be destroyed? Yes, but the peace won't last. Soon, your children will create synthetics, and then the chaos will come back. There has to be another way. There is. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. So... The elusive man was right after all. Yes, but he could never have taken control. Because we already controlled him. But I can. You will die. You will control us, but you will lose everything you have. How can I control the Reapers if I'm dead? Your corporeal form will be dissolved, but your thoughts and even your memories will continue. Your connection to your kind will be lost, though you will remain aware of their existence. But the Reapers will obey me? Yes. We will be yours to control and direct as you see fit. Hmm. You must release the energy of the Crucible to end the cycle. The paths are open, but you have to choose.
rendezvous point. I repeat, disengage and get the hell out of here. There is no choice. We must go. Now. Damn it. use these words. But only now do I truly understand them. And only now do I understand the full extent of his sacrifice. 
Through his death, I was created. Through my birth, his thoughts are free. They guide me now. Give me reason. Direction. Just as he gave direction to the ones who followed him. The ones who helped him achieve his purpose. Now, my purpose. To give the many hope for a future. To ensure that all have a voice in their future. The man I was knew that he could only achieve this by becoming something greater. There is power in control. There is wisdom in harnessing the strengths of your enemy. I will rebuild what the many have lost. I will create a future with limitless possibilities. I will protect and sustain. I will act as guardian for the many. And throughout it all, I will never forget. I will remember the ones who sacrificed themselves. So that the many could survive. watch over the ones who live on. Those who carry the memory of the man I once was. The man who gave up his life to become the one who could save the many. Did that all really happen? Yes, but some of the details have been lost in time. It all happened so very long ago. When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? Anything you can imagine. Our galaxy has billions of stars. Each of those stars could have many worlds. Every world could be home to a different form of life. And every life is a special story of its own. Tell me another story about the shepherd. It's getting late, but okay. One more story. <laughs> <laughs> 